<laughs> yeah, so I started a new island. Please don't be mad at me. So what's happening? Why do I have a new island? What about my Florida island? Perhaps you may have some questions and perhaps I may have answers. No, actually, I do have answers. So um, basically, I decided it's finally time. I'm going to make a Halloween island. Yes, yes, I know. Hold your thunderous applause. I know you have all been begging me to do this. But like I said, I decided it's finally time. For the past few years, all I would do for Animal Crossing come Halloween time is decorate my island with the spooky items, just like throwing a few here and there and then taking them down shortly after. But this year, this year, I'm feeling ambitious. I'm feeling festive. And worst of all, I'm feeling like I want to make this another daily series and make a bunch of episodes and severely increase my workload for literally no reason. Anyways, let's get into it. So of course, you noticed we're on Storybrooke. This is my old farm core island. And I decided that Storybrooke is going to be getting a makeover. I am going to be flattening another island. And we're going to be using Storybrooke as a base for the Halloween island. I really don't feel like doing the whole three plots, restarting, all that kind of Kind of good stuff. I don't want to build an island from the ground up. Like, I'm kind of done with that. I would much rather just flatten, keep my DIYs, keep all my recipes, keep all my items. It just makes it a lot easier. And since this is going to be more of a condensed, uh, well, this isn't really a challenge. This is me just making an island. That's that's it. There's, there's no rules or anything. Um, I'm not doing any sort of time-based challenge or any sort of like difficulty <laughs> modifiers or anything like that. We're just making a Halloween island and I'm just posting episodes daily. That's really all it is. I wanted to keep it simple for this because sometimes um, after I do those 30 day island challenges, I feel a little burnt out. So I just wanted to avoid that. I really just wanted to have fun with this. And especially because this is something that I feel like I could really put all of my maximum effort into, you know, a Halloween island. I really wanted to give it my best shot. I didn't want to have any limitations. I just really wanted to make this the best Halloween island that it could possibly be. Be. Plus, I'm assuming that I'm already going to be struggling with this. So yeah, did not want those limitations. Um, and I say that because I am actually not a Halloween girly. I'm embracing it a little more this year. Last year, I was embracing it a little bit more, but it's never really been my thing. I never celebrated it growing up. So it's just not like in my brain to like make Halloween a big deal. Plus the aesthetic of Halloween is usually like black and orange and dark colors. And that's that's also not my thing. If you've ever seen my office with my millions of rainbow squishmallows. <laughs> so I have been thinking in my head, like this might be a little bit difficult for me, a totally opposite aesthetic and all that kind of stuff. So once again, I just did not want limitations for those very reasons. So I hope you'll enjoy this series regardless. I definitely wanna do more challenges in the future, you know, with some sort of limitations. But this time around, I just wanted to take it slow, take it easy, just be chill about it, you know? So in terms of the aesthetic for this Halloween island, I'm sure you're curious. Instead of just doing some sort of like town or whatever, the key words, okay, the key descriptors for this island are going to be spooky, abandoned, overgrown, island. That's kind of the vibe. That's kind of what we're going for. I'm feeling a lot of forestry. You know, we're kind of doing like an overgrown type of island. So there's going to be a little bit of forest core. And I know I just did forest core recently with my past 30 day challenge, but it's fine. We're doing it again. I don't care. <laughs> and everything is going to be kind of abandoned, overgrown. There's going to be lots of weeds everywhere. Things are going to be rusty. There's going to be trash. There's going to be a bunch of wheat fields everywhere. I'm, I got to make use of of all the wheat fields that were already on this farm island. Like there's so many in my storage, it's ridiculous. There's gonna be lots of dark wood and black. I'm still trying to incorporate some black for Halloween, of course. And I'm very excited about what I've already done up until this point when I'm recording this voiceover. Oh yeah, actually I forgot that I literally made a mood board so I can show you the mood board. Here's the mood board. Yeah, this is kind of the vibe that we're going for. Of course, to make it Halloween-y, I'm gonna use all of the spooky key items that are in Animal Crossing but yeah this is kind of kind of the vibe so yeah like abandoned foresty we still got like skeletons and stuff but I'm excited for it I think it's gonna be really fun it's gonna be so different for me but I think I'm still gonna make it work I'm confident 
So wrapping up all of that cleanup, this is kind of what I got done, both on and off camera. I cleared out a pretty big spot near the front, and then I was just kind of picking up all the big items. I left all the trees, flowers, bushes, anything that required a shovel. Yeah, that's still in the ground, and Future Raven will deal with it when Future Raven gets to it. So that's kind of what I did. Um, there's still, you know, a few things here and there, a few sections I didn't really pick up, but again, I'll just I'll just deal with it once. I get to those areas. So the next thing that's really going to make this island is the custom designs, of course. I'm going to grab a few in the beginning here, but I'm also going to be eventually, of course, grabbing more as I do builds that require more specific custom designs. But yeah, here's all of these. Then I went ahead and ate a whole bunch of carrots in preparation for my crimes, which is stealing from myself, stealing from my own island, stealing trees because I need I need a lot of cedar trees. Then we're gonna put on our trusty hard hat and we're gonna get to work on making our first little build. Now, I don't really have a name for this island. I'm just gonna call it Halloween Island, I guess. <laughs> very basic, very generic. Um, of course, we can't actually name this island in the game because I'm not resetting, I'm just flattening. So this is technically still Storybrooke. Maybe it can be a uh, Storybrooke's evil twin island or something like that, I don't know. I placed down my very first tree, but I already had to go back to my storage. I customized a couple of things and then we were finally gonna Gonna actually get started on this. <laughs> so we're making a little entrance build. This is just dipping my toes into the water of Halloween Island decorating, okay? So basically I wanted to do like a very long path and then at the end there's something creepy. So I was thinking some dolls or some skeletons or something like that. Um, kind of like, what's the movie with the two twins? I think it's The Shining. I do not watch Halloween movies or shows. I'm so sorry if that is incorrect. But you know the ones with the, the creepy famous twins that are in the, in, at the end of the hallway? That. I wanted it to be kind of like that vibe. So I did essentially do the same thing that Storybrooke had, which was a long path leading straight from the airport back. And I didn't mean to do that, but it just kind of happened. I'm really trying to switch it up. Like I'm not trying to have the two islands, well, quote unquote islands, but I'm not trying to have things be too similar to Storybrooke in terms of layout. So I'm just going to try my best, but this, this did end up being similar accidentally but I had to take a quick break to eat a whole bunch of apples and once again commit more crimes and go steal more trees for myself I stole all the trees off of this island so quick oh my goodness the cedar tree usage for Halloween Island is astronomical. So yeah, back to what I was saying, I'm trying not to make things feel very similar to Storybrooke. I'm trying to change the terraforming, I'm trying to change the paths, I'm gonna change where all the buildings are, I want to totally shift things around and rearrange things, so it doesn't feel like I just kind of like copy and pasted the islands, you know what I mean? Like I want it to be unique. So that's gonna be my goal throughout all of this, and yeah, I ended up using those little dolls. I think personally the dolls that are all white are the creepiest. I don't know why, <laughs> they just are, but I wanted to place a cheeky little splatter of um, ketchup and this little axe behind the dolls behind the jail bars to make it look more sinister. That's kind of what I'm trying to do for this island. Like, it's mostly going to be abandoned with some spooky decor, but I want there to be like slight undertones of sinister and unsettling things going on. So like poking through the trees, you see a, a, a blood splatter and maybe like a mannequin laying down to be like a body. And it's like, ooh, what's, what's happening? Like there's definitely some underlying uneasiness going on in this island. Like something's not right. You know what I mean? That's kind of the vibe that I want to go for. Will I accurately be able to capture that? Will I end up just doing things that look silly? I don't know. These are questions I will ask myself throughout this journey but hopefully I do a good job. You know, I just want this to be a functional, cute, aesthetic <laughs> Halloween island. And when I say aesthetic, I just mean I want it to be the Halloween aesthetic. I want to do a good job in making it feel like a Halloween island, which I feel like it's, it's actually going to be not as easy because I'm doing abandoned and I feel like that's not, like I may end up just kind of leaning towards like, oh, abandoned island and like there's a pumpkin, you know? I want to make it feel like more Halloween-y. So I think the spooky decorations specifically will help me make the island feel like less of just a overgrown abandoned island core island and more of a abandoned spooky Halloween island core island. Does that make sense? I've said island too many times. 
I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So yeah, I was just playing around here, really just dipping my toes. Like I said, no plans for this island. Well, actually some plans, but like not really. I have some lists, okay? I do have a list of builds that I'm interested in doing with just kind of like a general vibe. But yeah, we are just about finishing up here. Again, just dipping my toes into this. This is nothing too fancy, nothing too spectacular. I just wanted to try to get the general vibe set for Halloween Island. You know what I mean? And I think I did an okay job. I'm excited for it. I'm I'm so excited that you clicked on this video also. Thank you so, so much. Please, again, give this video a like and subscribe. Here is the finished little entrance. Again, nothing, nothing spectacular. I liked this little creepy rusted abandoned sign. Of course, Patty had to ruin the shot. I like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with these villagers, honestly. This will get much more fleshed out as the episodes progress, of course, but I'm excited. This is the beginning of our Halloween island. Hello and welcome back to day two of my Halloween island. It is day two of our Halloween island. I really want to make some progress. My cat's meowing at the door. That's cool. That's chill, Pepper. Awesome, awesome. And we actually do have something going on in the island right now. We have a campsite villager. Would you look? at that. Honestly, I haven't really talked about villagers for this island, so maybe we'll get into that. Uh, I guess let's see who it is first. Let me not just, like, waste time. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no. I'm good. Okay, well, that was unfortunately a bust. Very unfortunately a bust, besties. But... Oh, oh, we also have a thought bubble. Okay, well, yeah, that solves my problem because I didn't know what to do next. <laughs> All right, yeah, Tad, get out of here. Get out of here. I do love Tad and it does pain me to get rid of him, but unfortunately we need Halloween-y villagers for this island. So farewell, my good sir. I hope you find another pond to splash in. Okay, well, we'll start off with that today. That's exciting. Um, Let me check. Do I even have tickets or do I have to go and get some? I have... No tickets. No tickets, besties. Alrighty, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I am just gonna go get them from the treasure island. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm back. And I may have got some other stuff as well. I needed to grab some more like spooky Halloween items. So let me just quickly put this stuff away. And then of course we got our tickies. I think I ended up grabbing 110 question mark. I don't really know. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and time travel so that we get this plot open and we'll get straight into a villager hunting. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So obviously this is a Halloween island. We need some Halloween villagers. Truly, I'm looking for all the good ones, all the basic ones, all the standard ones that you look for for a Halloween island. Lucky, Rodeo, Muffy, Coco, I'll even take Coco. Literally, like, I'm not gonna be picky this time, I swear. I promise. I promise. I know that for these Animal Crossing Island series that I do, um, sometimes I get picky on villager hunts, but I swear, I promise, this time I won't be. Okay, first we have Callie. Definitely not someone who I'm looking for for a Halloween island. Sorry, bestie. Okay, second ticket. Let's see. It's Zucker. That is Zucker. That is definitely Zucker. Okay, third ticket. We have this bright pink elephant. Definitely not for Halloween Island unless he's like in costume. Okay, I'm already losing track of ticket numbers to be honest. Let's see what we have here. You know, she looks great on the other side of the river. Let's just leave her be. Anyone cute here? Anyone cute by any chance? Oh, we do have a cutie. We have Chatter. Oh, he could be a, like a little Halloween piece of cheese, you know? No, unfortunately we do have to leave Chatter. Very sad, very sad. This might be a contender for the Halloween Island because what a jump scare. Ugh, ugh, another jump scare. Run. No, no. Ugh. <sighs> Piper. It's Egbert. It's Egbert. Yeah. No. <laughs> are you actually, are you actually joking? Are you actually kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna go jump into the ocean. Oh my goodness, it's Bob. Oh, I wish I could take Bob. I love Bob. I'm so sorry, bestie. <laughs> I have to abandon you. I wish it didn't have to be this way. We could be there for each other. You're the only one I've ever loved. I'm craving pasta so bad right now. Like some spaghetti and meatballs. Ugh. I would devour that. I'd absolutely devour that. Oh my goodness, what is with all of like the bright pink fuchsia 
villagers today. I don't get it. That's literally the opposite of what I want. Another squirrel. Lots of squirrels today. Lots of squirrels. We got Genji. We have Octavian. So that is two of the octopi found so far. Will we find them all? Stay tuned to find out on the next episode of Raven Goes Crazy Villager Hunting at 3 in the morning. Why am I doing this? Okay, Opal, Queen, Queen. You know, she could almost fit on the Halloween Island as kind of like an alt girly, but that's not really the vibe I'm going for, unfortunately. We have Sky. What a cutie. Oh my god, another jump scare. Another contender for a potential Halloween villager. Um cat with no nose terrifying no 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 ew why monkey why monkey ugh no okay okay boring boring lame not interested cute cute blue bear oh my goodness why are we getting cuties don't give me a cutie i mean no wait yes give me a cutie but like a halloween cutie you know Ugh, oh my goodness okay ew what okay no this is rough it's almost four in the morning now i think i think i got a couple more tickets in me and then i might have to pick this back up after i go to sleep and wake up again well oh oh my god it's my birthday twin i wish uh we had a halloween birthday you know maybe that would actually count for a halloween villager kid oh my goodness you're so cute this could potentially be someone in a halloween costume right he's dressed up as a knight perfect perfect no no. <laughs> oh my god, yes. 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 My savior. Rodeo. I've never been so happy to see you in my life. It's four in the morning. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> Rodeo, I love you. I love you so much. What a hunt, besties. What a hunt. That was a roller coaster. Um, I'm ready to go to sleep. So I'm going to pick this episode back up tomorrow. We'll hopefully do some building and decorate something cute. Do something. I don't really know what the plan is to be honest i'm truly winging all of this but i'm excited to do whatever i decide to do tomorrow so i'll see you then Alrighty, besties let's get into it so i went ahead and went to sleep and then i came back and i came back rejuvenated refreshed and now we're gonna go ahead and work on the able sisters so i put it down and time traveled to the next day and we had a campsite villager and it was very uneventful unfortunately so my vision for the able sisters i kind of wanted it to be slightly sort of Coraline vibes with like dolls and sewing and that kind of imagery you know like the sinister creepy dolls and i think i have decided that within this halloween island there's going to be an underlying uneasiness of these dolls being everywhere like they're at the scene of every crime wherever there's something creepy or spooky going on there's always a doll so it leads you to think what's going on what is this mystery are the dolls behind the abandonment of this island like what have they been doing what are they up to that's kind of like the storyline that i kind of want to do for this island so obviously we're starting off here with like the main entrance that big long path the dolls are at the end of it at the able sisters the tailors the dolls are here they're operating the sewing machines what's going on Ooh, the mystery the intrigue i'm here for it this is what i'm trying to set up okay so obviously first i like to work on my tree placement especially with this island specifically we have a lot of trees that we're using so i was being kind of finicky with this and like it was getting kind of weird with the edge of the grass on the side the trees throw a fit if they have to be near an edge of a grass or next to a building or something it's like ah, oh, you can't place a tree here and it's like oh, whatever so i spend probably longer than i should have on this but it's fine that is just who i am anyways i spend way too long on things that i probably shouldn't i don't know why it feels like lately everything like even simple tasks take me like five years to do has anyone else been going through that is this just like a fall thing maybe it's because i want to be in the slow warm cozy vibe but it's like oh maybe i'm just taking my time you know you know yeah that's how we should look at it we should look at it as 
We're taking our time, we're going at our own pace, instead of looking at it like, oh wow, it takes me forever to do something. Because you know what? As long as we get it done, doesn't matter. If it takes us a long time, it's fine. Anyways, I went ahead and time traveled once again to the next day. I forgot why I did that, but I'm kind of glad to see the nice bright blue sunny sky. I personally just love working in Animal Crossing and decorating in like the sunny days. I really don't like decorating in the rain, and I really don't like decorating at night. I very rarely decorate at night, especially for videos. I just feel like I can't see anything, you know? And that is kind of like a thing that I've been trying to consider with this island specifically, because obviously it's a Halloween island and I just don't want to have everything be in the daytime, like all the time, because then it doesn't feel like a Halloween island. So apologies for the most part, I probably will be decorating in the bright, sunny days, but I do try here and there to time travel to the nighttime or just decorate in the nighttime and that kind kind of stuff. I did it for my most recent uh, recording that I did for this island, which I'm a couple episodes ahead by the time that I'm doing this voiceover, and it's just so much harder to decorate in the dark. It really is. I was struggling so much. Like, I feel like I can't truly see. I don't know. I also need to get new glasses, speaking of not being able to see. I'm wearing my little purple circle ones that match my Animal Crossing character, and I love that, but I've had these for like, oh my goodness, like four years now, and yeah, they're very scratched like very scratched like I can notice it like I'm always hyper aware of my scratched glasses and it kind of sucks so I had these other pink ones too and they were super cute but unfortunately they broke I literally broke them so I had to stop wearing those and I told myself I'm not going to order any more new glasses because I really need a new prescription I need a new eye exam I have astigmatism and my vision's getting worse love that so finally finally I made the time to make an eye appointment appointment this week so Raven's gonna get her pink glasses again with an updated prescription. This is a win in the Froggy Crossing household this week love it. And I did have thoughts about potentially getting new frames and trying something else cool and fun out, but you know what? I always do that. I always like go crazy when it comes to ordering new glasses frames and I just buy like five different glasses and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna get a bunch of cute quirky styles and guess what? I never wear any of them. <laughs> I'm just the type of person to have one pair and that's all I stick to. That's all I wear. So I'm just gonna go back to the pink ones because I know that I love them. Plus, if you wear glasses, you understand Understand that like switching glasses frames is not as easy as just taking them off and putting the new ones on. Like for me at least, I don't know, maybe other people don't experience this, but I do. If I take off a pair of glasses and put on a different pair of glasses, if they're even slightly different in the shape of the frame, it's like I have to spend like multiple days to get used to it. Like it just feels distorted and it gives me a headache. And if I don't power through those multiple days, then I just don't get used to it. So yeah, it's not that easy just to switch up glasses, unfortunately, unless I get the same exact frame shape in different colors or something. Oh, I might do that. I might see if the pink ones come in different colors because that would make it so much easier. But yeah, I always had grandiose visions of switching out my glasses for every outfit and having coordinating glasses and accessories, but it's just not realistic. So I need to let go of that dream, <laughs> unfortunately. But uh, whatever, at least I'm getting new glasses soon that's the important part. But anyways, back to this build. I ran out of fully grown trees, so I had to do the saplings, of course. And once I placed all of those, I time traveled just so I could see them fully grown and just kind of get an idea of where I could place some stuff. I put that little patchwork chair and the little oil barrel thing in the woods just for like a little creepy run down abandoned sitting area. And now I'm just going around and placing down random items everywhere. The goal was to make this really feel like abandoned with trash everywhere and everything's overgrown, you know, that kind of thing. Bones decaying in the grass, etc, etc. And speaking of the grass, I still haven't decided yet which like type of grass or color of grass I kind of want to have this island be in. This grass specifically is nice. It's like this type of yellowy greeny thing but I don't know. I don't know what I want to do yet. Potentially I want to go even further into November and have like that orangey grass. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I was definitely placing a lot of custom designs and stuff everywhere as well to fill things in. But I also wanted to go ahead and grab a little like mud puddle design. So I grabbed a little mud puddle and went in with that as well. I know it kind of looks like pee pee water, but it's, it's a mud puddle, okay? It's a dirty mud puddle, okay? Anyways, I was working on this little skinny pathway. I had this connecting to the 
the able sisters from like that main path going from the airport straight back i just like to have a lot of paths leading everywhere so you have multiple ways to go if you want and especially because this little foresty area is so full of trees i want to have multiple paths so you don't feel like stuck or whatever which i don't even know why i'm taking this into consideration because the likelihood that i release a dream address for this island is very very low because i don't think i want to overwrite storybrook and plus i feel like I feel like barely anybody is playing Animal Crossing anymore. Like, are we still visiting dream addresses? Let me know in the comments. Like, is that even a thing? I don't even know. Which sucks so much. Like, it saddens me every day more and more as time goes on that Animal Crossing is kind of dying. You know, well, I can't even say kind of anymore. It's very dying. It's very much dying. And it's so unfortunate. I mean, I try to, you know, do my best here to still keep my motivation alive and, you know, keep everybody else's interest interested in my videos and stuff like that and i feel like these projects specifically like the 30 day challenges and this halloween island are where i truly thrive and where i really have been having the most fun lately just working on something for a long time and just having like this little set series is so fun to me instead of just having you know regular uploaded scheduled content that releases like weekly or bi-weekly or once a month or whenever I feel the motivation to post any other sort of Animal Crossing video, you know? I just wish Animal Crossing got even a fraction of the amount of content as a game like The Sims or something like that or Mario Kart, I don't know, or they, that, those are not really comparable <laughs> video games, but you know what I mean? Like just something, a little scrap, I don't care, something. Anyways, I'll stop rambling, but I finished this up. I also had these little custom design umbrella things that look like bushes with spider webs on them, and they're super cute, and I need to remember to include these in builds. And I also had this custom design shirt that looks like a dirty, ratty old shirt, and I thought that would be good outside of Able Sisters. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it was funny, but yeah, here's how it all came out. Very proud very much liking it digging this style digging this aesthetic moving on to some more stuff we're going to work on right now i am taking this all further back we're working further back towards the plaza and i'm going to work a little bit on this plaza area we're not finishing it today but i am making a whole bunch of progress so i did want to include it and show you so i'm just kicking off all of this pathing like i said in yesterday's video i really do want to make this feel different than storybrook so any sort of paths any sort of things that are on the map and main landmarks i'm trying to change it up switch it up make it look different except for obviously the plaza which you can't move but that's okay so i was going in with this ruined path and i also have this little um star circle you know just this cute adorable star circle that we are putting on the ground and i was gonna put a little well on top of that like a creepy wishing well I thought that would be cute. So yeah, I was just figuring out where this pathing was gonna go. Everything was so wide open. I didn't really have any sort of borders or like, I, I just didn't know where this was gonna go. So I was completely winging it. But as I was going, I was starting to like this path less and less. I really liked how it looked overgrown and mossy and sort of abandoned, but I felt like it was too overgrown and abandoned vibes. Like I was kind of getting like a oh, abandoned like a jungle structure like you know those little oh my goodness those those jungle dungeon things in minecraft that you come across in the jungle biome it was kind of giving that so thankfully the creator had a darker black version with red leaves instead and i thought that this was much more halloweeny so i went ahead and grabbed that instead and i definitely think it's a major upgrade to the halloween vibes on this island i wasn't trying to include too much black but the color palette for Halloween, like the default color palette is orange and black. What? Who was I kidding? Who was I kidding? So I definitely think it has a moodier vibe to it and it feels less like nature-y and more like creepy. So I definitely think this was a good choice. So yeah, I put down some stuff in front of the plaza. I definitely wanted to do those spooky arches. They're just super cute. And for some reason, I decided to time travel to the next day. We had a campsite villager. It was very bad. And then I continued working on the plaza. I probably had had to order something. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why I time travel half the times when I'm recording <laughs> and editing these videos or when I'm editing them mostly. When I'm recording, I obviously know why I time traveled, but when I'm editing them, I'm like, why did I go forward today? Like, I don't even remember why I did that, but it must have been for some purpose, I suppose. So yeah, I of course wanted to put another spooky arch on the right side and we're going to have this little stall in the middle. To this day, up until now, I still don't know what I'm putting on that stall items wise. <laughs> I eventually 
eventually take up those turnips. I picked them up and they're not there anymore. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put in the stall yet. I'll figure it out. But it was definitely feeling very flat, so I had to include some trees. Definitely had to put those there, and I put some of the paths just around it, just so it was super cute. And I put down some spooky lanterns for some added vibes. And that is all I'm gonna work on today. But I really love how the Able Sisters turned out. I definitely think it's fitting the mood, fitting the vibes, the aesthetic of the island, and I'm very happy with it. And I will see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to day three of my Halloween island. I have in mind lots of decorating for today. I want to work on the plaza area that we started yesterday. I'm very excited. Yeah, like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of decorating today. So this is going to be a lot of speed building, but I'm ready. If you're not ready, you need to get ready. And also what I wanted to do today is get out of this farm core outfit. It is no longer farm time. It is spooky time. So we need a matching spooky outfit. Here is my genius level outfit that I've come up with. Okay, are you ready? Instead of my regular purple glasses, we have instead black glasses. We're gonna do black boots instead of red and a mage robe to match our little green frog hoodie. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's great. We're a little wizard froggy. This is our Halloween outfit besties. This is our Halloween costume. Am I like a magical frog wizard? Like sure. Yeah, we can be whatever I want to be. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I hope you like it. Uh, just wanted to, you know, tweak the outfit a little bit. To be honest, I didn't feel like making a custom outfit for this. So this is what we're gonna go with. Anyway, let's get into some decorating. So like I said earlier, we're going to work on the plaza area. We're going to work on the left of the plaza first, but we're also going to work on the right side. We are just doing all things plaza today. So I started off by clearing out all those little cedar trees that were there, and then we're going to build up some little cliffs. There were some cliffs on the right side already, and I was just like, you know what? Why not make the both sides twinsies? We'll just give both sides cliffs. Screw it. I'm just going to do it. Although this is the most annoying part of building or one of the most annoying parts of building an Animal Crossing. I hate when I have like a great idea and I'm so motivated to do it and I have the items and everything and then it's like, wait, I have to terraform first? This sucks. I hate this. I decided to take the cliffs behind resident services as well and we're just gonna have the whole island go up a level. We're gonna make this pretty big. So this was just kind of the start of it. I did end up doing most of this off camera because like who really wants to see me build cliffs for like five solid minutes of sped up footage? Like you probably don't. So I did most of the boring work off screen. That way we could just get to the spicy part, which is the actual decorating. So let me give you a little walkthrough. So if you go over here to the right, there is, you know, that little cliff area. And then you can see I took the cliff cliffs back pretty far and we connected all of this with the section that was the B area and then I put all these cliffs going all the way back here where um the little like farmer's market was back there and the and the apple orchard if you remember this island whatsoever so yeah we got a lot of cliffs going on back there um it's it's valuable real estate it's free real estate <laughs> then i decided to work on these little paths over here i truly had no idea what i was doing with the pathing here it's just kind of one big blob and you know what sometimes that's just what you need to do sometimes one big blob is what's calling to you, okay? And you need to heed the call. You need to answer the call. I also put in a little indentation because I was gonna put a matching little incline because there's an incline on the right side of the plaza and I'm planning to keep that incline there. Well, I think just bring it forward a little bit so it's closer to the plaza and then we're gonna have a matching one on the left. So I put that little incline marker cutout thingy there. And of course, I like to work on trees. I like to have all my trees situated. I like to have them placed. I want to know where they're going, okay? I'm like their strict parents, I need to know where you are at all times. I can't focus unless I know where the trees are going, okay? I'm sorry. It's just how I am. It's just how I operate, okay? Listen, I'm just concerned about their safety. Where are they going at 1 a.m. in the morning? You don't need to be out. Go to sleep. You have school tomorrow. You need to study. You have algebra tests tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me stop. <laughs> let me stop doing this. Anyways, 
I wanted to work on the path thing next because obviously we're gonna have this incline, so I need to make a nice little path to lead you there. So I just went ahead and started making that and connecting it with the big blob that's in front of the plaza, you know, all that good stuff. But how's everyone today? I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for all the love and support on the Halloween Island. I was just reading everyone's comments have been so great and just, you know, seeing guys say like, oh, I'm so excited. I never expected Halloween from you. And I know, I just, I just love to do the unexpected. I love to subvert people's expectations. It's kind of a fun hobby of mine. <laughs> Speaking of hobbies, oh my goodness, I don't know. Like, I think it's especially around this time of year once Christmas starts approaching, I start to get really overwhelmed by the amount of hobbies that I have taken on because I'm a hobby collector. I love to collect hobbies and crafts and like things that I want to learn and stuff like that. Like, I have so many craft supplies. Like, I've tried to do knitting. I've tried to do embroidery. I've tried to do cross stitch. I've tried to do scrapbooking and junk journaling so I have so much like paper supplies and stickers and I've tried to do uh clay like air dry clay stuff I've tried to do bracelet making did I say that already no nope. necklace making yeah necklaces and earrings and stuff I have so many beads and jewelry supplies why do I have all this stuff I'm like you know what this year I kind of want to do craft gifts for Christmas like I kind of want to make some things but then I'm like what do I do I have so many supplies I should really use them all and I'm like am I really going to get myself into making like you know, 10 plus handmade gifts for Christmas. Like that's kind of a big ask for myself personally, <laughs> but I start to feel so overwhelmed by all of the different crafts that I have and you know, all, all the supplies everywhere that I know I should be using. So I don't know, we'll see what I end up doing, but I need, I need to stop doing crafts. I need to stop doing crafts that I see on TikTok. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> Anyways, let me talk about this build for a second, okay? So I wanted to have this area kind of be a little transitional area because we're going from the plaza to the incline that's going to be back there. But we had this little section right here. So obviously I'm doing a pumpkin farm. Like you gotta have a pumpkin farm. You have to, first of all, you have to have a farm on your island. Like you have to, it's a legal requirement. I did check the paperwork. It's in there. Like when I signed, it's it's there. So we do have to have the farm. Of course it has to be pumpkins because this is the Halloween island. Of course, of course. I wanted to do orange, even though orange is not really part of my color scheme that I'm doing, but you gotta have the orange pumpkin, you know? Plus I need these to craft the spooky items. So I kind of need to keep these around anyways, but they're so cute. I love them. I love a good orange pumpkin farm. So just no brainer, again, legally required on this island. And you know, and I thought it would be a cute little homage to story Brook, you know, having some farms in a couple of places. I definitely need to include more. I sometimes do this thing where I'm like, okay, I did this small build in this small section and now I can't ever do it again anywhere on my island, you know? Like I put this one pumpkin farm here and then I think to myself, okay, that's it. I can't do any more pumpkin farms. And it's like, girl, yes, you can. You can just make a different one. You can just make it different. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. You can have two. You can have three, you can have four, you can have as many as you want, Bessie. <laughs> you can put as many pumpkin farms as you want on your island. There are no rules, believe it or not. Only the legally binding contract that you signed, but that's it. Other than that, no rules. Anyways, I went to my eye exam today because I was talking about that, um, I think yesterday. Uh, it was way more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Like, I, I have my little insurance. I get so many benefits, wow. And then I show up and then they're like, hi, can we have all this money from you? And I'm like, oh. Oh, <laughs> I did end up getting two pairs of glasses and I think I'm still going to order my cute little pink ones that I used to wear because those are from like an online site. Um, but yeah, I, I also lost my prescription sunglasses. I have not been able to find them for like months. So I just got a new pair and I did go for like slightly fancier ones, but I was like, how much could it really be? You know, like they have the price tag, but I forget that you have to pay for frames and lenses. Like when you order it from those websites online where you can get glasses, they don't charge you for frames and lenses. They just charge you for the whole pair of glasses. But when you go and order them from like, you know, a glasses place or an eye, an eye place, they charge you for both the frames and the lenses. What is going on? It was so expensive. I'm like, how did my parents afford to buy me glasses to see? I have zero clue because of what the heck is this? I also got contacts, which is another part of what made my whole order so expensive. Just because I haven't worn contacts in a while, I used to wear them in high school, but 
I haven't really done it that much. Anyways, wrapping up this little section here, I'm just finishing off with a few couple details. Um, I had this little metal pipe thing that was over there on the rock. I was like, you know what? Might as well include it. So yeah, that's how everything turned out. It's super cute. I love it. I love this little section. So I time traveled to the next day and I went ahead and put in our incline that we needed, paid it all off super quick. And now we have kind of like this empty gap in front of the plaza, in front of the custom design blob that's right there. So I'm just cleaning up this area so we can put some stuff here. I had this cute little idea for a cute, quirky, adorable little abandoned train station kind of transportation stop area. That's kind of what I wanted to do here because I did get um, a little custom design of a like ruined train track or overgrown train tracks. So I thought these would be really cool to do, you know, a couple of transportation stations around the island if I wanted to. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. I was just about to say I've never been on like a train and I don't think I actually have. I don't know if like public transportation trains count because like I've been on those. Like I've been on like the Marta in Atlanta and stuff like that. Or I've been on, I forget what it's called in Chicago, but I've been on those. I've been on like underground trains, but I haven't been on like, you know, the typical train that you think of with the with the little wheels and the little steam coming out of the front. I haven't been on one of those and I would very much like to. I've heard of like murder mystery trains where you have like a dinner and like you solve a murder mystery and you're on a train and that sounds really fun and also really stressful because like I feel like I would not have the right deductive reasoning skills for that and like people might be counting on me to solve this mystery and I'm like I don't know I don't have brain cells I'm sorry <laughs> and then we don't solve the murder mystery on the murder mystery train dinner train and it's all my fault and I don't know if I can take that pressure I, I honestly don't know if I could take it but yeah for this build I of course wanted to include lots of rusty things so we've got the retro transportation stuff that's all rusty I made like a little building sort of thing with some store fronts and a little uh, storage shed and that one's rusty of course and we've even got the little gas pump that's also rusty even though it doesn't make sense are we really are we fueling up the train with gas i don't i don't know <laughs> maybe this is just an all-around train transportation stop you know we've got all sorts of transport here boat car plane Th they all use this facility this tiny little stop they do they do. I haven't been on a helicopter and I don't know if I could do it. I mean, I think I could. I think I probably could. Like thinking about it, I'm scared, but I think once you're up there, you'd be fine. But I haven't been on a helicopter before and it just seems kind of scary and I just don't like that you have to wear those big bulky headphones. They're so not cute, you know? Yeah, I think eventually I would be fine with it once I get up there because like I've been on planes so it's kind of the same concept, you know? Although planes feel so much more secure, you've got so much room on those. I feel like a helicopter would slightly freak me out just because of like it's way more cramped, you know? Is there even a bathroom on that thing? No. Wh where do I pee? Do I lean out the window? I don't know if I can do that. And then also just to include like that kind of abandoned feeling for this whole area, this whole vibe, I'm going to put lots of trash and like bottles and I have that custom design of a broken bottle and stuff, but I went ahead and time traveled to the next day and it's nice and bright and sunny now. But looking back at that rainy footage, I'm thinking that could be a pretty good compromise for when I want to like showcase the builds in the dark, you know, because like during the rain, it's a lot darker and all of the lanterns, like the spooky lanterns are all lit up and everything. But I feel like it's not as dark as the nighttime in Animal Crossing because I can actually see what I'm building in the rain. So maybe if I build in the rain, it wouldn't be as bad, you know? Like that's probably a good compromise between building in the complete dark versus building in the complete bright, blinding <laughs> sunlight, you know? But anyways, I went ahead and connected that uh, in-game path, little pathway that I have, and I'm running it all the way up to where that incline is back there. And like I mentioned earlier, I think I'm going to bring that incline forwards. So it's more like parallel to the incline that's on the left that we just finished by the pumpkin patch. But yeah, I wanted to work on this little section to the right of the plaza. It's going to be a lot smaller than the left side, but that's okay. I just finished up the path 
bath that was here, more blobs, you know, <laughs> more blobs. And I just wanted to throw down a couple of decorations in this little spot. I don't know. I feel like I haven't really been doing anything too grand with the plazas lately for my islands. I don't know. I just don't really have any grand ideas. I don't know. For this, it was kind of mostly decorations and stuff, but I do want to do some cute stuff in the forest behind resident services because we've got the cliffs going on. So hopefully it'll have like a cool vibe of being surrounded by the cliffs and having lots of trees and stuff. But I went ahead to time travel to the next day again and it's raining again. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. Like, I think this is pretty cute, you know, this is pretty decent. It's darker, it's moodier, but I can actually still see. So yeah, I was just wrapping up here doing some final little decorating because I had this little spot right here in like the little elbow nook of this path that I did. So I filled that in with trees. Oh, that's why I had to time travel to grow those trees a little bit. And then yeah, of course I didn't want them to have like no items or decorations around them. So I wanted to put in some stuff in between the trees and all that kind of good stuff. And yeah, just like that, this episode's already over. I felt like I was only talking for like five minutes, but we honestly did a lot. Like we did a lot, besties. We decorated on the left side. Like that is completely done. This little transportation stop is done. We did the right side and we got all those cliffs going. Going. like this was some big progress today but yeah this has been super fun i really really love this little transportation stop i don't know what about it but I, it's just drawing me in i love it so much maybe i need to do more little builds with these train tracks because i just love them and i will see you tomorrow hello and welcome back to day four of my halloween island we are back at it again at krispy kreme and today we have a villager in the campsite. I forgot to record Isabel, but I promise you there is a villager in the campsite. I am also hoping for a move out bubble. Anyone? No? Brofina? No? Okay, okay. But yes, hello and welcome back, besties. It is day four of our Halloween island. I'm feeling so excited about this island. I'm just loving it, loving it so much. Let's go see who's in this campsite. Oh my goodness, it's Nibbles. Hey, bestie. Sorry, you are not fit for my island currently, so I gotta say bye. Anyways, I hope you're all doing well today. I'm so excited for this next build that I'm gonna do. I have my idea. We just really need a new villager, I think. I really want to get Muffy for this build. It would be really nice, but just in general, getting another Halloween villager would be spectacular. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh, what's going on over here? Oh no. But yeah, let me see if there's any thought bubbles maybe in the neighborhood potentially. Does not look like it. It looks like everybody's out here looking living their best life. Unfortunately, it's so dumb because sometimes I will literally see thought bubbles like when I come on Animal Crossing on this island just to like, I don't know, do something random really quick when I'm not recording and I'll see the thought bubble and I'm like, Ugh, well, I'm not recording right now, so let me not let them go. But then this happens. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna time travel until we get a thought bubble because I want to hunt today. Okay, let's see. I took a quick stroll through the neighborhood and there was no thought bubbles there. Let's check the plaza by any chance. Anyone here with a thought bubble? Uh, no, no one is here. Cool. I guess I should probably order items if we're gonna be doing a bunch of time traveling. That would probably be smart. And on to the next day. Okay, let's try this again. Hello? No. Ugh, it's a KK day. Okay. They don't spawn on KK days, I don't think. So let's go forward again. Okay, yes. <laughs> I had to go forward uh, two days, but finally we got someone. Bye, Patty. See ya. Sorry. Okay, honestly, let's get straight into it. I'm going to go grab my tickets and I'm just going to time travel and we'll, we'll start the hunt. I'm ready. So yeah, I said that I wanted to get Muffy. I still stand by that. I want to do this like really cute like witch hut type of build. So I kind of want like either like kind of a gothic or witchy villager. So definitely Muffy is my top pick. There's probably other villagers that would work really nicely. I would even take Bella. Bella would be cute, but I'm just going to see who we get. And if I see someone and I'm like, yeah, that'll work, then I'll grab them. But one of the accent colors that I want to use for this build is purple. So if I could get Muffy, I feel like she's the perfect one because she has purple. So hopefully we get her. I, I hope so. I do love Muffy. She was one of my very first starter villagers ever. Oh my goodness. And of course we're starting off with Marshall. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Okay, next we have Astrid. And I think she actually would be cute for a Halloween island. Like maybe sort of a clown vibe. Pair her up with Pietro. 
They could have like a little clown neighborhood, but I don't think I'm gonna grab her. I think there's a better options out there. Okay, we got my birthday twin. I feel like I see him everywhere. Like he's on every single villager hunt that I ever do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Ticket number three, we've got a bird over there. You know what? I'm not interested in that bird. Who is next? Who is next? Oh, it's Piper. Hey, Piper. All right, bye, Piper. Oh my goodness, we have Hopkins. Wait, Hopkins could kind of work because he's got that little like blow tube in the back of him. So he looks like a little inflatable bunny. So like, that's kind of creepy, you know? He could be like, I don't know, part of the, the Halloween circus or something, which I do want to do, by the way. I kind of want to do a little abandoned creepy circus. So we have a spike. Spike, yep. I don't have a vaulting pool, so I can't get that bottle, unfortunately. It's fine. It's fine. Next, we have Hamlet. Wow, Hamlet looks so great over there. Let's not disturb him. Who is this? Oh, it's Teddy. Good old Teddy. Unfortunately, Teddy do not fit my standards today. Ooh, we've got Wolfgang over there. You know what? He would be pretty decent for a Halloween island. Like, not even gonna lie. But I think I will leave him. I think I will leave him. I kind of want to steal some of these trees. So I think I'm gonna buy a quick shot. I keep stealing all of the extra ones from my island because I'm using so much like forest area, forestry to fill space. So I definitely am in need of more trees. And I just get so lazy when it comes to buying them from nooks and like planting them and waiting for them to grow. It's like, ugh, I'd rather just steal them. And we have a little bunny down there. I forget this one's name. Is this... Oh, it starts with a G. Oh my goodness, I know it starts with a G. I... Is this Gabby? I think it's Gabby. Ooh, Lisa Frank Tiger. Do not want that one. Unfortunately, I'm gonna steal more trees though, because this has been good. Stealing trees is fun. I actually feel like Rasher is perfect for a Halloween island. Like, look at him. He's got... He's got like a scar and everything. I could like... It just not be picky and we could just take him okay i just took a look at the list that i typed up for potential halloween villagers for this island and i forgot that i actually did put him on the list so i think we're gonna take him i'm just gonna go ahead and grab him like i'm not gonna be picky i'm not gonna try to get like the perfect villagers i've struggled in the past with being picky okay so i'm just gonna invite rasher i feel like he fits he suits the island he's got those scars you know he's like blood red basically so Oh my goodness, I do not like that look on his face. I'm... Yeah, you know what? He's he's perfect for Halloween Island. This dude is creepy. Because <laughs> I was gonna say we could hold out for chops and I could literally get chops on this island to be like, you know, my worst nightmare just to have like a nightmare on the island, but I think Rasher's good. So unfortunately, that is not like the magical goth witchy villager that I wanted to get, but that's okay. But I'll still work on that build anyway, and we can just put a random villager's house there for now as a placeholder. I think I have to probably do some cleanup as well. Like I gotta fix this bridge situation. I gotta fix this buried house situation. Uh, yeah, there's some stuff I gotta deal with. So I will go ahead and pass it over to a voiceover speed build array for this build. So of course I had to deal with that stuff I was just talking about so I destroyed that bridge and got to work fixing all of this up. This was all just like super annoying to deal with honestly. The only few cons about flattening islands is just really the work you have to put into the island to like make it look right and make it actually look transformed. Like fixing all of these rivers and bridges and destroying them and having to time travel and having to fix the cliffs and everything like that. It's just, ugh, just kind of annoying. But since I was already here, I was just working on this like edge of these cliffs that I was building. I was trying not to make it just like one straight line. So I just did a little bit of that. And then we are going to put our build, our little witch hut on top of a cliff. So I was kind of feeling the vibes of like a tree house for this. I was kind of channeling like those Minecraft witch huts, which I'm pretty sure are like on stilts or on a treehouse or something similar, something with that kind of vibe. I don't know why I'm channeling so much Minecraft stuff. I feel like I referenced Minecraft already. Minecraft has a lot of good stuff, okay? Can you blame me? <laughs> but I wanted to make just like one big cliff that this would be on. It's just going to be the house and the yard, and that's kind of really it. I really wanted to do this very specific little treehouse design that I've seen people do that is so good, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, the custom design 
that goes with it is like only for the blue sky during daytime. Like you're supposed to blend it in with the blue sky. So obviously that's not gonna work for this island because we're gonna do creepy nighttime things. So I found this other custom design instead and that just that just works well. You know, I tried to make it look like it was up in a tree. I, I don't think I did a very good job, but the, the effort was attempted. The effort was attempted. So I also went in with some of the spiky fencing just to be like a little perimeter for us. And I used the tree glitch to put some trees on the corners because we do have limited space with this cliff here. So I was like, all right, let's just try to squeeze in as many trees as we can. And if I was smarter, I probably would have tree glitched some more trees on the edges of the sides of the cliff, but I didn't do that, but it's okay. So I was just going all the way around with the spiky fencing and trying to put some custom designs underneath of it here and there just to, you know, spice it up a little bit, give it a little bit of pizzazz. That's like my number one tip for decorating is put custom designs underneath so much stuff, like fences, everything, you know? And unfortunately the house could not be centered in like the direct middle of this area, of this cliff. So I just put it off to the side, whatever, that's fine. So I went ahead and time traveled to the next day and then I wanted to get straight to work on putting some more trees around this area. I wanted this, again, to have like that treehouse vibe. So it's in the middle of the forest, it's up in the trees. I wanted there to be lots of trees surrounding it. So I was just going ahead and putting those all around. And we do see Nan here. I did put Nan's house here because I figured she would be pretty cute. Just in case we don't find Muffy, I feel like Nan could be pretty cute you know she's a little go I feel like she fits so we'll stick with Nan for now and then when I eventually hopefully crossing my fingers get Muffy I will just swap out Muffy and I'll customize the house to look a little more witchy if I can but for now I'm just gonna leave it because we eventually might kick Nan out anyways but yeah I think I mentioned it either yesterday or maybe today I think it was in this video today that one of the accent colors is going to be purple I just wanted to have a little bit of a magic kind of feel to here. So I have that little glowing moss pond with the with the little purple customization. And we've got a little bit of purple in the Suspicious Cauldron. And oh, I'm so glad they added that item because I forgot that they did. But then I was like, there has to be something better than like that other pot. I forget what it's called, the kettle bathtub. I was like, there has to be something better than this. And yes, there was. So I was kind of all over the place with this build. I was just trying to figure out what little sections I wanted to put where. Of course, I wanted to have kind of like a little witch's brew area with the cauldron and some potions and stuff like that. And I wanted to have like ingredients littered about on the ground. And I wanted to have like a little farm section because in my mind, you know, she's growing her own organic ingredients to put into these witch's potions potions, these witches brews. So I was just kind of like running around everywhere trying to figure out what I'm going to put where because we do have limited space here. It's up on this cliff. So I just uh, was trying to figure all of that out. I also wanted to use this glowing moss shelf jar thing. I forget the actual name of it, but I thought these could be like little potions. I thought it was really cute and it was rusty. So it was also fitting in with the theme. I just thought it was the perfect item. And of course I had to put it right there by the little potion making area. And I decided to conquer my fears and put this little spider model there also on top of the web. Maybe she has like a little pet spider familiar. I don't know. But yeah, I also wanted to put those little books down there because obviously she's a witch. She's got spells or maybe they're recipes for the potions, but I thought the little stack of books was absolutely perfect. And of course we have to have the little halloween -y vibe. So I was trying to figure out where the heck do I fit in these Halloween decorations? Where do I put the spooky items? So I figured at the very least I could put a spooky tree back here in this little corner because there's there's not really much else I can fit back here. So we do eventually make room for that after putting some custom designs and stuff down. But yeah, I really hope we do get Muffy because I just feel like she'll fit so perfectly like with all of these purple accents. Like Muffy needs to be here, you know? And we could even make her house a little bit purpley. Like ugh, it'd be so great. So I'm really crossing my fingers that we find her. I'm excited to do some villager hunting in future episodes and see who else we get. But like I mentioned, I wanted to do a little farm area. I just wanted to imagine that the witch who lives here is like growing her own mushrooms to put in the potions. So I thought that the rare mushrooms were kind of like the creepiest ones. I don't know. It's a mushroom. It's not even really that creepy. I wish there was like some purple ones, like the ones that are on the log stool, but it's fine. 
I just put a bunch of those scattered around and then I realized it needed a little touch of bones so I also put those in there and yeah just going in with all of the the typical farm stuff I like to do the little watering can and stuff like that and I figured that the spooky lantern set was good because it had some little like hay on there it's got like a little mini hay bale so I thought that was good for the little farm vibe I've also been thinking because a lot of you have been commenting now that I should make a Christmas island and I haven't done a Christmas island before I mean I haven't done seasonal islands what I've been doing is just like an island with a theme and of course a seasonal island has a theme but I haven't done like you know Halloween Christmas Valentine's Day whatever Easter whatever <laughs> I'm I'm kind of kind of liking the idea you know I'm using my little brain I'm thinking about it so if you would like to see a Christmas island let me know I feel like we do get a lot of Christmas love but I know Halloween is like the main one like everybody loves Halloween so we'll see we'll see I I think I could do it I think I could make it work I would probably decorate with the snow and everything and I don't know how I feel about that like I've never decorated with the snow for like an entire island I've done like a few winter builds here and there especially back in Pelican Bay but I haven't done like a whole island with white snow on the ground how am I supposed to work with that where's the color <laughs> you know even though I'm doing a spooky island here and this is not necessarily my main theme and aesthetic that I love at least there's color at least there's stuff going on you know with the grass it's green it's great but I don't know we'll see how I how I feel about a winter island maybe I'll have some more ideas in the next coming episodes but yeah I realized that I had gotten a bunch of custom designs earlier specifically for this build and I totally forgot to use them I got like that little arcane symbol and like a purple mushroom ring and a little black cat because like you have to have a little black cat sleeping by the cauldron. You just have to. So I put those down. I feel like I did not use them nearly enough as I should to justify using a whole custom design slot for them. But maybe I can find some use for them around later. I mean, definitely the black cat fits all around the Halloween island. That'll be perfectly fine. Maybe the mushrooms I can sprinkle in, but I don't know about the little arcane magic symbol. But I also found this cute little custom design of like some potion bottles and I put that behind the little moss uh, potion bottle shelf thingy. I don't know the name of it. I forget. <laughs> so yeah, everything was coming together pretty well. I was loving absolutely everything here. We just have a couple more things to do. Not too much. Don't worry. We're almost there. So of course I'm like struggling. I'm like, what else does this need? And the back part just felt really empty. Like there's obviously nothing going on back here behind this cliff. So I was like, okay, I gotta give it something. It needs something. So I was just putting some extra cedar trees and I even put this giant vine I thought that had kind of like that little magically you know kind of vibe so I thought that was very fitting and of course we want that overgrown look this is an abandoned foresty island so we're putting weeds everywhere at the end it's just a no-brainer it's what we gotta do to make it look abandoned and foresty and everything like that you know so yeah, this is how it came out. I really love this. Like this has been my favorite build so far. I love all the little touches here. The little mage boots, the witch hat. I love the potions in the back. Just ugh, everything is so great. I absolutely love it. I feel like even Nan looks really cute with it. Maybe we get her into a spookier outfit, but I just love it. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So cross your fingers for me, please, that we find Muffy to put in this build. This was so fun. I loved all of our activities today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to day five of my spooky island. We are back. We are back. Yes, you just saw me yesterday, but we are back again, besties. Do I have a plan for today? No, I never have a plan. I truly don't, but we are here. I'm actually recording at a decent time. It's 5 p.m. instead of 3 a.m. You should be proud of me. Please clap. Anyways, I just wanted to come over here and check out our build that we did yesterday. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. And we are at 5 a.m. in game. And this is kind of like a nice little little time of day for the spooky island. I feel like this is a good balance between me actually being able to see and also the lights and the decorations like really popping, you know? So I kind of have to decide what I'm going to do today. I need to kind of formulate a plan here because again, like I said, I do not have a plan. I don't really know what we're going to work on. Let's just work on this section. So like this whole 
area right here by the incline and in front of the witch hut. I feel like we should work on this. That's kind of how I've been working across the island, just doing section by section, moving on to the area that's next to whatever other stuff I'm working on, you know what I mean? The unfortunate thing is I definitely need more cedar trees and Nooks is closed, so... Okay then. Maybe I have some in my storage. Let's go see. I need an unholy amount of cedar trees for this island. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. I have some. Oof, this is good. This is good. But anyways, how are you guys doing? How's it going? I'm doing good. I was out and about today, running errands, doing all that kind of stuff. Went to Goodwill. It was fun, but I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So we'll see how long I last doing like real-time voiceover for this. Probably not too long. I'll probably end up switching to speed build voiceover later because that's just easier for me to do in the moment. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and place all of these cedar trees and I'm just going to place them where I want them to go, you know. Do you guys ever do that? Place your cedar trees where you want them to go? It's revolutionary. Let's try to arrange them nicely right off the bat if possible. Uh, I don't know if it'll let me grow one right here, but we'll try. This might be too close to the cliff. I don't know. Honestly, for this section, I'll probably just fill it up mostly with trees and we'll do kind of like a little foresty path. That sounds good to me. Yeah, already I can tell this is not enough trees whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm making the trees too like uniform. Like I feel like they're too in line with each other. I want them to be more random. I want it to feel like a real forest. You know what I mean? Or I'm overthinking it. I could just be overthinking the trees could could possibly be that too i don't know besties but i'm just trying to leave a little path and i think that's good that's plenty of space for a little path and then we definitely have to do a bunch right here behind resident services i'll probably want to bulk this up because we really can't fit too many trees without like this being totally hidden back here so i'll probably want to bulk this up with some of those like giant vines or something like that yeah this is definitely already not enough cedar trees but whatever it's fine okay i have one more <laughs> where does one singular extra tree go uh i guess i did put one kind of on this corner a little bit so let's put one on this corner a little bit there we go okay I am going to go ahead and time travel, but I'll order some stuff first. I feel like you can never get enough of these little candles, you know? Like, I'm going to use those everywhere, so I feel like those are a no-brainer. Kind of want some of these damaged medieval buildings. Maybe I can do some sort of abandoned building something. <laughs> Maybe I could do something with that, so I'll get a few of those. And I think that's it for our order max today. I'm going to go ahead and time travel a couple days forward just to get these trees to grow. Okay, we're back. Quick peek in the plaza. Any thought bubbles by any chance? No, no. Okay. I did time travel to November. We're in November now, so some mushrooms should be popping up. Ooh, okay. They're all fully grown now. Ugh, again, I just feel like it's so uniform. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I think I'm overthinking it a little bit. I guess let's try to fill in this section a little bit. I don't know if I want to put trees back here because like they can't go that close to these other trees. So I would have to put them back here and that only leaves this much space for a path. I don't know how I feel about that. So I may try to use items instead. Let's try it. So here we are trying it. And like I mentioned earlier, I was pretty tired from all my errands. So we're switching over to voiceover Raven mode. Hey, hi, did you miss me? I know you did. <laughs> but I also think I was overthinking the trees because after all of this, after putting items in and you put a path, it's like, I, I don't even notice, you know, whatever I was on about, I don't even notice. It's fine. I was overthinking it. Anyways, how are we doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for asking. You guys always care so much about my day. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm feeling a little silly goofy today. I don't know what's what's in the air, what it is. But anyways, of course, we're making a little path here. We're making a path going up from the incline and we're going to try to pseudo lead you to the witch hut. It's not going to go exactly right there up to the ladder but sort of kind of and then i actually had another build idea for today so we're actually getting two builds in this episode very exciting i know so after this we're going to be working on something as well and i was also going to be leading this path to the right side which is where we are putting that second build today wow so yeah i'm i'm very excited for it i have been having a blast with this island just because it's like so different and i thought that was gonna 
gonna be a negative thing i thought that was gonna be a bad thing it's like oh i'm gonna have to use like dark colors like where's the pink blah 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 and i definitely could have done like a pastel halloween island but i was like you know what let's push myself you know let's do something that i'm not used to doing let's do something different and I thought that it would be just like a struggle, a challenge, and I wouldn't like it, but I think I just love this game so much. And I just love decorating this in this game so much. And I especially love just having a theme and decorating to a theme that it's just been so fun every single time, like regardless of what theme I'm doing, even if it's something that I don't really like IRL, it's just so fun. And especially because for this Halloween Island, like, there's a lot of items that I don't usually use, so I'm using stuff that I don't even use on the regular, you know? So it's just different. It's like a kind of a fresher experience for me personally. So that's been so fun. I've really been liking it, you know? Like, when do I ever use a chainsaw? Like, never. So we're using chainsaws here. When do I ever use skeletons? Never. So we're using them here. It's been great. It's been great. Of course, we have all of these trees, these cedar trees here, but I like to uh, spice it up a little bit with some of these decayed trees, some of the spooky trees, and some of those like giant vines also. I thought they were kind of given, you know, more of a little magical-y vibe. So we can put a few around the witch hut because that just makes sense, you know? Maybe she discards some potions that didn't turn out right and she just like throws them into the woods or something and then they grow up these giant vines or something i don't know is that uh harmful for the planet no we don't need to cancel the witch who lives on my island we don't okay she's fine she's she's chilling don't mind her <laughs> but yeah wanted to throw in some more spooky decor of course and do some of those spooky lantern towers and i was trying to put vines like just wherever i could i have been forgetting to do vines so wherever we can fit in some vines i was going to place them because they really really help add to that like overgrown feel so those are a must those are a definite must i have been seeing these tiktoks of like these chocolate covered strawberries from I don't know where maybe it's a food truck or something I have no idea where they are all I see is this cup it's a clear cup with strawberries like the freshest juiciest looking strawberries and then they have this spout that spits out warm chocolate like not fudge right not like hot fudge topping pure chocolate like liquid chocolate like the kind you would find in a chocolate fountain and they pour it all over the strawberries and it oozes between them and it just it looks so good and i've been wanting that these past two nights like i want that specifically <laughs> and we haven't had strawberries and i was craving it so bad the other night and i was like you know what sometimes they have little packages of strawberries like pre-cut fruit pre-cut strawberries at gas stations and i asked my boyfriend if we could go drink drive to Wawa to see if they had strawberries and they didn't because I have chocolate. I have chocolate I could melt. I just didn't have the strawberries and Wawa unfortunately did not have strawberries and I was so sad. And then again, I was craving them last night again at like one in the morning and I'm like, I didn't buy strawberries yesterday because of course after Wawa didn't have strawberries, I didn't think the next day during the day to go to the grocery store and get them because I stopped craving them. But then I started craving them last night again and I'm like, oh my God, I want the strawberries. But again, it was the same dilemma of nowhere around me had like fresh strawberries at 1 a.m. Like what the heck what more could a girl want you know like why this is this should be the bare minimum for places for every single gas station they should have fresh strawberries for me when i want my strawberries and chocolate at 1 a.m in the morning okay like can we get with the program can we please get it together gas stations and how i knew that none of the gas stations near me had them was because i checked on uber eats okay i just used uber eats to check the stock there was none there was none there was like one that was like 40 minutes away though and it was like an already overpriced pound of strawberries and then like I added a few more, like two more things to the cart. I was going to get like some ice cream and another bar of chocolate. And I added everything to the cart and it's like 30 bucks before tip. And I'm like, am I really going to pay $30 for ice cream and strawberries and a bar of chocolate before tip? And of course I always, especially if I'm ordering things at like one in the morning, want to leave like a decent tip. So like, am I really going to pay close to like 40 bucks for this right now? I was like, let me not. So I just made dinosaur chicken nuggets instead. And I didn't even finish them and they gave me a stomach ache. And they were also freezer burnt, which was so unfortunate. Yeah, things have not been going well for me like things have never gone well for me. no i'm just kidding <laughs> i was so sad about the strawberries but today i'm gonna make an effort today just in case just in case i'm craving the strawberries again i'm gonna go get them today tonight when it's 1 a.m again and i'm craving the strawberries potentially i will have them and i can make 
the melted chocolate and pour it over and I can be happy. Okay. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me. Just totally normal things in this house. Yeah, totally normal things. <laughs> but anyways, back to this build. Um, I wanted to make this mostly a transition area because this is like a path that we're going to be taking. So I wasn't going to do anything all too special, just throwing some decorations here and there. And also, I just wanted to give you a quick update. I did buy the strawberries and I tried to make the chocolate covered strawberries. However, Unfortunately, on my first attempt, the chocolate seized up and my second attempt went well, but then all the chocolate got hard on top of the strawberries and now it's just a big blob that I can't eat. Like, it's just hard chocolate now with strawberries, so yeah. And then here we are getting to work on the second build that I wanted to do today, technically. So I destroyed all of that cliff space that was there because that was just totally in the way. And we are going to do one of those typical like Halloween scary sacrifice pits that you see on Halloween islands. You know, they always are like a pit dug out in the ground and we've got bonfires and skeletons and stuff like that. I wanted to do one of those typical ones because they look so fun and every Halloween island has has one and I wanted to do one. So I started out by digging out a big spot in the ground, of course. I don't know why I chose this specific spot. I just did. Why not? You know, so it's going here. It's going here. Um, then I went ahead and demolished that staircase that was like kind of in the way because we're going to move it forward anyways and time travel to the next day. And then I just finish off the last little bit of polishing up on this little pit that I'm doing. I didn't want to make it a perfect circle. I wanted it to be kind of asymmetrical not perfect anything like that now we're gonna get started on all the decorations i also wanted to do some jail bars because i feel like those are usually used and since mine wasn't a perfect circle i was just putting them kind of like in random spots it wasn't gonna be perfect again this is abandoned everything is like falling apart so maybe there were jail bars all around it completely but they started rusting and decaying over time and now there's only a few sections left so that's kind of terrifying what can escape from this pit now I don't know. So of course we're gonna start with the beautiful little quirky adorable star circle in the middle and on top of that I'm gonna put our bonfire. This is our little sacrifice area. Tons of fun. I love it. And of course what has been the underlying theme throughout this island? The dolls are up to something. So of course there's gonna be a doll with an axe in front of the sacrifice pit like Duh. like what's going on what are the dolls up to like what's happening over here <laughs> kind of concerned you know and then we're gonna put some of those blood splatters around as well just to add to this mystery just to add to the uneasiness you know so <laughs> i'm very excited to get this build done i feel like it's perfectly fitting and i wanted to put a lot of campfires around because everything's kind of on fire it's it's kind of burning out of control now you know like i think they did not contain the fire and there were some some oil barrels full of gas kind of around the fire which who brought those there I don't know like whose idea was this I don't know so <laughs> I decided to put the little dolly on top of a log stool I feel like she needed to be a little bit taller and we needed to put some blood under the axe so made those little adjustments you know perfectly adjusted there it's been really fun using the dolls all over the island it's been pretty funny pretty hilarious and I can't wait to see what other sections I'm gonna put them in who knows where are they gonna end up next what are they gonna be up to next we're kind of following along their journey kind of seeing the story of this island unfold in real time as i'm making it up <laughs> anyway our next irrelevant topic that i'm going to talk about i am that type of person who when I get makeup, I will use it until like it's gone and only then will I purchase a new one. That's what I've been trying to do, at least for the most part, because sometimes I'll get a little bit carried away and I'll get a bunch of makeup just because like it's fun and, you know, I, I have too much makeup now. So I, I've stopped doing that recently and I just try to use things up until they're gone and then I purchase a replacement unless it like does not fit my skin tone. Like I bought this, um, oh my goodness, it's the Maybelline Magic uh bb cream in light and i thought that that would be light enough for me because there's one that's like clear and then there was light so i picked the light one and this stuff makes me look orange it's it's so bad like it's it works really well but it makes me look orange so that i'm not going to be using but other stuff like concealer i use until it's ran out and i actually ran out of my concealer lately and 
instead of buying a new one because i'm like you know what let's try to be as patient as possible when buying a new one um i've just been using foundation <laughs> i guess more accurately i just haven't been using concealer and not that i'm using foundation as concealer although i do put foundation where i would put concealer so yeah i need to go get concealer but it's like i don't know if i'm like a cool undertone a warm undertone i don't know i picked a random elf concealer last time and it worked but i feel like it could be better you know what i mean so i don't know how to do that i need to look up those tests online to see like how you figure it out but yeah maybe i should go get like shade matched at sephora or something i don't know if they still do that but that'd be kind of useful because i don't know i just have no perception of like what undertone i am whatsoever so we'll see but yeah i definitely need new concealer because i'm completely out and i would like to know what shade i am that way i can buy a concealer that actually works for me and i'm not just spending money on a concealer that's like not even gonna like match and then like it all goes to waste you know what i mean like we gotta know what we're spending money on here anyways i was too busy talking about concealer that we already finished up that build so yeah you can kind of see it there but now i'm placing a path all around it since we have this like circular shape i wanted to do a circular path so that's what i'm just trying to do and yeah i think it looks really fun down there everything especially the weeds when those are gonna be like fully grown it's gonna look great so i'm so excited for that but yeah i wanted to make just like a big circle of pathing around all of this and i will spare you every single detail because you know we don't we don't need to see me place paths for like an hour that and um the cliff the cliff scaping i try to cut some of it out sometimes because i'm like okay we get the point you know bestie we get the point even though i left in kind of a lot here but i guess i just want to show you me mapping out the general space and everything like that but yeah that's basically it we're just gonna work on the outside of this section a little bit just so it looks less like empty and i kind of wish i included more trees here but i think i'll be able to put some more in the future at least but yeah that's kind of what we're working on now just the path and some random items and stuff i decided to do this little like mini circle thing here and i just put this mushroom fairy circle in the middle of it because why not i guess that's what i was feeling i was feeling adventurous this day <laughs> but yeah adding some more trees on the left there and i wish i kind of alternated where the trees were because they're all just in a straight line and i don't know how i feel about that but it's fine i guess i mean i had just so little room there anyways between the cliff of the witch hut and you know this this pit here so we kind of had to do what we had to do for it to fit but yeah i added some more jail bars and then i also wanted to add some of the spiky fencing around i felt like that also gave kind of like sacrifice pit vibes you know like when you're trying to get those vibes for the sacrifice pit you guys know what i mean like everyone has a sacrifice pit and we're just trying to get the vibes right you know so the spiky fence definitely was a good addition in my opinion and in my personal opinion and then just adding some little things here and there as well and trying to move this path just like all around these items that i've been placing here randomly just trying to make it all work make it all fit and i was actually already getting inspired for the next thing i wanted to do here so i was already thinking of what I was gonna do next and we're actually gonna do a little bit of setup in this video for tomorrow's episode wouldn't you know like I am just setting myself up for success way to go me thank you past Raven honestly you made things so easy like you deserve some sort of award I don't know if there is one but like can we make one up can we just get a custom one we need something here you know <laughs> but yeah just finishing up here just putting in some more trees putting in some random other things like wheat fields and stuff like that and custom designs and then you know of course weeds on the ground and i also had some of these pirate barrels that i thought would be really good i don't know why they were just giving sacrifice area vibes you know like i said and i tried to put a toy cockroach on top of one of the barrels but i wasn't really feeling it later i do put a spooky lantern and it looks much better so we're gonna go ahead and put in an incline so we can access this area now this matches the incline that's on the left of the plaza and i am moving two villager houses here okay we're moving rodeo's house here and we're moving rat Rasher's house here and we're gonna go ahead and time travel to the next day and here we are putting Rasher's house down this is just slightly to the right of Rodeo's house I'll give you a little walk through here we go so there's their houses up there and here is the pit area look at that wow 
Damn, okay, looking great, looking great. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We are going to be working on those villager houses tomorrow, which is very exciting. We got so much done today. This was such a big section to get done. So I'm very excited about it. I will see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to day six of my Halloween island. Today, I really want to villager hunt. Yeah, that's right. I really want a villager hunt. I feel like we need to get another villager on the island. We need to get a really cute Halloween villager. Like, you know, Rasher was, Rasher was okay. I want to get Muffy so bad. <laughs> I think that's the plan for today. And then also, obviously, I set up these two houses here to make some sort of a yard. One big ginormous yard. So we'll also work on that. But like the first thing I want to do is a villager hunt. I have the craving. I feel it in my bones. So yeah, I did run through the plaza when I was running over here and I didn't see any thought bubbles and I did not see any in the neighborhood either. Oh, I need to pay off this bridge. I will deal with that later. My inventory is also full. So let's go take care of that. Hope you guys are doing well today. I want McDonald's so bad. We eat it at least like once a week and then like for the past week or two i've also gotten it one additional day so i've eaten it like twice a week for like the past two weeks it's it's so bad i really shouldn't i need to just get some good groceries and i need to make my own meals occasionally <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with eating out or eating mcdonald's but i just personally i just feel better when i eat like vegetables you know <laughs> that's just a personal thing i don't know about you guys i used to be so good at cooking every single day but I think I have gotten burnt out of doing that because uh, I find myself more often than not just being like, oh, let's just go get food, you know? Oh my goodness, wait, there is a thought bubble. Oh, perfect. Ah, oh, no. Ugh. What does Winnie want to give us for a nickname? What do you want to do? Dancer? This is Winnie. Winnie, this sucks. No. If it was something even remotely unique or cute, I would have said yes, but... Dance my Santa's freaking reindeer? No, it's not even Christmas yet, Winnie. This is Halloween. My goodness, that was that was kind of embarrassing for her. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. That was like so embarrassing for her. Anyways, okay, we need to pay off this bridge. I don't really have that many bells on this island. I mean, like I can go grab some from a treasure island, but let me honestly just do what I should do anyways and just kill two birds with one stone. Take out a bunch of this farming stuff that's in my storage. Like I'm not gonna use these on the Halloween island. I'll keep some just in case, but like we really don't need this much. Like some of this is ridiculous. Okay, I've got a nice, mostly full inventory. Let's go see what we can get from Nooks. I just need like an extra 100K to pay off this bridge. That would be perfect. Alrighty, boys, please give me a good amount of money for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who knew that windmill selling was such a lucrative side gig? Okay, thank you, Timmy. Tommy, you did nothing for me, so you don't get a thank you. Alrighty, with our new cash flow, let's go ahead and pay off this bridge. Wow, my villagers have contributed so much. I, I don't talk to any of them, so you know what? I'm not surprised. Okay, I'm gonna time travel until I find a thought bubble. Honestly, I'm gonna spare you the details. Once I find one, I will come back and let you know. <laughs> oh, oh, what's this? What's that, Molly? Hmm? Is that a thought bubble? Oh, Oh, for me? Oh, you really shouldn't have. Okay, I only had to time travel two days, thankfully. Oh, thank you. Sorry, Molly. I do hate to get rid of her. She's such a cutie, but we need Halloween villagers like these ones in the back here. I love how Rasher just immediately sat down and started watching Rodeo sing. They are so cute together. Okay. Well, sorry, Molly. You gotta go. You will not survive this Halloween island, let me tell you. Like, I am doing this for your safety. Let's see. We've got 10, 20... 30, 40, 50, 52. Honestly, I'll just leave the two in here just in case. I don't know for what, but just in case. And I'm gonna grab a couple of shovels because I will be stealing trees from these mystery islands. And I'll grab some fruit and mushrooms to eat so I can scoop those up. We'll grab some snacks for the road and then we shall get going on this villager hunt. I'll meet you there. Oh my goodness. I just want to go villager hunting. What is this? Alrighty. Are we ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, it's Pashmina. You know what? If this was still a farm core island, you would have been great. But sorry, Bastie. You are you are not the one for this island. Alrighty. I still got to go one more day. I will see you on our villager hunt. Okay, we're here at my second favorite video game desk. Let's go ahead and fly. So again, I would really love Muffy, but any Halloween villager we come across is 
perfect. You know, I'll, I'll snatch, I'll take them. We're not being picky, you know the drill. And as for my craving, I already said it earlier, but I will repeat it again because it's still true. I want that McDonald's. I want a McFlurry. I want some fries, a Diet Coke, and... Hmm, do I want a cheeseburger? Oh, <laughs> yes, I want a cheeseburger. I want a cheeseburger. <laughs> What are the chances? <laughs> okay, well, unfortunately, Frida, I'm so sorry. I will not be taking you. <laughs> Joy-Con, I don't want to hear it right now. Okay, next we have Francine. You know what? She almost could be like clown uh, nightmare fuel for the Halloween Island, but we shall not take her. We shall not. Although, speaking of clowns, if we find Pietro, would we take him? Because I have seen Halloween Islands where they have Pietro, right? They have, like, a bunch of spooky villagers and then they have Pietro because, like, he could be, like, the creepy clown, you know? But I don't know. Sometimes it throws me off a little bit because I do genuinely love Pietro, but, like, I don't want him to be the creepy clown, you know? What if he's just a genuine clown? He really just wants to make people happy. I don't want to force him to be like the scary clown. I just feel like that's so mean to him, you know? Plus I do want the overall color palette of the villagers to be kind of cohesive and then just to have like a bright rainbow. It's like eh, kind of throws me off. I mean like the juxtaposition could also be cool but like kind of throws me off. Hopefully I just don't get Pietro. <laughs> we do have Rio though. I love Rio but you know not a Halloween villager, so we will go. Hello, where is the- Oh, oh, it's Deidre. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, Deidre. I, I cannot take you. But I will take all these trees. Don't mind if I do, bestie. Ah, no. <laughs> I was in the middle of scooping trees. What is this? Okay, now I just plugged in my controller, but it's a little more clicky clacky and noisy. So I'm sorry if you hear it. Okay, next ticket, next ticket. Are they like all the way back here? What are you doing back here? I, okay, it's a penguin. I'm not interested. Oh my goodness. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Little Miss Ketchup. What a coincidence that we find another duck when we just kicked out a duck. Hmm. Conspiracy theory unlocked. I don't know what the conspiracy is, but there is one. Just know that. I have a feeling it's gonna be a monkey. We haven't gotten one yet. I'm scared. Oh no. Oh no. It's a little, it's a little, uh, koala. Okay. Okay, next. Anyone good? Oh, no. I will steal more trees though. I will steal more trees. I do love theft. It is one of my favorite activities. Why are the villagers always gone? Oh, it's Opal. No, I could see her from the airplane. You, you, absolutely not. Ugh, a duplicate. Oh, hello. You are, you are right here. All right, well, you made it easy on me. Thank you. We've got an anteater. I am not interested. Oh my goodness, another duck. The conspiracy. Oh my god, it's Bo. He would be good for a little forest island. Ugh, but... He's too pure. He's too pure, you know, from my creepy Halloween island that I've been making. So, Bo, you're gonna stay safe over here. Alrighty. Oh my goodness, it's a frog. It's a frog that I don't like, but it's a frog. And we have a hippo. We have a hippo. Uh, I'm gonna say hip. No. And we have Norma. A cutie. A cutie. I feel like I see her and Patty on every villager hunt. Ugh. Oh my god, jump scare. That's that's almost a scary, terrifying Halloween villager, but you know, not quite what we're looking for. It's Marina. Of course it's Marina. Okay, next. <gasps> Wait, is this Dobie? Wait a second. Oh, I think we're gonna take Dobie besties. <gasps> I think Dobie fits. I think Dobie fits, you know? Maybe he's like the old man, the only one sane who's left in the Halloween Island. He's been in this town for years. He grew up in this town, but strange things are happening and he's the only one who sees it. I'm gonna invite him. You know what? This is my gut decision instinct. So let's do it. I mean, a Halloween Island needs a wolf. Like we absolutely need one. In all elements except physical, we are wolves. We gotta do it. Okay, well, I'm very happy with that. We actually used a decent amount of tickets. We used almost half our tickets. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and put these away. And I think let's get started on that little neighborhood area that I was working on. Or more like a yard, I guess I would say. This is just one yard shared between Rodeo and Rasher. This isn't really a neighborhood technically, unless I managed to fit some other houses nearby, I guess. But I don't 
think I can, as you'll see soon. But anyways, I had to do some cleanup with this little gap that was here from when I moved that house that was Molly's house there before. And we are going to get to work on this yard. I need to remember to take those ducks off of that little rock back there. Oh my goodness. I know I'm going to forget. I know I'm going to forget, but I'm going to try not to. But obviously, say it with me. What do we like to do first? Trees. Trees, trees, trees. Now for this yard, I had a vision. Okay, I had a vision. And that vision is always going to involve trees because this is like an abandoned foresty island. So stick with me. Okay, because we're going on a journey today with this yard. Oh, there is, there is so much going on here. I'm so excited about it. I mean, this has been the first yard that we've done. Yeah, this has been the first yard that we've done. And it's my favorite. It's my favorite one so far, you know, it's just so great. I love it. And you know what else I love? When people like my video. So bestie, you should like this video, please. And also subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, I would so much appreciate it. Like seriously, it's the best way to help me out. If you want to support me in any way, that is the absolute number one best way to like the video and to subscribe. So I super duper appreciate it. But we have this little cliff area that here and I was just doing a little bit of terraforming to that just to kind of fix it up so I can include more trees to the right of the house. I forget whose house is who. I think it's Rasher's on the right. I've that kind of makes sense. It would make sense that he's like a red pig and they give him a red house. So yeah. Anyways, we're just about finishing up these trees here. I was just placing some extras that I had in my inventory around in some random areas. And now we are getting started on the piece de resistance. Okay. Listen, I've had this idea in my head of using jail bars to make a bunch of jail cells and to put creepy stuff inside of it. Now I kind of already did this at the tailors at the Able Cell sisters. Um, we had that one cage with the doll inside. So that was kind of like me beta testing. Okay. That was just the first test. That was just the first round. Okay. Here is where I truly wanted to uh, flesh out this idea that I had. Okay. So the idea is that this is like some sort of creepy thing that's happening. I don't know if it's the villagers doing this or what, but we've got some people trapped in these cages, or I don't know if I want to say people, but like creatures trapped in these cages, okay? So I was thinking like, what creepy things could I put in here? Like obviously the anatomical model is very disturbing. I just don't like how there's like open flesh and everything, you know? I know it's anatomically correct, but I can still think that it's creepy, okay? So then we also have a doll in the cage, of course, because there's got to be a doll. And the last one, I had the idea that this one is going to be open and we're gonna have a suspicious blood splatter on the ground, okay? And something escaped. So who knows what it is? I don't know. It's part of the mystery of the island. What escaped from this jail cell? What was in here? Why are they being held here in the first place? Like what's going on? You know, we love a good mystery. We love a good mystery. So, you know, I'll start thinking up some fan theories of what's going on here. Let me know if you have have any but it's been super fun i love that we're creating like a little narrative here like i don't truly know what the canon is but it's been super fun but you know what's not fun that i have experienced lately I get stomach aches from drinking juice and it's so annoying. It's so annoying. I'm assuming it's because of like the sugar that's in it but every time I drink like apple juice orange juice, any sort of juice, Hawaiian punch, sunny D, anything, even just like a little Capri Sun. If I drink it on an empty stomach specifically, then my stomach will really hurt. And my stomach doesn't even have to be completely empty for it to hurt from the juice, but like, especially when it's empty, it will hurt extra bad. Like I always need to eat food first, I guess to like absorb the sugar or something. I don't know how it works. Okay. Do I look like a woman of science? No. But yeah, I just hate it so much. And like, I think that has made me dislike apple juice because I just associate apple juice with my stomach hurting. So I like never want to drink it. It's so sad. And like, I just always have to be mindful of when I'm going to drink some little juice. Oh my goodness, juicy juice. Because I was about to call it a little juicy juice, you know, how I like to say little words like that. Um, but juicy juice is an actual 
Juice brand. And we used to get that all the time. Oh my goodness, that takes me back. Juicy Juice was a part of my childhood besties. And yeah, that stuff would absolutely make my stomach hurt if I had some of it, especially right now. Yeah, that would that would make my stomach hurt. So does anybody else have this issue? And like, is it just the sugar? Like, what am I, is it user error? Am I doing something wrong, you know? Are we supposed to be drinking juice in a different way that I didn't know about? Anyways, here I am working on Rasher's side of the yard. So I just figured this would be kind of like a little bit of a dumping trash grounds, like not really trash, but like obviously there's some barrels and rusty things and discarded things. And I don't know, it's just a bunch of like storage stuff. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. It's just, it's just messy. That's really all it is. That's kind of what I'm doing for this yard because the jail cells are like the main thing, you know, I didn't really want to do all too much in front of the actual houses because we have the jail cells, like that's the main attraction people are going to be looking at that and being like oh okay <laughs> they're not going to be looking at these random barrels in front of the house so i was just throwing down random stuff here just trying to keep in with the aesthetic keep in with the vibe you know like we like to do and then on the left side i kind of wanted to do a little mini like mini 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 cemetery type of thing so first i wanted to do this little gazebo here i don't know i was just feeling the vibe it's all mossy and abandoned so i thought it fit in with this island and for some reason i decided to put the like transportation stops on the sides of the houses i don't know why like i just think it makes them look a little more full and stuff like that so i just decided to do that and we're also going to throw a fence back there and everything like that and again just random stuff random stuff and i also just like to put storage sheds and diy tables wherever i can just like mixed in with the decor because it just makes it so convenient when i'm decorating just to have one nearby and i know i could always have one in my inventory at all times but i don't know for some reason i just don't do that i don't know why but yeah i love how i started talking about the cemetery and then i don't do that i forget that you know my decorating style is just all over the place. Although I've been pretty good about it here. I think we've been working in, in decent sections, you know? I think I just started talking about it a little prematurely. So maybe that's voiceover Raven's fault. Oh my goodness. I'm at fault for once. Wow. This is really a new place for me to be, you know? I, I need a minute to, to process this, to think about this. Okay, I've processed and I've never done anything wrong in my entire life. So anyways, now we're gonna work on the little cemetery area, aka the cemetery Ah. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. I will be here all week until the end of the month. So yeah, we have these little gravestones and I just wanted to put a few of them kind of tucked away in the trees a little bit. Um, it's not necessarily mysterious. Actually, it is mysterious. You know what? Wait, I didn't even do this on purpose, but I'm just realizing it now. Three gravestones, three jail cells. What does it mean? What does it mean? I didn't even know that I did this. I just put it together now. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, there's there's definitely something happening. There's some lore here, so kind of terrifying. I do I do we wanna know? Do we want to know? That's the question that we gotta ask ourselves as we're falling asleep tonight. Oh my goodness. Sometimes my brain does not turn off, especially when I'm trying to go to sleep. How do you turn it off? How do you make it stop? I'm just trying to go to sleep. And my brain is like, hey, want to think about everything right now? And I'm like, no, I really don't. Can we not? And my brain is like, <laughs> yes, we're going to. Sorry, bestie. I don't know what it is. Like, I've never been that person to just like fall asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow. I'm that person who I will literally do what they say on all of the google articles when you google how to fall asleep faster and they're like just lay there with your eyes closed and try not to think about anything like don't be on your phone just lay there and you'll fall asleep and it's like okay i'll lay here and then i lay there for an hour guess what i'm not asleep i'm just thinking about things for an hour while being horizontal in bed what now google what am i supposed to do to fall asleep it's so annoying especially when i like have to be awake the next day like semi early and i'm like can i can i please go to sleep now and it's just it's just doesn't happen it just doesn't happen the thing that helps the most i guess is just to distract my brain so like i'll just listen to a video or something Thing or blast some music and I know that seems so counterproductive and it's so funny. I used to fall asleep to like heavy music 
like every single night not like gentle songs i would listen to like my pop punk music as i'm falling asleep and you know what it works okay it distracts my brain because i feel like if i played like gentle lullaby -y music then i'm just gonna i'm just gonna not be distracted and i'm gonna keep thinking about stuff and that's the last thing that we want you know i want to not use my brain like 24 hours a day it's just so unfortunate that in order to survive we do have to use our brain i wish i could turn my brain into slime and like play with it and do like slime asmr videos but unfortunately i need it to survive so we can't do that <laughs> but anyways thankfully the not being able to fall asleep because of my thoughts it doesn't happen too too often like it's not every night but it's enough to where it's annoying but i'm hoping today it doesn't happen because i am going to go to sleep after i finish recording this and i am pooped today besties i woke up early today so i am pretty tired so i don't think that'll be an issue today so don't worry about me but we are just about wrapping up this build i love this one it's so fun i just absolutely love it we're making a little path here branching off of this circle path by the creepy pit down there and everything is looking spectacular so we're just gonna fill that in we're finished i know i didn't think we would get here either why am i holding an axe don't worry about it don't worry about it and i will see you in the next one hello and welcome back to day seven of my spooky island today more so than all the rest of the days on this series i truly don't know what we're doing i am starting to freak out just a teensy bit just just a little bit just a little bit because day seven marks the halfway point of this again this is not necessarily like a challenge or anything like that i don't have only 14 days to finish this island but like i'm only gonna put out 14 episodes so like i kind of need to get cracking a little bit but anyways i took a little peek in the plaza earlier there was really nothing going on kicks is here no thought bubbles or anything it'll probably be a while until we get another one. Oh, how are we looking on villagers okay so we have one two three four spooky villagers i am including nan because like if i have to keep her i'll keep her i think i think she can fit we are in november now and we have the cute little maple leaves everywhere and uh, i don't know how i feel about this grass i don't know you know what oh actually i just saw nooks in the distance and i kind of want to do nooks today i feel like that would be good and i think i'm going to try to have some energy and just do some real time building that would be nice because i've just been doing speed builds sometimes it is nicer for me to just like talk and just let my mind dump all of these thoughts out and just say them without any consequence you know anyways i think i'm going to fill in this little area that's here even though it is really cute but i am gonna fill it in or do i want to hmm, let me look at the map again we could have another sunken in area but like what you know i have an image of like a bunch of waterfalls and then in the middle is either like a doll or yes yes a doll and then like the moon item behind it okay but we would need a lot of space for waterfalls but could i do it I think I could. You know what? I have the thought. I have the inspiration. Why not just do it? So we can do this and we can do nooks and I feel like that'll be a pretty significant chunk. You know what I mean? I think I'll probably try to make this a little more on the symmetrical side actually. Just because I feel like with waterfalls it just kind of benefits you to have symmetrical cliffs. At least in my case because I want to do like a whole waterfall sunken thingy majiggy. So I think symmetry is where it's going to be at. That's where it's gonna be at today. Look at this mess of custom designs on this cliff. Oh my God, what is going on? Alrighty, here's what I came up with. Uh, very, very symmetrical, just like a little rectangle here. Uh, yeah, I, I think this is good. Normally I would want to do like more natural kind of uh, cliffs, but yeah, for the sake of what I have in mind, I think we're going to go symmetry, you know? Have I done a sunken waterfall? I genuinely don't remember, but we already have the cliffs back here, so I can just bring those up. And then I was already planning to connect all of this. I guess just let me do the cliffs around here, right? Might as well. Might as well just get all the cliffs situated. I forgot to charge my Joy-Cons in classic Raven fashion. My worst bad habit is that I just put down my Joy-Cons on my desk when I'm done playing and uh, completely forget about them for the rest of until I pick up Animal Crossing again. <laughs> and then uh, I'm like, oh wow, my Joy-Cons are, are completely dead. That's fun. I do have another pair, but it's a specific pair that I actually changed the like shell of it like i unscrewed the screws and like dealt with all of the wires and stuff and like put it back together with new shells and i did it 
properly. I did a good job except for one button. The left trigger, which is the whole phone menu. So I can't even pull up the phone menu with those Joy-Cons. So those are kind of useless for Animal Crossing. So I never even charge those. I always told myself I would open them back up again and fix it, but like I haven't done that. <laughs> but I've also been meaning to get the new cute pastel Joy-Cons. I should definitely get those because the Joy-Cons, like my normal ones that I always use, have drift anyway. So I should just get new Joy-Cons. It's just one of those things where like I forget about it and I don't really like need it. So I just kind of like don't ever do it because there's no opportunity to do it. You know, one of those things that you just procrastinate and forget about forever. This is so silly. There's going to be two sunken areas like right next to each other. Uh, I've never done that before, but you know what? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm trying not to care too much about like making this island super perfect or what have you. I'm just like, you know what? If you can just finish a build, like that's good enough. <laughs> that's me talking to myself. Just like finish something and we're good. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make an incline here. So I'm just carving out where that's gonna go. But I am seeing an issue here. I need to extend the cliff going this way more, but like there's this path. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I guess I could shift everything over. Uh, okay, that's gonna be really annoying, but I'll do it. Give me one sec. Okay, so I went ahead and fixed that up. It only took me a couple minutes, thankfully, but now I gotta get rid of this incline. So that is an obstacle that we have to take care of, but I'm so excited to do this waterfall thing. Ooh, uh, I'm very excited. Again, I don't remember if I've ever done a sunken waterfall. I don't recall, so it's very exciting even if this is like pretty basic pretty like straight to the point but hey it's still fun i think above like where the waterfalls are especially in the back i'm just gonna do a whole bunch of trees just to fill space because like ugh, if i could get that big area all filled in and done that'd be fantastic all right just demolish that i'll go ahead and time travel to the next day oh my god today we have a visitor in the campsite okay i'm i'm here for that i'm ready i'm excited Alrighty, let's see who it is. Uh, I just won't waste any time. Let's go see. It's just a little tiger. You're cute, but not Halloween cute. Sorry. Very, very anticlimactic, but that's fine. Uh, I forgot my ladder. I'm just gonna grab these vines. You know what? We'll just use the vines. Oh no, there is a ladder here. Never mind. You know what? Just don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. I'm just gonna finish up the rest of these cliffs like on this little border and then we'll get into putting in the waterfalls. I'm excited. Okay, that right side is all built up. Now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for like the frontal area, you know? Honestly, these little sunken in areas are so great for taking up space. Maybe I should do more of these more often. We should also do like a giant lake somewhere just to take up more space if we need to. How can we make that Halloween-y? Hmm. I know there's a bunch of horror movies that like take place at a campsite or like I know there's always ones that take place at like camps, you know, with like the cabins and counselors, that kind of camp, not like camping in the woods, like cabin camping. And you know, they're always like on a lake, you know, they're always on a lake. So we could do something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's all I got. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's where that idea ends. I'll also probably fill in all of this water that's here and probably do cliffs, but just not right now, not right now. Oh, you know what would be kind of cool to kind of make this like a little winding little path that you have to go down. Let's try to do that. I mean, it might be a little small, but the idea, the concept could still be here, you know? Like something like this, like it's kind of hidden. It's not just a straight path. All right, I built up a little bit more. So something like this. Yeah, like a little anticipation before you go into the waterfalls. I like it, I like it. Obviously the cliffs out here, everything here is, is not finished, but we shall go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and start with the uh, the waterfalls. Let's do that. Oh no, just kidding. We can't yet. I wanted to do more cliffs here. That was the whole point of doing that. Okay, hold on. I'll just do this quickly and then we'll start on the water. There we go. There we go. Now we're done. So let me go ahead and use that vine. Actually, this vine does come in handy because I did not bring my letter. And we'll do the water. I don't know like how much waterfall I want to do here. Like, do we want to do just like a solid line or do we want to do some like little small sections? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling sections. But let me see where it actually lets me put water and all that stuff. Definitely not in these little corners. Yeah, no. I'll probably do the edges. That's cute. Maybe a big three tile waterfall is good. Do that on the other side. Oh, there we go. And we can do another one that is three tiles wide in the middle. Okay. 
okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. And then we don't have to do the same thing on this side, but like we could do something similar. Might do smaller on this side. So let's try doing two and then we'll leave a space. Do two. Yeah, okay. That works. That works. Let me go mirror that on the other side. Okay, that's kind of what it's looking like. I'm just going to make my way back around to where the vine is. And we'll go do that second layer. Remember when people used to say do it for the vine? What a throwback. <laughs> when was vine popular for you guys? I vividly remember them playing vines in middle school. Like when we would have like assemblies and stuff. Wild. Can I put one here? No. Oh, you know what? I can't do the waterfall right there. That's kind of awkward. Unless I do them like offset like that. I guess that's our only option. And then we could either just do this little middle one or... Most likely what I'll probably do is, is that. Oh no, no, I can't get across. Okay, hold on, let me, let me change the order here of how I do this. Am I gonna be stuck here? Wait, did I bring the vine? No, I didn't. How did I get here? Wait, <laughs> wait, I'm trapped, I'm stuck. Okay, let me go bring the vine because obviously I can't be trusted without it. Okay, then on this side, I think we'll just do probably just the same width of waterfall. So like one that's just two tiles across, same on the other side. All right, now we'll figure out like the whole thing that I'm gonna do. I really need that moon item. I don't think I have it in my storage, but I think it's a fairly big item. You know what, let me just Google how big it is, the, the tile space, so I know how much space to leave. Okay, it's a two by two item, so. Oh my goodness, hopefully it's gonna be centered with all of this. Okay, so I wanna leave a little island like this. It feels a little too close to the entrance, so we'll push this back. And now I think I'm gonna clear away the majority of the water and just kind of have like a big lakeish pond area but i think i want to leave some little floating tiles here and there to put items on i think that'll be really cute so i think i'll do a little floating block over here so we'll just clear out the area surrounding that okay here's what it's looking like this is pretty cool this is pretty nifty i'm liking it i'm liking it let me go grab items and i'll be back and we can do some decorating okay so the plan that i had in my mind was to do like the little you know, pentagram summoning circle thing that I have, the custom design. But since this is a three by three space, I can't do that, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. I don't really know what to do otherwise. I guess we could just do like this path. We'll try it. We'll try it. Although I really wanted the little pentagram thing. I felt like that was going to be perfect, but it's fine. Now the big question is, let's see. Does the moon item line up with this doll that I'm going to do? Will this be centered? Ah, oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. My sanity has been saved. Should I put the axe next to the doll or is that like too, I don't know, too obvious? Is this just like, oh, wow, another doll with another axe? Really, Raven? So predictable. Like, is it that kind of like that vibe? You know what? I don't care. I'm going to do it anyways. Like, that's creepy, right? I mean, pretend this is not broad daylight, but at night, this will be creepy. I promise promise. Actually, let me pick this up so that I can actually access these little stepping stone things. I got some spider models. I think I'm going to put those on here. But okay, yeah, we're going to do these speeders. Should I do the backside? The backside has like the creepy like, what is that? What is this red stuff? You know what? Maybe I shouldn't zoom in on this. I don't, I'm not a spider person. There we go. There is spider number one. And then let's go do spider number two over here. Oh, let's put the, let's put the web design here. Duh obviously obviously and then we'll do this spider facing forward why not i think blood splatter front and center and then we can just do some of like these cobblestones on the ground i feel like that's good okay looking good looking good now let's see what we can put here oh i also forgot about the little corner i guess let's see what we can put in the corner let me go grab that vine i should really just go get my ladder like this is ridiculous <laughs> why am i using a vine i'm just I'm lazy. Next time I go to my storage, I'll grab it, I swear. Okay, I'm definitely feeling a campfire and a spooky tower here, but there is not enough space for me to place down both of these things. I'm gonna have to do some finagling here. So spooky tower right here, and then on top of these rocks, definitely a little campfire. Fire is always creepy when there's like creepy dolls and axes surrounding you. Oh no, but now how do I get rid of this? I guess I could just leave this. Uh, whatever, sure. We'll, we'll do that, I guess. I really should have put the decorations before I carved all of this out. That would have been the smart thing to do, but I did not do it. Okay, I need some items to put here. So to the storage we go. 
And I promise <laughs> I will get my ladder. And we're gonna go ahead and switch over to speed build voiceover Raven for the remainder of this. I just got a little tired when I was doing it. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna toss it over to speed build Raven. So that's what we're doing. Hello again. I just ate two Oreos and it was a fantastic time. They were specifically the Halloween Oreos. Great, stunning, spectacular. Basically what I'm just doing for the remainder of this is throwing the rest of the items on these random little spots, like finishing up here, putting that little spooky tower and the campfire, and then just making my way back and we're just gonna put a bunch of items on the cliffs and stuff like that do some weeds do some vines that's pretty much it also i have not been drinking very much water and it's because i know it's because i haven't washed my stanley i need to wash it i usually hand wash it i usually don't put it in the dishwasher so sometimes i'll procrastinate hand washing it and i haven't washed it these past couple days i just notice specifically my body when it doesn't get enough water my lips get so so dry like my lips are already dry and crusty and i'm out here using like chapstick and all kinds of like extra hydrating things throughout the day and still my lips are crusty and i especially notice it when i put on lipstick and i'm just like wow this this does not look good bestie i don't know why they've been extra dry like i've been dehydrated before but lately they have been extra dry my lips because of the dehydration i don't know what it is maybe because it's a little bit cooler weather even though we don't really get cooler weather here in florida one of those things i don't know but more of the story drink your water i've been trying to chug water today because i'm like all right i am tired of these dry lips can we please not do this but yeah just putting some finishing touches here i don't really know what's going on with all these cliffs on the outside of the sunken in area but i'm just throwing down a little bit of decor just to fill things in a little bit you know stuff like that so we're about finishing up just gonna throw down some extra extra things, some little custom designs, gotta of course have some spooky decorations, all that good stuff. So now I will toss it back over temporarily to Real Time Raven for my final thoughts. Okay, I went ahead and finished up. Sorry, I just got really sleepy, so I think that's gonna be it for me today. Um, but there's definitely gonna be more to this video that I'll just record tomorrow or something. But yeah, here's how this came out. I like it. I really like it. It's, it's just super funny. It's... <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks good. It's uh, very fun, very fun. So obviously we still need to decorate kind of like the surrounding cliff areas, but yeah, that's gonna be a job for future me. Um, but I f I'm glad that I, I finished all of this today. So yeah, I'm gonna go uh, get some sleep, but you're gonna immediately get plunged into the next build with future raven so enjoy hello hello future raven is back uh did you miss me probably not it was only like a, a minute or so <laughs> but anyways now we're gonna get to work on nook's cranny i just had a very simple idea for this but we are clearing out this little spot first so i can put it here there was a lot of stuff going on you know some stuff i had to pick up trees to get rid of all that good stuff i know i mentioned before uh, a couple videos back that i did not want the two islands even though it's the same island but you know the the two islands quotations to feel too similar so i wanted to change up the path layouts i wanted to change out where the buildings are etc etc so i do move nooks you can see its old location right there i don't move it very far I don't, but it just so happened that the paths were going this way and all that good stuff. So I just, I just put it here. All right. And I also time traveled to nighttime because I figured I've been doing so much building in the daytime. Let me do something at night. So at least we, we finally get a build in the nighttime. <laughs> I'm going to try to be better about that in future episodes, at least maybe record like early morning when it's still a little bit dark. I mean, the visibility is okay, but you'll see in the next episode, like this build ends up looking very different spoiler alert in the daytime, but it's okay. We can get into that tomorrow. I just had the idea to use these medieval building sides. Like I think I mentioned uh, like a few episodes ago at some point uh, when I was ordering them from Nook's shopping, I was like, oh, maybe I can make something with these. And I was like, you know what? Nook's cranny, the exterior, it looks too cute. It's too happy. We need to make this a little more abandoned looking and all that good stuff. So I thought these would be good just to place around Nook's and just make it look more like a little abandoned 
abandoned building shop thing. Is it the most amazing perfect thing ever? No. Does it look a slightly funky? Yes, but it's all right. The illusion is all we need, okay? We just need to give ourselves that illusion, lie to ourselves, and we'll believe anything, you know? So of course, we always got to start out with trees. I didn't really leave myself that much space between nooks and like the little path in front of it and to the left of it. So I was just squeezing them in where I could. And as you can see, speaking of space, we don't really have that much. We've got two tiles basically in front of these little medieval building walls. So I was like, all right, you know, we've got a small amount of space. Let me see what I can do here. Let me cook a little bit. Let's see what I can figure out. I mostly go with the same thing that I've kind of been doing in a few areas, which is just like barrels and random storage stuff, just to make it look like there's a bunch of stuff maybe taken from inside the building. You know, it's been abandoned for a while. There's just stuff everywhere. You know what I mean? Like that kind of vibe. So started off with some barrels and of course had to put down a little campfire because, you know, things are just on fire here. Like things just spontaneously burst into flames you know that's just how it is sometimes but of course i'm also trying to include the spooky decor so we maintain our halloweeny themey so i thought that the spooky arch would be good in front of the doorway because i mean we had that little bit of awkward space anyway from the walls so it was it was a good fit and even though it doesn't really line up perfectly with the walls it's fine it's fine <laughs> and of course spooky trees are perfect because they are nice and abandoned looking you know nice and foresty with the leafless limbs and all that kind of good stuff. And I keep using this little custom design like zombie dirty stained shirt everywhere. It's been a really great code. I am so glad that I got it. So that's gonna be our little attendant to this little stall that we put down. And I guess Nook's just had a little extra stall outside with some of the, the extra stuff, you know? I also thought that the little spooky towers beside it were so cute. I just love the spooky towers. I was gonna say someone should make that in real life, but I guarantee there's something out there that looks exactly like it. Like it's just three glowing jack-o'-lanterns stacked on top of each other. Like there has to be an item in real life that looks like that. I, I guarantee it. I tried to put a little headstone there. It did not work. I tried a little mushroom log, did not work. But eventually I just settled on another spooky lantern and I just think it looks so cute. I love all the glow from the lanterns. They look so good at night. So I am glad that I decided to build at night just because it looks so cute. And then on the stall, we're going to be selling some equipment um some tools that you might need to survive this island oh hi pepper pepper is meowing at me right now do you want some of the tools to survive this island you want a gas mask what about an axe no okay he's uninterested but yeah i figured we could be selling some equipment you know maybe there's one last uh merchant who goes around this island and they set up shop in front of nooks and they're like hey you want to survive give me $50,000 for this gas mask. You're going to need it. Or $10 million for this axe. You will need it. Oh, you want the axe? You want the axe, Pepper? Okay, I think he wants the axe, so I'm going to have to get an extra sharp one for him. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of a, that's kind of my idea there for the little stall outside. I thought it was cute. I also think the coat is really good. Just kind of like that tattered, grimy, like old, crusty little uh, stall thingy. Yeah, uh, it all came out great. So here it is. I think it looks really, really cute at night, specifically at night. And then I captured this really awesome moment of the lights turning off completely unintentionally. I was like, wait, what? It kind of uh, surprised me. It kind of caught me off guard. But yeah, there is the build. I hope you like it. I hope you like both builds that were in this video today. Ton of fun as usual. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to day eight of my Halloween island. I'm obsessed with how this island looks right now. Like, look at this. The stars in the sky, all the lit up jack-o'-lanterns. Ah, it's beautiful. I did a quick pass through of the plaza, but yeah, we have no thought bubbles here today. Unfortunately, I might as well go back here and check because there are two houses back here even though i want to keep both of these villagers so they better not have thought bubbles okay they're not even out here good 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 i did quite a bit last night off camera actually it was mostly just terraforming not only did i do some terraforming i also came up with a bunch of ideas and i am so motivated i have so many things i want to work on like i legitimately can't choose what i want to do next but first of all i did want to add some of those lamp posts with the little bats on them 
to Nook's Cranny. I forgot to do that on our build yesterday, so I'm gonna go look for those and grab those. I literally remembered at the end of the build and I was like, you know what, I'm not... I'm not gonna go put those in there right now. Like, I remember when I finished recording. So I was like, I'm I'm already done recording. I'll just do it tomorrow. So here we are. I don't know where all my customizing kits are. Did I, did I use them all? I'm pretty sure some stuff did go in the recycling bin. So let me just check. Uh-huh, yeah. One of my ideas is to make a skeleton wedding or like a Halloween wedding. And I desperately want to call whatever video I do that build in. I'm gonna call it Halloween Island day whatever. And I'm gonna call it what a beautiful wedding. Okay, I don't actually know where I'm going to put these banners. I kind of filled up all this space. Like I could fit one right here maybe? I think that's fine. At least we have one. We're not forced to have two. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. If anything, maybe I could put the other one like on the opposite side of this. I mean, that's just like maybe for later if I feel like doing that or whatever. But goals for today, definitely want to get a villager because because if I'm gonna do 10 villager hunts and I'm only posting 14 episodes, that means I pretty much have to do a villager hunt almost every episode. And I feel like I've not really done that many. I mean, this is day eight, right? And I've only done three villager hunts. So, oh, we're already behind schedule because that means there's been five episodes where I haven't done a villager hunt. There's only supposed to be four episodes where I don't do a villager hunt. Okay, so we're behind. Maybe one of these episodes will just be like totally dedicated to villager hunting and we do like three of them or something. Oh, uh, that would exhaust me, but... You know, if we have to do it, then we have to do it. Anyways, back to what I was saying. This was on my to-do list to fix the lamppost to put those there. So that's done. So let me show you what I did last night. You can see the little sunken in waterfall area. I basically made this whole dongle of a cliff like in front of it and to the right a little bit. I carved out this section. It's pretty cute. I like it. So I was thinking I could put a villager house right here and then we have the little path leading back to the sunken waterfall. Ooh. Have we seen this at night yet? I don't know if we have. I love it. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much what I've done. So I just got a lot of cliff going over here on the right and I kind of had to stop because the museum was right here. But yeah, that's kind of what I was up to. Just a whole bunch of terraforming. But since I was talking about the skeleton wedding, I think I kind of want to do that. Okay, do we want to do the skeleton wedding here? I don't think so. I, I'm not feeling it. I feel like that's too small. We can actually hop over this, which is really nice. And we do have all of this. This is pretty big. I could fill this in down here and this could probably work. Why not? Let's just do it instead of me running around and trying to find somewhere else. It's just done, decided. We'll do that. All right, so I went ahead and finished all of that up. There we go. Now it's got a nice little edge down here and this connects to where the old neighborhood used to be, the remnants of it. <laughs> so sad looking, but it's fine. So here's what I'm thinking. I kind of want to have the main area where you, you know, walk down the aisle and everything. And I think I want to have a little reception area with some tables and food and stuff like that. So I'm thinking the reception area can maybe fit here and then we can have the rest of it kind of like in this general area. So uh, I'm I'm gonna have to do more terraforming. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wanna terraform and fix up these cliffs and get rid of this pond. Let me just do that quickly. The grind never stops. The grind never stops. All right, there we go. That's all I feel like doing right now. I could fix it up all the way to the back, but yeah, I don't feel like it. So let's continue. I actually wanna get started on this. Let me go ahead and start off with some good old trees. You know, we gotta do some trees. Okay, threw down a couple more trees. That's looking good. Now let me get some of this stuff out of the way because I think this is literally right where I want to put the wedding aisle walkway thingy. I guess let's go ahead and start kind of mapping that out. So I decided I want to do a whole bunch of the wedding benches. Wow. <laughs> I just really want this to feel like a wedding and I didn't want to risk using like some other item that has a less of a wedding-y feeling, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna do the wedding benches, even if they are a little too cute for this abandoned spooky island. So I was thinking we'll do two of these on each side. So we'll do two like this and then we'll have the aisle and then we'll have two more benches. I think that's a good plan. It's a solid plan. Okay, now let's figure out the aisle. How long do I want this to be? Do I want to use a specific path? What am I doing here? Hmm, I don't know if I like or dislike the 
fact that it does not touch the wedding benches. I think I'm fine with it. We're gonna be at peace. Gonna be at peace. You know what? This is not, this is not doing it for me, actually. I'm gonna try the brick. I do think I like that better. Okay, there we go. Just finished that off. I think that looks good. Now let's go ahead and do the wedding benches on the other side. Oh my goodness, I'm looking at this bench right up against the path, the aisle, and I kind of like it. Oh, what if I brought two of them together? <sighs> I like it better. I, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't live like this. I have to pull them closer. I'm sorry. Okay, there are the rest of the benches. Looking great, looking good. I am loving it. I could do some of these wooden steps. You know how like usually at weddings, especially if there's one at a church, you'll like go up a little set of mini steps onto like a little mini stage. You know what I'm talking about? I don't even know if I'm gonna like how all of this looks anyway. I feel like I have such a different perception of like what things look like at nighttime in Animal Crossing versus in the daytime. I'm gonna use the cracked tile here just for pretending that they're on a little mini stage or whatever. Okay, I didn't have everything that I thought I needed, so I had to order some stuff and we're gonna go ahead and time travel to the next day. Oh, and would you look at that? We have a campsite visitor today. Let's go see who that is. Also, I time travel to the daytime. Please don't be mad at me. I just can't see anything. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you know, this looks much better in the dark. Oh my goodness, I also haven't seen this in the daytime yet. Uh, the red of pillars are a choice. Yeah, those are a choice. Um, you know, I'm just going to be grateful that things look better in the in the shroud of darkness. <laughs> Anyways, let's see who this is. Uh, please be somebody good. Wow, wish denied. All right, that's fine. So I'm trying to think of how a wedding is usually constructed here. So I know we have the podium thingy, the, the altar. I actually might have to add an extra row. So let me just do this really quick. Okay, so I think I'll pull this back all the way to the back and then we're gonna do the spooky arch. <laughs> I love it. I don't know what I wanna do for the lovely people getting married. So I do have like the tuxedo item and I do have the wedding dress item. Okay. So I was thinking we replace the groom over here with, oh wait, hold on. It's in the mailbox. <laughs> We're going to do skeleton. Yes. Yes. Girl, you wanted to marry a skeleton. I am all for it. I am here for it. She knows what she wants. She doesn't settle. I'm proud of her. And then you know what would be so funny? Oh my goodness. We need to to have a gyroid be marrying them. I need a stool. I need a stool. Boom. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is the most perfect thing ever. Oh my god. Okay, now we have to do the grooms people and the brides people. I was thinking we could have a little spooky scarecrow over here as one of them. I'll probably only do like two or three because I really couldn't come up with that many things. And then I was thinking we could do this absolutely terrifying anatomical model. And then why not? Let's just do another skeleton. There we go. And then for the bride's side, guess what? Did you guess? Yeah, we're doing dollies. And they're so rude, they wore white to the wedding. Can you believe it? But you know what? Anything goes on the Halloween island. That's just absolutely sinister. Of course. Of course it had to happen here. I guess we could do this shirt here. Even though this is a lot of white on the bride's side. Like, guys, come on. <laughs> Did nobody get the memo? I'm just gonna clear up some of this stuff on the ground because it's all kind of bothering me. There we go. Much better. We're missing some vertical height here. And aside from trees, I also wanted to include some of those wedding pipe organs. This looks, this looks fantastic. I'm so excited. Okay, now I think we can go in with our trees safely. I'm thinking two is definitely right here. Oh, absolutely. I think we can get away with some symmetrical trees here. Here. So I'll do one in the corner over there and then we'll go around to the other side. I'll do the same thing. Oh wow, but I can't because there's a cliff. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? This is ridiculous. I'm trying to have a nice creepy skeleton wedding and this cliff is trying to ruin the vibe. 
honestly, the audacity. I wanted to do some of these candles. I feel like those give off a nice little vibe. And then of course, I wanna do some sort of flower petal things, but the only flower petals that we have are the cherry blossom ones, and those are obviously not gonna work. So I figured we could get some picked black roses and we can just drop these. Another thing I kinda wanted to do was put a little wheat field here. And I wanna work on the little reception area. I got these little tables. I'm doing this like ratty tablecloth thing. This is supposed to be for a stall, but <laughs> we're gonna do um we're gonna do tablecloth today. Okay, just imagine, just imagine. Okay, here is my genius idea, besties. I'm gonna use the little potion bottle thingy that I used back at the witch hut. And this will be like the the drink options, you know, the little drink selections for the night. And then for the other side, we're just gonna do a plain old fence. And then I thought it would also be funny. I got this like little slime design. I was gonna use it around the witch hut and I'm also gonna use it for another um, area that I wanna build. I thought it would be funny if we put that underneath, like something spilled, you know? Also, I'm loving the ants from this turnip. Keep it up besties work. That is fantastic for the mood. I got some stuff that I thought would be good for like creepy food I guess it's not it's regular food it's normal food but I'm just trying to fit in the theme okay so we've got stuff like squid ink spaghetti sea bass yeah and like some little jarred mushrooms okay I've also got some decorative bottles and then in the back here I'm gonna do some of this glowing moss like red stuff you can't really see it against the tablecloth all too well but I think once it's night it'll be glowing and you'll be able to see it and then back here we're gonna do a good old container of fish delicious and let's do something to fill in this little gap I'm thinking a wheat field that'll be perfect there we go now let's get some tables in here so I didn't remember to get chairs so all I really have in abundance are log stools so that's what we're gonna use and for our tables I am gonna do the good old spooky tables I thought that this would be a good excuse to use them oh they're so cute and I also grabbed the white ones just because I feel like it had a little more of a wedding vibe I guess and then I also wanted to find an excuse to use the spooky table settings <laughs> and we're gonna do um the, the white ones because you know wedding and I only brought three of the tables I think I can fit them all in I think we can do that just put some stuff here and then I made this little perimeter with the spooky fence I think it looks cute and yeah actually I probably can only fit two of the tables but I think that's fine. Okay, here's what I managed to figure out here. So I'm gonna have the stools up here, the little chairs, and then we'll have this turned around like that. But of course, this top part looks empty. So I was thinking what could be cute is to have a little black rose just placed there like a little vase super cute love it adorable but yeah this is coming along I love it I think I'm going to take a pause here and maybe do some last finishing touches in a bit so yeah I'm going to take a quick pause here and I'll see you in just a minute to finish this off alrighty so I started time traveling just to go to nighttime to finish up our little skeleton wedding build add those last finishing touches and so we can see it at night and look at what we have here we've got a visitor in the campsite Okay, no thought bubbles in the plaza, at least that I can see. Ooh, look at how good it's looking back there. But okay, let's head on over to our campsite. Let's see who's in here. Oh my goodness, it's flurry. What a little cutie. You're like a little snowball. I'm just gonna eat you. Here is our little skeleton wedding at nighttime. Very cute, very cute. And then here is our little reception area. Honestly, like we only need a few finishing touches, I think, and then we're probably good. I have one singular tree in my inventory. I feel like this cliff really needs it. So let's go ahead. Oh my goodness, <gasps> Wisp is in the back, adding to the vibe. Wisp bestie, thank you. Well, I have some extra stuff in my inventory. Why not? Let's just put some stuff here, I guess. I'm gonna do a little spooky lantern. I've got some black tulips right there. And then I think I'm gonna do some fencing, but of course we gotta get some custom designs underneath. Oh my goodness, I have another skeleton in my inventory. We can do it kind of like peeking out from back here. Then I'll just do a little holly bush there and then I'm kind of done. <laughs> I don't wanna work on this top part anymore. I'm gonna throw up a bunch of vines uh, wherever they fit. I'm thinking we're just missing some custom designs and weeds everywhere. So I'm just gonna go in with some more of those. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this will look a lot 
better, in my opinion, once the weeds are all grown, but that's kind of the idea for now. So yeah, there's our little skeleton wedding. I absolutely adore it. So now let's get into some villager hunting, of course. I'm gonna empty out this inventory and get some tickets. And then I'm just gonna do what I've done before. I'm just gonna go time travel until I find a thought bubble. And then I'll come back and let you know once I do that. And then we'll head out on our hunt. Here we are, finally. This took me forever to get a thought bubble. Oh my goodness, but sorry, Brofina. Um, goodbye. Okay, besties, let's get this started. You already know who I want. I want Muffy. I'm manifesting Muffy. But any other spooky villagers, I will take. We're not going to be picky. I feel like we've been, you know, we've been pretty good about it. So I've got 30 tickets in my inventory. We're just going to get started. And I am craving, what am I craving? Hmm. I'm craving a strawberry pop tart. That's what I'm craving. First tickets and it's rolled up there. At least he's cute. You know, at least we get a cutie on the first ticket. You know, that makes me feel good. That makes me feel good. Next, a monkey. Okay. You know what? This is already a roller coaster. Please. No monkeys. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Ticket number three. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Wait, wait, I don't have a vaulting pole. Wait, I think there's a little hack. We can just go around the back. This is hard. This is hard because obviously she's a cute little spooky villager, right? But do I want to maybe hold out? Because like a kangaroo is just not the vibe, kind of. Like I would prefer a different villager species. Species. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out for somebody else actually. I know I just said we're not gonna be picky and I feel like I'm not really being picky like the next one I find I'll take you know we won't be that picky just just slightly just slightly dipping our toe into the pool of pickiness. Okay, I hope you won't mind. Oh, next we got a kitty. Okay, all right. I'm always happy to see kitties because I feel like you never see them. So I'm glad to see them. I'm happy to say hello. You know who I haven't seen in a while? Raymond. I have not seen that man in a while. I really don't come across him too much in villager hunts. Okay, next is uh, Bubbles. Yeah, no. Next is, I forget your name. Oh, Velma, of course, of course. How could I forget? Next up, we have Del across the water and a little message in a bottle, but I don't have my vaulting poles. I'm just gonna leave it. Our second goat of the hunt, Billy. Honestly, if I'm gonna have a goat on the island, I'm just gonna keep Nan, so I'm Truly not interested in any other coat at the moment. Oh my goodness. No, don't make me do this. You would be so cute, Maple. Ah, uh, it's fine. It hurts. It hurts so much. It's like ripping off a band-aid a thousand times over the same area. But we have to do it. We have to do it. I'm gonna go back. No, they're making me climb mountains here. Ugh. This better be worth it. It was not. It was not worth it. And oh my goodness, we have Cookie. You're so cute. You're so cute. I gotta run. I gotta leave. Next, we have this uh this blue pig. I think honestly, we're good for. For pigs on this island you know we've got rasher we don't need like any more pigs we don't we don't need chops definitely so please no please no chops on these mystery islands please i beg you next is roswell hey hey bestie i really do like roswell he's he's a cutie but not a cutie for halloween island sadly next is chicken night wow he really makes me want chicken nuggets some chicken nuggets right now can I change my craving? <laughs> Can we change it to chicken nuggets? Next up, having to climb another cliff. Ugh. <laughs> no. No, that was not worth it. Oh my god. She's on the enemy list. I can't believe I actually put effort into an enemy. Ugh. Wilbur, get me out of here. This is like embarrassing. I can't. I need to leave. Okay, this one made it easy for me. It's um... Yeah, it's that it's that yellow bowl up there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go. Renee is up next. A cutie, a cutie. You know, she could maybe almost fit. Maybe if we gave her like a different dress or something. It's not a villager hunt without some sort of octopus. And sucker's first on our list today. <laughs> oh, another kitty. Oh, Pearl is so cute. Pearl, I love you. You're adorable. I wish I could take you. We have gotten so many good villagers for like a cute little forest core island getting maple. Roswell, we could have taken Pearl. Oh, it's so painful, but I'm holding out, hoping we're gonna get someone good and it's all gonna be worth it. Oh my goodness. What was I just saying? Okay, okay, stop. 
Just don't look. Look away before it hurts even more. Ugh. Okay, okay. Our streak has ended. Our streak has ended. <laughs> we can breathe. We can breathe a little more right now. We have a bunny. I don't remember your name. I remember I had her on my very first island. Oh, Bon Bon. Yeah, Bon Bon. And next we have another kitty. And I love how I was saying, wow, we barely see any cats on villager hunts, blah, blah, blah. It's so nice to see them. And the game is like, okay, here you go. <laughs> Here's some cats. Okay, we have a, a duplicate. Am I happy about that? Am I sad about it? You know what? I'm gonna choose to not let it affect me at all. And we're not gonna have any sort of positive or negative reaction. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Next up we have one of the bunnies. Wow. I see purple. Oh, okay. It's the other Renee. Wow. We got both of them on this hunt. So just a little bit of news. Um, I only have three tickets left. Next we have Sid. I forgot his name. So I had to come and talk to him. That's kind of embarrassing. No. 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 I have to do it, don't I? This is my worst nightmare. This is my worst nightmare. But you know what? We're doing a Halloween island. I... No! No, no! I have to do it, don't I? I cannot believe this is happening right now. I can't believe this is happening. I... I'm not well right now. I'm not well. I hate him so much. I hate him so much. Yeah, I think, I think I've seen a lot of comments talking about me getting chops on this island, you know, to be my worst nightmare. I'm gonna do it for you guys. I'm gonna do it for you guys. I cannot believe I am inviting chops onto one of my islands in the year of our Barbie movie 2023. <sighs> I have no words. I'm truly speechless. I can't believe this is happening right now. This is not real. Stop saying Zoink. I didn't even know his catchphrase because I never have spoken to this man. I can't believe it's Zoink. Oh my, I can't believe it's Zoink. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm physically ill. Oh my God. No. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm definitely using this for the thumbnail. So let me, let me take a sec. <laughs> let me take some thumbnail pictures. Oh, this is intimate. Oh my goodness. I think that was the perfect shot. I wish it wasn't so zoomed in. No, 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 no. Get back over here. You know what? If you're going to be on my island, you're going to be used for something, okay? Get back up here. Okay, if he stands in that corner and I stand over here and I and I look at that, if if I do that, it kind of looks like I'm I'm looking at him to like give him a kiss or something. <laughs> no. Okay, that looks like a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> okay. That's something. <laughs> Stop walking around everywhere! Okay. No, no, no. No, it was perfect. Okay. That... Wow, I hate that. I hate this. <laughs> this is... This is rough. He keeps turning at the wrong moment. Oh my god, where'd he go? Oh my god. We lost him! <laughs> no, where is he? <laughs> he surpassed me. Okay. One of those has to work. So, yeah. Okay. I... I'm not okay. I am shook to my core. I thought I was gonna do more stuff after this, but you know what? I, I'm done. I need to go. I need to take three to five business days to process this. I don't know how I will emotionally, financially, spiritually, mentally recover from this. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go. Please like this video because I am in pain and I am suffering. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to day nine of my Halloween island. I have still not emotionally recovered from yesterday. I'll be honest. There's a, there's a lot going on inside my brain right now. It's on my heart my soul. It's been rough. It's been rough. I did see chops on the island when I loaded in today. It was very hard for me. So we're going to get straight into it today. I have an idea. I want to work on the museum, if you couldn't already guess, because I, I have it behind me in the intro. <laughs> I have an idea. I went and got items. The only thing is I don't know where to put it. So 
that's the only thing we kind of have to figure out together. I'm thinking, you know, we worked on the skeleton wedding. Let's see if we can place the museum maybe somewhere nearby. I could move this house. Is this Chops' house? No, okay, it's Goose's house. I could move that house. I could move my house and put it somewhere back here. That might be a good idea. So I think I'm gonna try to do that. Okay, I've got Goose's house and I mentioned that I wanted to put a little house over here in this little crevice. So I might as well just move Goose on over here. There we go. Fits perfectly right there. I think that'll be good. Now I'm going to go ahead and time travel to the next day. And of course, there's a visitor in the campsite. I feel like we've been getting like one almost every episode and I'm here for it. I honestly am. Alrighty, let's go ahead and see. Oh. Um. Oh. Okay. You know, even though we've been getting a lot of campsite villagers, none of them have been very good. Okay, I went ahead and moved my house. I just put it here on top of all of these, uh, these crops. Now we're gonna go ahead and time travel to the next day again. Okay, so now we finally have space. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some terraforming and connect these cliffs over here on the left with these cliffs over here on the right. Alrighty, I will quickly run you through what I have done. I put this little incline here. Um, right here is like the back of the uh, skeleton wedding. You can see in the corner one of the organs. Okay, so I built all of this. We've got a decent chunk of space and then right here is the ominous waterfall so yeah i think this is good for the museum but i'm gonna go ahead and throw it down here and we're gonna get to work i'm gonna switch it over to voiceover raven and we'll get started so i went ahead and put down the museum just like that nice and simple and you're probably sick of hearing me saying it, but we're gonna start with trees. Wow. <laughs> I wanted to place the museum far, like, forward enough so that we would have space for some tree staggering in the back. Although, does it really make a difference? I don't really know. But I was gonna follow a similar idea, thought process as Nook's Cranny. The colors of the museum, and pretty much of all the shops except for the tailors, kind of don't really go with my abandoned Halloween core island, so we're just gonna Gonna cover this up <laughs> honestly we're gonna we're gonna cover it up we're gonna make it into a different building so this time i'm using the castle walls you know at nooks we have the spooky arch and it's cute but it didn't like connect with the medieval walls it's just a little awkward and it was kind of bothering me so i knew that for the museum i kind of wanted to do something different so i was like okay the castle walls have like the little castle gate the little archway and that just all goes together it's a matching set so we can just do that so that was the plan as for the other plan for the museum as in like what are we gonna do for this whole thing? I was thinking bugs, right? Okay, because it fits, right? The museum obviously has the fish and the bugs and the fossils and everything like that, but I wanted to do like a big bugs like all of those like really big beetle models like the one that I put down there that you saw and just have like a bunch of creepy bugs I was thinking kind of like this trail this pathway lined with these big bugs like who knows what's going on I actually do have a little bit of kind of lore and backstory that I would like to talk about for the bugs but we're gonna need to do a different build first so there's a reason that there's like a bunch of big ones outside the museum but yeah I thought that would be really fun and it wouldn't be like too too much to do, like too much work. It's just some decorations and then some bugs. That's really it. So I accidentally made this kind of like an awkward spot too. We have like the ominous waterfall to the left over here and we have like the little section that's right by the reception area of the wedding. So it's, I don't know, there's just like some awkward areas here and I was just trying to deal with everything and I obviously had this incline that's right here that's just off to the side <laughs> and I'm like, how am I gonna make this pathway for walking? Like this is all just slightly awkward to work with so I had to finagle these paths and everything like that and it was just a little bit of work but it was fine and by a little bit of work I mean a lot a bit of work because this actually for some reason took me so long I don't know why usually when I'm in the zone with building like it doesn't feel like time is passing slowly or anything like that and I usually go pretty fast anyways because I kind of have an idea of what I want to do for this I had an idea like the bugs 
was my idea, but the rest of the stuff I didn't really know about. Like I kind of just was figuring things out as I went with like the barrel section and whatever other decor was going to be around here. So I don't know, this one felt like extra long for some reason. Maybe it's just because this day has felt extra long. This has been a very long day for me, so maybe it's just that, I don't know. But yeah, this was definitely a new thing for me to do. I've used bug models in the past before, of course, especially on my fairy core island. I used a lot of the pretty butterfly models that are just oh so cute. So this was something new to use like scorpions and I did not use this, the tarantulas because those freak me out too much. I did use the little spiders, but not the tarantulas. I was like, I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> but I'm just using like more of the creepy bugs, the big beetles, stuff like that, which is not really my vibe. So it was just something new to do, just kind of like something to freshen things up, shake it up, all that kind of stuff. And like I've mentioned in previous episodes, I really have been enjoying that, even though this is totally not my aesthetic in real life or really in, in anything. I have just been having a lot of fun actually, just because it's so different. And you know what? It's nice to do something different once in a while, you know? Speaking of different things though, I recently have been going down this rabbit hole of listening to old songs that I would listen to like literally 12 years ago which is just what is time, you know? But it's crazy because I, I was listening to these songs and I'm like, I haven't listened to this in, you know, like 12 years. And it's crazy how like the human mind you know, stores things away forever and you never even know that it's stored there. And then one day you just, you just open the box. <laughs> like the lyrics came back to me from these songs from 12 years ago. And I'm like, how do I know this? I don't even remember what I had for dinner two days ago, but I remember these song lyrics. Like what, what is this? <laughs> I have to actually think, physically think to remember how old I am, but I remember these song lyrics from 12 years ago. I have to literally count the years from 2020 when I started YouTube and be like, okay, how many years have I been doing YouTube now? One, two, three, okay, almost four, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can remember 12 year old song lyrics. It's just, I was just like, how the heck is this happening right now? It was wild. <laughs> but yeah, going back to this build, truly, like I mentioned, I was just reining it in for all of this. Like I had a little path that I wanted to do and I had the bug models. And then for the rest of it, I was like, wait, there's a, there's a lot of extra space to fill up here. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So we're just throwing random stuff down. I spent a lot of time going back and forth through the items in my inventory and being like, okay, could I put this down right here maybe? So it's a lot of me scrolling through my inventory, which is just the most tedious part of it really. I'll like stand next to a spot and I'm like, okay, I want to put something here. I go into my inventory and I start looking around and I start reading everything. I'm like, okay, could this fit here? Could this fit here? No, this is too big. This is too small, blah, blah, blah. And I find something. I'm like, okay, let's put this down in this spot. And then I'm like, wait, we need a custom design under it. So I exit out of my inventory. So it's just in my inventory for like five minutes for no reason. Then we put the custom design down and then I gotta put the item down. So it's like, ugh. everything just feels like it takes so long. I wish I could be on two times speed in Animal Crossing, like with a mod. I know that they have those. I wish I had them, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll just be slow and, and steady, you know? But anyways, I wanted to use those toy centipedes and toy roaches because, you know, they're very fitting for the little bug area and I wanted to have some smaller bugs as well. And then we have this whole little side area that's here to the right of the museum. I was really struggling with ideas for this. I was like, what am I putting here? There's enough space to do something, but I don't know what. It's like, what do you put next to an abandoned museum? They're not gonna have anything going on. This island is abandoned, like no one's here. Yes, there's 10 villagers, but like no one's here. So I grabbed this gazebo randomly and I was like, you know what? This is gonna have to be good enough. Like, I don't know what this gazebo is here for. Why is it next to a bug museum? No clue. I just noticed that I got rice pudding on my phone screen and it dried so it's like all crusty so i just had to like scrape the crusty rice pudding off my phone screen isn't that great isn't that fantastic my phone today gave me an alert that there was water in the like charging socket phones are so advanced now how can they just detect that i was like i don't know what to tell you bestie like it gave that notification to me like overnight like i woke up and it had that notification i'm like how did this happen 
overnight like so i just like shook my phone a little bit i'm like i hope this works i don't know it doesn't let me swipe it away so i don't know when that notification is gonna go away i don't know maybe i put my phone in rice or something which i don't think that actually works does that actually work i don't know i feel like i have heard some people say that that actually does not work i mean if i dropped my phone in water i think i would still instinctively put it in rice so i don't know hopefully it still works for all of those people like me out there who have that instinct still but anyways we're gonna move on we are going to work on this little path that's here to the left of the museum this is right behind the ominous waterfall so we're just going to line this with a bunch of trees mainly this is just going to be a little walking path transition area but we're going to give it some decor of course i time travel to let all of those trees grow in and this little mini teensy tiny build actually came from you guys one of you had the amazing amazing incredible idea to do a little karopi sacrifice little area so i thought that that would be so fun so we've got a whole setup here so we've got the glowing moss jar shelves okay we've got those we're gonna come back to those in a minute okay because they're very important very integral to this story that we're setting up okay and i'm just setting up some other stuff here putting down some custom designs and we got to do a little decayed tree and everything like that and i had one kuropi snack left in my inventory so it worked out and of course of course guys I'm putting dolls. We have to. We have to. So we've got the little pentagram. We've got the Karobi snack in the middle. And we've got the dolls sitting all around ominously. Oh, I should add like some candles or like floor lights or something. I got to do that. I got to make those additions. But yeah, we've got them basically sacrificing a Karobi snack. And I figured the glowing moss jars, they're green the karopi snacks are green they're turning them into something i don't know what that i will leave it up to your imagination but the karopi snacks are green the little glowing moss jars are green they're doing something sinister they're doing something heinous what's going on i don't know karopi snack conspiracy is back if you know you know but yeah that's just a little teensy tiny build that i wanted to put there kind of like a little scene almost and i thought it was very fun very fun should I add an axe? I don't know if they need an axe or if they just have like supernatural powers. They don't even need a weapon of any kind. I think they're fine. I think they're good. They obviously have supernatural powers, but yeah. Since this is a, like a little walking trail, I figured, you know, a body on the walking trail fits naturally. So we've got our first rescue mannequin of the island back there with a little ketchup splatter it's okay he he was just eating french fries with ketchup he's fine but this was another area that i was really struggling with like decor wise just like with all these little sections and you could only fit certain things i really wanted to just fill it up with trees but you know since it's such a narrow area i couldn't really do too many trees so i was just trying to figure everything out and it was slightly difficult slightly difficult i just put random stuff honestly and if i didn't know what to put i put a custom design so we're gonna do a final walkthrough just a little slow walkthrough instead of me zipping around in four times speed i love how this came out super cute and i think the museum is very fun with all the bugs very interesting lots to look at here and then here is the incline all built as well so that is perfect for accessing this area but now i'm going to toss you over to real time raven for our villager hunt that is all finished i still need to put an incline here i just keep forgetting about it we are going to move on over to some villager hunting of course we need to get cracking so i'm just gonna go look for a thought bubble and i'll update you once i find one okay so unfortunately we do have a thought bubble but it is our good boy Dobie, so this is not gonna fly sorry we're gonna try to get somebody else this thought bubble as you can tell has taken me i like an hour like literally like an hour maybe more i don't know how long i've been doing this if this is not a move out bubble maggie i will literally end you not chops in the back oh my god i just realized we have three pigs on this island right now <laughs> okay this is a move out bubble thank goodness chops is way too close to me right now i did not like that whatsoever okay meet you at the airport i will not be picky today i swear as for the craving i did just eat a bowl of rice pudding with cinnamon and i kind of want more so that's my craving even though i technically already ate it and our first villager today is a little bird okay are you kidding 
Okay, well, I am not in the mood for this kind of nonsense. I don't want shenanigans. I just want a villager. Next is Patty. Okay. All right, all right. It's a little chicken. It's just a little baby chicken. She just wants a nice, loving, warm home. Well, too bad. It is this hippo, and I know that I got her name wrong last time we saw her. I apologize for that. Honestly, I just do not have the brain capacity for any of the villager species' names that I just don't really care about, like the hippos, the penguins, the birds. Oh my goodness, speaking of penguins, that's one of them. That's definitely one of them. We've got a little alligator, cute, cute, all right. Oh my goodness, it's Cookie. We got Cookie last villager hunt too. What is this? Oh my goodness, is this my baby boy? It's my baby boy, Rod, I love you. You are a small little man and you have a plan. Can I know about your plan, please? I can't take you to my island, but please. Please, Rod. Rod, don't walk away from me, please. We can still do this. Please, Rod, come back to me. No! Oh my goodness, it's Marcy. Hey, I feel like I never see her on villager hunts. It is a real treat. We've got Shever up on the mountain. Wow, she looks so cute with the snow. She fits so well. Yep, yep, okay. We've got a little tiger. I'm gonna do a quick U-turn, cause no thank you. Sasha, oh my goodness, what an absolute cutie. We've got Deidre over in the distance. Let's do a quick speed round. Cat, cutie. Uh, ugh. Meh. Eh. Eh. No more penguins, stop. No. Bob, my baby boy. A lot of you commented actually when I found him last time that he could actually maybe fit because he's just like kind of like a radioactive looking cat. And I don't know, I like, it's a little bit of a stretch. I think I'd rather hold out for a more spooky villager. What a little sassy squirrel, I love her. I love her. Uh, I don't want anteaters, <laughs> please. Oh God, it's a real jump scare, run, run. Oh, this is pain. This is pain. Don't don't even look. We can't look at each other. No, don't look. I said don't look. Look away, Fauna. It's for the best. It's for the best. Oh my goodness. It's a duck. Wow. Birds. 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 We've got Renee the rhino specifically. I know you were all asking me, so just letting you know, this is Renee the rhino. Okay. We've got Roswell up next. How did the game know I wanted a kangaroo with a polka dot dress? How did they know? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back for her actually. Um, I just got to go get my wallet really, really quick. Why? Why does this have to happen? Why do I have to reject cuties? This was not on the job description when I signed up to do this. Honestly, like all that was on there was hunt for Halloween villager slash make occasional funny slash not funny jokes. And that was it. There was no mention of me having to reject cute villagers. So I don't know. I kind of want to put in my two weeks notice. We meet again, Bertha. And this time I know your name because he is living in a hamster world and he's just a hamster boy. You know, any sheep that's not Muffy just makes me cry. Besties, this is rough. This is, this is so rough. Deidre again. Somebody throw me into the river? Girl, what? You know what? Yeah, walk away. Walk away. I'm gonna walk away too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. Funny joke. Funny joke. Animal Crossing. Very hilarious prank you're pulling on me right now. Not giving me a single Halloween villager for multiple hours and just giving me fauna multiple times. Cool. Cool. It's fine. Oh my goodness. Yes. 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 Wait, I don't have a vaulting pole. No. <laughs> Yes, Roscoe! You are so beautiful. I love you so much. You're gonna protect me on my island from chops. You are going to be my knight in shining armor. Never been more excited to see this man in my whole life. I swear. Ah, <sighs> I can sleep now. Okay, this Halloween island is kind of freaky in the snow, I'm gonna be honest, but that is going to be it for me today. I'm so sleepy. That was a wild ride of a villager hunt. Tomorrow I will be out of the snow, trust me, but I'm just 
too sleepy to do it right now. So I'm gonna get going and I will see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to day 10 of my Halloween island. We are here on a very rainy, gloomy day and we're gonna get cracking. Let's work on the island, you know, as we do, as we do. So I have had a thought after yesterday's villager hunt. The villager hunts are very draining. The, this is honestly the most draining part. I love the building, but like the villager hunts are so unpredictable because I could go multiple hours of villager hunting and not find a spooky villager. I'm totally confident that I could finish decorating the island, but will I get all the spooky villagers? I don't know exactly. There aren't really any restrictions, any goals, any rules that I have to follow, so if I don't get all spooky villagers, I guess it's not the end of the world, but I would like to, you know? But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and build an incline there by the little Kuropi sacrifice area. I'm just gonna keep going with the natural ramp because that's what's been working out for me. However, I don't really have any money. I have 2,000 bells to my name, so we gotta go make some money first. And the best way that I've been making money has been just grabbing random stuff from my storage and selling it to nooks. It's been working out, okay? Like, don't knock it till you try it. I have a lot of extra stuff in here that I'm just not using, so why not use some of it? And by use some of it, I mean sell it for profit. I grabbed pretty much a full inventory of things. I think this will be plenty of money, so let's go sell all of this. You know what? I was honestly expecting a little bit more, but that's plenty for our purposes today. All right, now I'll go ahead and build this incline right here. That looks good. This is the spot. Please build my incline for me. Thank you. You're the best. Kiss, kiss, love, love. So ideas for today. We have this house here. I figured we could do some sort of little villager yard here. Okay. And then if we we climb up here we do have the skeleton wedding and this i'm also trying to think of where we're going to put our campsite because that's the last kind of like building that we have to deal with we did nooks we did ables we did the museum so we do have the campsite left oh wow look at that more dead bodies on this island. So we have the um, the museum up here, right? The little bug museum. So we have the incline that goes down. And then I started digging out a little path here. This is my secret beach. And then if we look on the map, I want this path to lead out to the beach on the right side. So then up in this top right corner, we're just going to have this little teensy tiny little like cliff space. And we'll put something up here. So let me see. Is this enough space for the idea that I want to do? Hmm, probably not actually. Yeah, this is really all we have we'll figure something out but yeah i have a different idea for a villager house so i don't think it will go there but maybe we start moving houses and start digging that out anyway just so i know where my cliffs are situated and so i know where i can put the next villager house we could do something like that so let's just get started with that i'm gonna move chops's house can't believe i'm saying his name with my own words with my own mouth and i'll meet you tomorrow to start working on that terraforming and clean up and whatever else i gotta do why do we have matching glasses what is this? I I don't like this. I hate this. I hate this. Anyways, moving on from that jump scare, I was going ahead and starting to carve out this little cliff area. I mean, it's just cliffs, you get the idea, but I was just turning it around the corner so it exits out towards the beach. And then I was going to grab some codes for the idea that I eventually decided on to do for today's build, which is going to be a villager yard, but it has like this abandoned camper design thing that I wanted to do. And then of course, we're going to start out with some trees. I don't know why I had to switch over to voiceover raven for this. Uh, I for some reason decided to be quiet but thankfully I wasn't quiet for long so I'll toss you back over. Here we are. I cleared out everything and I got started. Oh my goodness Celeste is here. Oh and we have shooting stars. Whoa. But yeah I started to do all of this and then I kept having to go back and forth between like customizing stuff and I, I've spent like two hours just like trying to set up this build. This has been a lot <laughs> but anyways we're gonna get started. So the idea for this build is eventually I'm going to get Rattle and this is going to be kind of like, eh, I don't know if it's like a nuclear plant or something similar, something along those lines of like science lab, something vague like that. So there's going to be a lot of machinery here, stuff like that. Like something definitely went wrong. So that's kind of the plan. The design that I saw had windows and I thought that that was cool. I think I mostly see people use like umbrellas with the custom design code and then they do the umbrella on top of the stall, which makes sense. You, you see the windows through there. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. I guess. This is going to be the little camper van. There we go. And then I was thinking on this side we just do a bunch of like oh wait I have 
none of my items. Hold on, let me go get those. Okay, I have stuff now. But yeah, a bunch of random stuff. I kind of want to do like a lot of layers. Lots of layers of things. I've got fences, I've got jail bars, I've got tanks. So we'll just stack a bunch of stuff up like that. I think that'll be good. I guess if I was smart, I would have cleared this stuff out too. I didn't think that it would go that far, but yeah. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. I'm going ahead and putting more of the tile down because I just, I just feel like it needs it. We need to fit the layers, you know? Next, I want to do a little retro transportation stop. It looks like it would fit in that little gap perfectly, but it doesn't. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. And then we've got to have the oil barrel bathtub. It's so perfect. I love that one. Or not love it, but like it's good for this island, I'll say, because it's all like smoky and stuff like that. It's got the smoke coming out of it. So I feel like that fits. And then we've got these caution radioactive ones. Ooh, I'll do another fence and try to hide the fact that I forgot to put tiles over there in that little corner. You won't be able to tell. You won't be able to tell. It's fine. You know what we'll do? We'll put more barrels so that you don't notice it. <laughs> oh, I forgot I had utility poles that I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, can we squeeze one in back here? Yes. Okay. We can fit one. That's good. That's good. Okay. Then we got to do some tire stacks, of course, and we can fit one more thing here. What do we want to do? Probably another bathtub just for more smokiness. Then let me go ahead and clear out this stuff because I know what I want to put here. Okay. So the lore that I was thinking for back here, I mentioned it in yesterday's episode when we were doing the little Kuropi sacrifice circle. So that is actually going to be connected to this area. So we're going to have the glowing moss jar shelves. The villager that I want for this yard is Rattle. But Rattle, is a, he's a normal scientist. He was doing chill stuff. He is not hurting anybody. He is, is totally fine until this island started changing. You know what I mean? And the dolls started taking over as we know. And he was coerced, threatened, some shape or form, forced to take these Kuropi snacks that the dolls are sacrificing, you know? And he's doing something with them. Like, look at all this. Look at all these jars full of Kuropi snack sacrifices. He's doing something with them. And against his will, against his will, we love Rattle. He's a sweet boy. But he has been forced to fit this archetype of, you know, the mad scientist kind of character. What are these dolls trying to do with the Kuropi snack sacrifices? What is the point of them? What are they forcing Rattle to do? These are all the questions, you know? But that's kind of what I was thinking. So I might have to come back and put smaller things here later. I have some glowing jars, but there's already jars on the shelf, so that's kind of lame to put. I definitely think we need more fire here, though, so we're gonna do some campfires. I really wish you could put items on top of the oil barrels, but unfortunately you can't. It's only on the regular barrels. Definitely a campfire over here. So yeah, on one side we've got all of, like, this equipment and stuff like that, and then we've got the sacrifices, and then on the other side we were just gonna have this creepy camper van. I don't really know what the point of this is. It's, it's just something. It's just here. But I guess let's put some stuff around this. Let's maybe put a little fence in the back, kind of peeking out. I'll do another utility pole over here. And then definitely more oil barrels surrounding this little camper van, for sure, for sure. So that's coming together. All right, it's looking a little more cohesive, yeah. Hopefully I get Rattle for this. You kind of need him for the storytelling, you know what I mean? I mean, I guess we could just get another random villager, but it's not, it's not the same, you know? It's not the same. I also think it would be pretty funny if we used the jail bars as kind of like some fencing-ish type of stuff just to like mark out the uh, perimeter of this villager house. So I'll go ahead and put down some of those. Okay, I ran out of jail bars, so we're going to use a fence for the other side. <laughs> Even though it doesn't make any sense. Nope, but it's fine. I might just keep this one a little bit simple today just so we can go work on other stuff because this has been taking me a while. I had to spend a lot of time getting those codes and stuff like that. So I would like to move on to our next thing for today. Okay, I went and ate Taco Bell actually, but <laughs> I've kind of finished up some uh, last remaining things here. So mostly on the left side, I just added some trees and some custom designs here. It's obviously very empty near the front here and I want to add stuff, but I don't really have the brain meats for that right now. So I think instead, why don't we just try to villager hunt? Question mark. <laughs> Alrighty, I've been time traveling trying to find the stoppable and we actually have a campsite visitor. Ugh, no. No. Although the winged eyeliner is a sleigh, but not for me, not for me. Alright, I'm gonna keep looking. Hopefully I find one soon. Once again, as you can tell, 
This took me a long time. Like, I don't even see a thought bubble for like months when I time travel. Thankfully, it's been villagers that I want to kick out anyway. Also, with this, I, I forgot for this build to add some, some of these little radioactive slime puddles. So I added some of those. Alrighty, I'll see you at the airport in one second. Okay, first ticket. Also, my craving is a Halloween villager. Yeah, that's my craving. We have a squirrel. All right. Honestly, Rattle or Muffy. That's who I want. Rattle or Muffy. But you know what? I won't be picky anymore. Like, I think I have truly learned my lesson for all of time on being picky with villagers. Second villager, a koala. You know, I'm not even gonna bother. Of course, of course, this one every time. Not Brofina. Ugh, jump scare. Ugh, finding a little sherb is pain because I must leave a little sherb. I do not want lions. No, thank you. Why hippos? Why? Honestly, this is like the chops of hippos. It's Shever. She's such a little cutie. You know, I'm, I'm good on pigs. I'm good on pigs. Thank you. Ugh, no. Dizzy, what a cutie. Why can't you just be terrifying for Halloween? No. Ah, kangaroos back to back, which... Yes, it's upsetting, but it's Marcy, so, you know, I won't be as upset. Oh my goodness, a little ducky's so cute. Why can't you be Bella? Just be Bella. It's not that hard. It's Gabby. The bunnies are so funny, like, when they're wearing hats for winter. Like, where are your ears, bestie? <laughs> that can't be comfy under the hat. Molly, listen, you don't want to come back to Storybrooke, trust me. There's, there's some stuff going on there. There's a little squirrel over there or something. I don't know. We've got a rhino. I think that's Rhonda. It's Azalea. Okay. You know, I do like, I do like this rhino. She's acceptable. I love how the squirrel has a helmet, but she's still wearing a hat. Ugh, this is not who I want when we only have four tickets left. Ugh. I don't have a comment about this one. What kind of cruel, sick joke is this? Two ostriches? Ostrich eye? Whatever. Twelve of them in a row. And guess what? We only have two tickets left. I'm not crying inside. You are. We've got Quilson. Could he work for Halloween Island? He is kind of like sickly looking. I don't know. And our final ticket is Allie. Okay, so um, I'm a little bit pressed for time. I've got to finish editing this episode tonight and I'm still sitting here recording it at night. So we have to wrap this up. So you know what I think we're gonna do? A spicy autofill. Is this a terrible idea? Probably, but oh well. We could get lucky. We could get so lucky. Or this could all be for nothing and it's most likely all gonna be for nothing. Let's see who did we get. No freaking way. Wait, is this the good cherry? This is the good cherry, right? This is this is the emo one. <gasps> it's the emo one! Yes! I will probably move her house out of this area because I still want to try to get rattle for this specific yard. But we freaking did it! <laughs> for once! For once, autofilling worked! Oh my god! And I will see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to day 11 of my Halloween island. After yesterday's beautiful autofill, I feel like I have used up all of my villager luck. So today we are just going to be working solely on building. We're going to be doing two builds today and we're just going to get straight into it. So yesterday I isolated this cliff here and it's just kind of all by its lonesome self and it's pretty small. I wasn't thinking that I could really fit anything here, but we are going to try and cram Dobie's yard into this cliff, okay? It's pretty small and I can't even really fit that many trees, but you know, we always got to start out with trees. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I really didn't have too many ideas for his yard. I was going to try to do a few like small, tiny little things here and there to give him like some backstory and lore. I wasn't going to be too random with this. So actually most of the decorations that I use here for Dobie's yard actually have a purpose. Wow. I put thought into it. Who would have guessed? Well, this is a first for me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I put thought into things sometimes. Starting off with this little section here. We've got a gravestone, a headstone, and a tricycle. My lore for Dobie in my mind for this island is he was part of this nice neighborhood and he was the sheriff and he lived here with everybody else and everything was chill and he lived here with his daughter. And then as you can see over in that corner, I put a little tricycle and I put a headstone. So something happened to his daughter. Unfortunately, there was an accident or something like that. Very, very sad. And then he started going like 
a little bit crazy trying to figure out like what happened to her you know he was trying to interrogate the whole town and that's all he ever did was just try to figure out what happened to her okay that was his whole life's work so then since he was slacking on his sheriff duties kind of you know the town gets a little bit run down things start happening and he always carries around this doll that she used to have his daughter and i'm thinking like i wish i could make a movie out of this like somehow because i have this shot in my mind of him him getting so frustrated like maybe he got really close to finding an answer and then like it just all like blew up in his face or he didn't find it or something and he takes this doll and he just chucks it on the floor in frustration and like walks away right but where was he he was at the nuclear radiation plant whatever the science lab that we built okay and this doll touches some of like this weird electricity sparks from like these wires or like some green an ooze or something i don't know take your pick and this doll becomes sentient and then the dolls start taking over the island they start doing stuff you know this is the incident that caused the whole downward spiral of our halloween island of spooky brook okay this is what started everything ever since the incident with doby's daughter nothing has been the same on this island oh i love it i love it i was writing it down earlier i was like this is so good so back to his yard doby is still trying to figure out what happened and obviously the island has gotten worse and worse the town has gotten worse and worse there's creepier things happening so he's older now and he's trying to protect his house with like these traps and stuff like that he's got these spikes all around his house and as you saw um earlier i put down some like axes and slingshots so he's like making his own weapons and stuff like that think of kind of like zombie apocalypse bunker was kind of like the vibe and i'm even giving him a little garden because like he's growing his own food you know he's just surviving out here all that kind of stuff so yeah i love it the lore i mean i i love it this is like the uh the starting grounds for everything this is how everything began all on the island of course it has to begin with a tragedy we've got to tug on the heartstrings of our audience this is how you write a good story people i've never written a story in my life i don't know what i'm saying no i have written a story obviously but like you know what I mean. I'm just messing around. Anyways, <laughs> back to this build. There's not really too much that I could do here. Like, I was very limited on cliff space and everything. Like I mentioned, there was not that much space whatsoever. So I did what I could. I did what I could. Lots of spiky fencing, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes when it's a small space, I will just struggle so much just because it is so small. I'm like, I can only fit so many things here. I have to be picky. I have to be choosy. And I will just stand there for a million years being like what is the perfect item to put in this one spot and it's like there's no perfect item just put something down just it, it doesn't matter that much <laughs> But here it is. I hope you like it. I think the backstory is really what makes it. That's what I was really going for versus like a cool yard, a cute yard, whatever. So yeah, I, I like it. I feel big brain. <laughs> but next we're going to move on to a different build. So we have a few villager houses left and I figured I could clump them all together in this really smart way. Remember how I was talking about, um, the, you know, the, the scary Halloween movies that take place at camps and stuff like that. Okay. I did a little research. It's Friday the 13th. So I was figuring I could take some inspiration from that and I would actually attempt to do that little like cabin camp counselor you know camping type of build thing i don't know it's a camp that's what i'm trying to make i'm trying to make a camp okay and it's really i'm gonna i'm gonna set your expectations right now it's not that creepy it was a little bit of struggle it was a struggle i'll be honest so i moved the villager houses and we've got four of them here kind of like in this little grid area and eventually i will customize all of these so that they match and i'll talk about that more later I also moved my house because it was in the way. I don't know why I put this in, but I moved my house in case you were wondering. <laughs> and I decided that I would use the in-game pathing and do a bunch of dirt everywhere. And I don't know why I decided to do that. I just felt like a campground with cabins would have like paths and dirt. I don't know. But then of course we're doing trees. I really wanted to give this like a foresty vibe. Like this is all in the middle of the woods, but I don't think I really did that good of a job. I didn't really put any trees up on the cliffs behind everything. So maybe I'll put some there and it'll make it feel more filled in. But like, 
the way that everything's spaced out, I didn't really put that many trees. It feels kind of sparse. So yeah, this one was a struggle. This one's not my best, I'll be honest, but we're nearing the end here. So I'm just really trying to finish things up. And this was a great way to just like smush all these villager houses together and just not really worry about it too much. And since they are cabins, I was like, okay, what decorations does a cabin have outside of it? Not much. So I wasn't really going to put too much effort into it or give it that many items because I didn't want it to feel too cluttered. So I'm just doing some benches on the outside, giving them some lanterns, maybe a campfire, stuff like that. We're, we're really not doing too much here besties i just i want to emphasize that okay the nuclear plant build yesterday really took a lot out of me it really took a lot of my designing juices out of me squeezed them right out i don't know why that build specifically took me so long it was a lot of setup and like i don't know it just took me forever so today i felt a little a little rang out with my designing juices so we're just gonna make this one nice and simple it gets the job done and I was looking up Friday the 13th screenshots of like the camping grounds and it has like a little archway with like the camp signs or something. I don't know, but I was trying to mimic that somewhat. I don't know if I maybe should have used the trees bounty arch or stick with the Halloween one. I stuck with the Halloween one just because I was like, well, I guess that's more on theme, but the trees bounty arch seems a little more like campy and natural. I don't know, it's fine. I'm just gonna leave the spooky one. So a few of the things that I was thinking was having like a little table with some crafts going. So I decided to do that. Somebody's doing a little painting here. What are they painting? I don't know. Great question, would love to know the answer. Do not know. Oh, I think it's a bug. I think it's a bug that's on there. By the way, I've never seen Friday the 13th. I just wanted to emphasize that. If you didn't catch my earlier episodes where I was talking about it, I just, I don't watch horror movies, so. I don't know anything. I'm sorry. I'm ignorant to those things, but I tried to research a little bit. I tried. I tried to find out what Jason's weapon is. Um, I googled that. Turns out he uses a lot of different things, so I wasn't too worried about like giving him an accurate weapon, which, oh, by the way, I try to do Jason. I try to do a little mini Jason here in a bit. You'll see that, <laughs> but turns out he uses a lot of things, so I will not be watching those movies. Sorry for everyone who loves those movies. I just, I just can't do it. I don't know what it is. I'm just... I don't know. I, am I just boring? I don't feel like I'm boring. I just don't like scary stuff. I don't like jump scares. I just don't find them fun. Nothing about it is enjoyable to me. Sadly, I wish it was. I really do wish it was. I want to be a part of the fun. I want to be included, but it's just my body's natural reaction to it. I, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, here I'm trying to do a little Jason with a hockey mask. I put it on top of like a little, <laughs> a little box and then put like this green coat in front. I was like, okay, this is the best I can do. So from a certain angle it looks like a person but from other angles it doesn't so just look at it at the correct angle please and thank you and i also put an axe next to him but it's kind of behind the house so you can't really see it but it's fine it's the thought that counts i tried and you know what i will pat myself on the back for trying we should all pat ourselves on the back for trying if you just tried to do something even if you failed, I'm still proud of you for trying. I want to say that. And I would love for you to extend the same sentiment to me. I tried with this build. Did I fail? I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep thinking about that. But next, I wanted to do a little lake because I think in Friday the 13th, there's a lake. I don't know if anything happens in the lake, but there is this one psych episode that I've seen that I think is a parody of Friday the 13th and there's a lake and stuff happens in the lake. Oh no, or is it a pool? I can't remember. I feel like there was a body of water involved maybe, but I was like, it's a camping grounds. It has to have a lake. I was also attempting to make a skeleton head, skeleton head with this lake. Um... It does not turn out very cute. I saw a picture on Google of someone who did it and I was trying to make mine bigger and yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that because it, you'll see. I tr again, I tried. Please clap, I tried. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what went wrong exactly. I think for this design to work, it needed to have a middle point. Like it needed to uh, have a middle point of just one tile, not a middle point of two tiles, if that makes sense at all. I did mine a middle point of two tiles and it just looks funky a little bit. I don't know, I think you get the sentiment. And some of you were also saying that the ominous waterfall on the map kind of looks like a spider. So we're just gonna pretend it's a spider and we're gonna pretend that I actually like 
made an effort to make my map look cute because I never do that. I truly don't know how people put effort into their maps. Besides Leapfrog with the like froggy river that I did all around it, that was the most effort I've ever put into a map. And like even then, I feel like that's kind of like different than doing like cute like rivers and, and ponds that make shapes on your map and really pretty cliffs and just making everything look so nice on the map. Like I feel like all my islands always just look like 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 nothing on the map. They don't look like anything's happening. I don't know how people do it. Ugh, I really want to do that one day of like make an island where I really pay extra attention to the map. So maybe that's a thing for future Raven. But yeah, I was struggling a lot with the skeleton. This is so much waterscaping. It's, uh, it's something. It's something. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. It's so bad. I want to say I'll try to fix it, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably won't. That was too much waterscaping for me and I'm so bad at it, so I'll probably just leave it. Anyways, we are going to start finishing up here and I'm just throwing down some trees around here. Again, attempting to make this look filled in with trees did not really happen. There's awkward areas. I can only put like one or two lines of trees. The beaches are also a mess. I'm aware of that. Most likely we'll not get around to decorating those. But anyways, here's what I was talking about making those cabins cohesive. I did customize one of them and this is what I'm going to try to make them all look like. So yeah, I think that'll be a cute look. And since I was doing the outside, I quickly slapped together a super simple inside and I'm going to do this for all the cabins probably. And then quick walk through, ignore the snow. I accidentally time traveled too far ahead and I was trying to get the trees to grow. But yeah, here's what everything looks like. I want to add more trees where I can if possible and more custom designs near the lake because I didn't really do that many. I was just so fed up after the waterscaping. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, this is really, really simple. Here's the little Jason back here. Me and Winnie were getting chased. So yeah, hopefully tomorrow I will be more recharged with some building juices and we'll see where we go with villager hunting. I feel like we were so lucky. So maybe the luck streak will continue or maybe it won't. Who knows? If anything, I hope you enjoyed the Dobie lore because that was my favorite. I had so much fun coming up with that and I will see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to day 12 of my Halloween island. We need to get more villagers. Okay, besties, do I have a ton of building that I need to get done? Do I have many, many areas that I still need to decorate? Yes. Are we going to do any of that today? Maybe? I wanted to start with some villager hunting. I feel like we might be lucky after that cherry autofill, so I kind of want to try some villager hunting. Maybe we could even get two villagers today? That'd be great. The lineup so far is Rodeo, Roscoe, Rasher, Winnie could maybe stay to like be paired up with Roscoe and she does have the little star um but I don't know I kind of want to maybe kick her out Nan can stay she's fine we're not gonna talk about it Dovey and Cherry and then we definitely want to kick out Goose and Punchy so at the very least Goose and Punchy should leave so we'll see we'll see what we can do today I would love to get Rattle and of course Muffy as you know so I don't have any thought bubbles yet I just hopped onto the game so I think we're gonna go ahead and look for a thought bubble and I will spare you with the ridiculous amount of time that it takes for me to find these things and I will just meet you back here once I find a thought bubble. All right, I've been time traveling a couple of days and I came across a campsite villager. Who knows, we might get lucky. Oh my goodness, this is such a little cutie. Barbara, you know, she could be, she could be a little witchy, a little sheep. Ah. Oh, but do I want to hold out for Muffy? I don't know. She is really cute. I think we'll wait for Muffy. It's okay. You know, we don't we don't have to settle. We're here a couple days later. No sign of a singular thought bubble, but another campsite villager. So we'll try our luck with this. I guess this is like almost pseudo villager hunting just with the campsite. So, you know, if it works, it works. I'm not going to complain. Oh my goodness. It's Gloria. What a cutie. She's like the widow whose husband mysteriously died. You know, like that kind of vibe. Hey 
Hey, it's me again. Maybe I take back what I said earlier about being lucky. I have been looking for a thaw bubble for an hour and I haven't found a single one. And somehow we've only found three campsite villagers, but here's a third one. So let's go see. Please, I am begging. <laughs> Please be somebody good. Ah, no. All right, we carry on, we carry on. What? Another campsite villager and no thaw bubble? Who would have guessed? I've skipped a couple of months, but yeah, this is this is kind of ridiculous. Why is this taking me so long? Alrighty, let's see if there's anyone good in here. No, yeah, no. Besties, we got another one. We're just villager hunting in the campsite at this point. Um, yeah, I haven't found a single thought bubble. This is kind of wild. I've never gone this long time traveling and just like not seen a single one. I mean, wait, we just got two ducks in a row. Besties, today we celebrate because I got a thought bubble, but then we cry because it's Dobie. Why does it have to be him? Why is he the one getting thought bubbles? Well, actually, you know what kind of lines up? Kind of lines up with the lore. You know, he's sick of being on this island. He can't figure out the mystery of his daughter. He wants to, yeah, he wants to move away. He wants to forget. Maybe it's time to retire. I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can transfer this to somebody else, potentially. So I lost the thought bubble. However, campsites, once again. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Dobie bestie bestie this is not what i need this is not this is not it this isn't the move this isn't the vibe <sighs> okay at least i found the thought bubble again that's great okay let's keep trying <laughs> winnie thank you thank you for putting an end to my misery <laughs> finally this took so long i spent all that time and now i have to go hunt for the villager on top of it if this villager hunt takes long too i i don't know what to do <laughs> let's get straight into it we are here at the airport I have 200 tickets in my inventory, so we'll see how long it takes me to get a villager today. I'm really hoping not that long because I just spent so long on that thought bubble besties. Like, I can't even describe it to you. It was kind of ridiculous, kind of ridiculous. But anyways, for my craving for this villager hunt, I am craving Taco Bell. I would like a nice little crunch wrap with some refried beans in there. Sounds great. I also time travel to nighttime. I'm hoping that this will set like a little scary spooky vibe for us and maybe we'll get a scary spooky villager well not on the first ticket i guess it's just octavian ticket number two honestly uh the the darkness makes it kind of hard to see who's here uh this is little koala not really interested so we're gonna move on ticket number three ticket number three is just like a little bird he's kind of cute actually in his little rain outfit i i like that next ticket no i don't like that one i think that one's vic no no hippos no can can we call for an anti-hippo villager hunt like just this one please now we have a rhino and i feel like that's the the second closest thing to the hippos they're testing my patience they're testing it they're really testing it pushing my buttons today besties <sighs> That's all I have to say. Who is this hiding back here? Oh, Walker. Hmm. You know, Walker kind of creeps me out, so I feel like Walker would actually work for a Halloween island, but I think I'm going to pass. It's Marcy again. Hey. Ever since I said I never get to see Marcy, she's been showing up. We've got Megan, a cutie. Wait, what is this island? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That's the that's the tarantula island? Qu question mark? Uh yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We've got a lion. Yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Okay, great. On to the next ticket. Next, we've got a, a pretty serious looking bear. Pretty serious. He's kind of grumpy. It's my birthday twin. Yeah, so excited to see him. So excited. I was so confident that we were going to have a little sprinkle of luck after our autofill. I was like, you know what? Maybe my villager luck is turning around. Because if you haven't been keeping up, uh, currently I've been villager hunting for Lily for another island for like the past i don't know how many weeks so many so many months of looking for lily and she's just impossible to find so my villager luck is at an all-time low but today i had hope i had that little sprinkle of hope and yeah it just took forever to find a thought bubble and it looks like it's gonna take forever to find a villager too so more of the story is never have hope no i'm just kidding more of the story is i don't know what it is i don't know 
comment what it is down below. <laughs> We've got another koala. Alrighty. It's another wolf. Another wolf. You know what? I'm not gonna get another wolf because Doby has just been getting thought bubbles obviously so ungrateful for my hospitality on the abandoned island giving him a really super tiny yard so you know what i don't need any more ungrateful wolves i'm good zucker why are you all the way over here <laughs> oh my goodness the campfire's all the way all right whatever you do you Ooh, okay the little the little clown kangaroo like i mentioned before when we found that one she could maybe fit in she could maybe fit in with like the little abandoned circus type of thing which i wanted to do a build like that but honestly at this point i don't know if i'll still end up doing it we shall see but i think i'm gonna pass on the kangaroo we've got a sheep but it's not muffy so we pass. No, no more pigs. No more pigs. Although, you know what? We can't even get the worst of all because he's already waiting for us back on our island. Another wolf. Mid-distance. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Ugh, no. Ugh, no. This one also gives kind of like terrifying clown vibes, but I'm good. This chicken is so goofy. Wearing a knight's helmet and also wearing a hat in the rain an ant eater in the distance girl do you want some thin mints okay no don't i'm sleepy delirious don't put that in profina bestie want to come back to the island i think she might be interested in collecting dolls when she moves back to the island you know i've just got that feeling why okay can we not start doing this can we not start getting good villagers because like that just makes me even more mad just like getting a bunch of good villagers that i can't even take right now because they don't fit in my theme just give me like random villagers don't give me bad ones don't give me good ones unless it's gonna be a halloween one just give me like a middle of the road like i don't even care about them you know meringue my little baby can you please redirect me to a halloween villager i'd appreciate it thank you please Adi, no okay no no wolves we decided we decided our next ticket is lopez i think i don't know honestly if i get any villager name wrong in the future can you guys just like please just agree with me like we're officially renaming them if i get their name wrong okay if i call biddy bubbles just call biddy bubbles with me you know next on the menu hamster do the little babies do the little babies also get a hat i'm trying to see oh my goodness they do they do that is so cute so with how frustrating this villager hunt has been i was thinking a lot of you have mentioned using amiibos i checked through the ones that i have and i don't have any halloween ones like nothing that could even be like a stretch you know just like nothing good nothing that would work for the island so i checked i don't have any but i'm thinking maybe i could just go and buy some amiibo packs and see if i get lucky yeah i i don't have a lot of time left again there's no like challenge or anything but i still want to mostly finish this island you know and we also have gladys cute okay so maybe i'll go buy some amiibos i don't know we'll see a monkey a day keeps my sanity away we've got norma over there in the distance oh my god terrifying please no no more pigs no more please i'm good I'm good. You know, again, again, okay, again, yeah, 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 again. Totally don't mind duplicates right now, totally, you know, I just, I love to see them again. I love to see their faces say hello for the second time. You know, it is painful to get Flora, you know, I want Flora for my Florida Core Island right now. If I found Lily on this hunt, I don't even know what I'd do. Scream, cry, throw up, throw myself out a window, throw myself up in the air, out a window, I don't know. We have Chester on a bamboo island, how cute is that? That is adorable. It's Tia. She's so cute. My next island, I'm getting Tia for something. I don't know what, but I want her on my island again. She's so adorable. No, Adi please forgive me <laughs> wow that side eye she did not forgive me she did not yeah that's rosie that's rosie over there it is it is we're gonna be strong together we're not gonna cry we're not gonna cry i am freed from this torture and we got bella i freaking love bella she is so cute we are taking her we're taking her okay it's so funny that she's a peppy i actually did not know that she was a peppy all righty besties we are here we are back i was getting some items and and actually, since I was hunting for so long, it's now 5 a.m. in-game. So we rolled over to a new day. So Bella should be moved in now. And we also have a campsite.
my villager. Would you look at that? Will this make up for all of the pain and suffering that I went through? Probably not, but we'll see if we get anyone good. No, yeah, no, I, I did not have high hopes. Did not. But okay, let's get into some decorating. Obviously, we are nearing the end of this series, so I'm gonna try to do as much as I can. I may end up doing some stuff off camera here and there, but I want to do most of it with you if I can. So I want to work on this villager yard next, and I have a whole bunch of trees in my inventory, so I'm gonna start by placing trees here, and whatever extra ones I have left, I'll just place around the island. I'm sure we can find spots for sure. I only managed to place three trees and I'm already stumped because I have an idea for what I want to put here but I feel like if I put more trees then I won't be able to fit the idea so I'm gonna move on to a different area. <laughs> so obviously we've got the plaza over here and we've got all of this empty space which I don't even know what I'm gonna do here so that's already one thing I have to think about but the second thing I gotta think about is trees obviously so I'm gonna at least attempt to fill in some areas with trees and also I did place this little baby pumpkin patch here. Uh, I want to add some decorations and stuff eventually, so that'll be fun. I guess we should put some up here. That would make sense. So we'll do one like right here. And this is a pathway that I want to keep fairly open, at least up to that incline. This way, uh, I don't think this is really a walkway. You can hop over here, but like you're not supposed supposed to quote unquote so yeah sure we'll we'll fill this with trees too why not all right i put some trees up there and at least that makes this look a little more filled in that little background that looks good so here's what that looks like i filled in all of this looking nice looking nice and if we just throw a few custom designs there maybe a few items that I think will be good. Next, I'll just throw maybe one or two here just to fill in these little gaps. There we go. Let me do a few here also. Okay, update. Here's how we're looking. I put a whole bunch of trees here right behind Nook's Cranny. Just trying to fill out some of this empty space. So I think I'll do a big path kind of leading over here. And then, yeah, I don't really know what else we're going to do. But I've got a couple more trees over here by the side of Nook's. And then I figured this cliff was looking a little bad. It was looking a little bad. So we're going to tidy this up. I have no clue what I'm doing for my house. Well, I know what I'm doing for the inside. That's what I'll say, but I don't know what I'm doing for the outside. So that's probably going to be kind of a make it up as you go along type of thing. But okay, I think this cliff looks a little bit better now. I'm pretty much out of trees. I definitely need more. This island really just eats up so many trees. There's so many. All right. Well, I think I can get to work on this build. I think we can get started here. All right. I went and grabbed a bunch of items from my storage and the idea for this little section we're gonna lean more into like the whimsical fun halloween wholesome side <laughs> this is gonna be probably the least scary area uh least scary build on this island we're gonna do a trunk or treat and we've been talking on my live streams about trunk or treats and stuff like that and i learned that not every area has trunk or treats and not every single person knows what a trunk or treat is so basically at least the ones that I went to and my understanding of it is it's kind of like a safer more contained way to do trick-or-treating mostly for like schools for kids stuff like that so I went to trick-or-treats that were hosted by my middle school it takes place in a parking lot and you have people who are going to be handing out candy they pull up with their cars you know they park into like a parking spot and then they open their trunk and decorate their trunk and then they have their candy in a bowl like in their trunk or they're just holding it and they're handing it out like from their trunk basically they they basically like bring chairs and sit you know outside of their car they're not like sitting in the front seat of their car with the trunk open that would, that's just kind of weird <laughs> i think it's mostly like a safety thing for like parents who don't want to have their kids just run wild or whatever they can take them to a safe contained area stuff like that so i thought one would be good because we don't really have like trick-or-treating stuff going on on the island you know things are abandoned and there's dolls killer dolls running around everywhere so <laughs> there's not much trick-or-treating so i thought we could at least incorporate it a little bit here and i'm now seeing Seeing that, um, yeah, I can't fit three cars in this section unless I move this tree. Ugh. And I wish there was more, like, broken down cars, but sadly, only this white mini car right here has, like, a rusty, like, ruined version. So that's all I really have to work with, sadly. I brought a black mini car because I thought, well, I think black works for, for anything. So we're going to do that too. Oh my goodness, this just 
barely doesn't fit. Okay, I have to change up this cliff, but honestly, that's that's not a big deal. There we go. And I turned on all of the cars, even though I think in Trunk or Treats, you don't have the car running. So that does not make sense, but I like the lights. So we're just gonna do it anyways. Now for the actual treat parts of the Trunk or Treats, since we can't actually put anything in the trunks, obviously, I'm just gonna do like a stool or whatever on the outside. And then of course, the little spooky candy set. Let's not forget about custom designs either. We gotta do some leaves at least. I have been using these leaves so much throughout the island. It's just been, it's been good. It's a good code. All right, there we go. I think this gets the point across that it's a trunk or tree. I don't know. At, at this point, it doesn't matter. I think, you know, as long as we have some decorations here, that's good enough. But speaking of decorations, uh, let's continue on and let's put down some more stuff. So I was thinking for this house, we'll just keep it simple and we'll just do like, you know, just a, a random residential house. Oh wait, I just noticed that I put a spooky tower here and there's one up there. Okay, that looks, that looks kind of funky. Moving on to the front of the house, what should me too. I'm thinking the spooky hay bale thing, the lantern set. This is always good to go in front of a house, I think. All right, here's the little setup. That's what I'm thinking. We got some of this brick and I put some bushes on the other side of the trees. Now we get the spooky arch and just like I thought, there's, there's still space here. Okay, so I think we can do a spooky tower on either side. Honestly, I think this is my favorite spooky item. I've just been absolutely loving it. It's just so cute. I just love it. And I kind of like the spooky arch being a little bit more forward than everything else. That way not everything is just in a straight across line, you know? I even could push this back a little bit. Eh, yeah, that works. That works. All right, so we've got our entrance, kind of. I would like to put more stuff here, obviously, but we've got that. Now to fill in the rest of the space, besties. What do we put in here? I don't know. Okay, I had one other idea that I forgot to include, and we'll see if I can actually make this work. I wanted to put some of the plain party lights kind of like in front of the cars, if that makes sense. I think it would look cute. So let me see if I can pull all of these forward and we can just shove the lights in front. Okay, I'm gonna have to pick up a car. This just isn't working. Okay, that was super annoying to fix, but there we go. I think I like it. It just adds a little bit of something and I kind of rearranged the cars slightly, not really, but I did put this little trick-or-treating thing slightly down here and like a little ways off from the cars. Anyways, that doesn't matter. Again, what am I doing for the rest of this house? I don't know. I don't know. Great question. Would love to know the answer myself. Still trying to figure it out here. I think I'm going to start off with some pathing. We'll do some of this that I've been using everywhere and then I think we'll just go from there. All right, that's all we got. Path into leaves. Typical thing. Now, I definitely feel like we can get away with some little ghosties and like this hand thing. Maybe these are like the Halloween decorations that this person has put up in their yard. And then, of course, we could have a spooky tree. That's good. That's good. I actually think I will put one on the other side here and we'll pull this one over to match and it'll be like a little pathway that's cute and then i don't really know what else to put and this is gonna look awkward but we're gonna do another tree hey it's someone's front lawn they're manicuring their trees okay they set it up like that and not me now i grabbed a few other random things can this be bobbing with apples can this be a little bobbing with apples thing please can we pretend <laughs> can we pretend please i know i already did that for my farm core island but i'm doing it again i'm sorry and i forgot that we have this little path here so i definitely Definitely want to make sure that this is like visible, you know? So we're gonna put some little custom design steppies leading up to it, I think. Alrighty. I put some last finishing touches on everything. So if we walk on in, here's how it all looks. I mainly added vines and some weeds, and I really think that those two things pull everything together, especially for an abandoned island, you know what I mean? So yeah, obviously the villager here, I think this is still Goose's house. I wanna change that very much, so hopefully we'll kick Goose out. But yeah, this pathway leading up here is so nice. I love it. So cute. We can maybe do some more decor up on this cliff, but that's a task for another day. And by another day, I mean tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Future Raven's gonna have a lot of work to do because you know what? I think that is all of my brain cells used up for today, unfortunately. So I think that's all we're gonna do today. Probably tomorrow and day 14 are just gonna be very heavy on finishing up the decorating, you know?
know all that good stuff. I also think that I officially give up on villager hunting, so I'm either going to go buy amiibos or we're just gonna deal with the villagers that I have. Well, one of those two things. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, and welcome back to day 13 of my Halloween island. We all know what must be done today. I just need to build, build, build. We have to do so much decorating today. I'm excited. I am excited. Like, I just want to get a bunch of stuff done. We need to decorate. We desperately need to decorate. I still have quite a few areas that are unfinished, so I guess let me give you a quick walkthrough. So we have this area right here. You know, we worked on the little trunk or treat yesterday, and we've got this cliff right here. So we've got the skeleton wedding as well. My house is right here, and then all of this. Then it kind of leads to the, uh, the nuclear plant, aka Rattle's future home whenever I get him, if I even get him. So we've got a lot of empty space here. This is where the old neighborhood was, so it's a pretty big cliff area, just like this. And then the camping area is here. We have all of this, but thankfully, I think back here, mostly everything's good. So Dobie's house is also on the very back right corner, and that's all finished. We finished that up. Um, but yeah, if we walk through here, the museum, everything's done for the most part. If we walk back here, everything's good. Oh, duplicating flowers. Don't mind if I do, actually. Actually, never mind. My pockets are full. Oh, <laughs> that's awkward. Well, you know what? Actually, I can fix this. I can fix this. I do have some bushes in my inventory because I haven't really been good about using bushes everywhere. So we are going to place some bushes around as well because I do have that custom design that's supposed to look like a bush with a spider web on it. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to use that for my bushes, but then I forget to use that too. So I'm basically just like not using bushes. So we need to fix that. Okay, this is probably too many custom designs, but it's fine. There is a little bit of awkwardness here. Look at these cliffs. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. Look at all these roses duplicating. Okay. That's also an issue, but thankfully back here. Yep. We're all decorated. See like all these weeds, they're not grown. That's so annoying. I want them all to be overgrown. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. I promise. But yeah, then going back here by the creepy pit, that's all good. Like maybe we could put some stuff here. We worked on this yesterday. And then if we go all the way down, we do have this big empty gap. This is right next to the entrance. And this is where the campsite used to be on Storybrook. And then we've got nooks right back here. But I do have an idea to take up, I think, most of this. I don't know if it'll fill this up, but yeah, we have all of this. And then all of this here. And then we get to the campsite. And then all of this right by my house. So honestly, it's not too much. It's really not. It's doable, I think. <laughs> I don't know. But I do have a lot of trees in my inventory. We're going to go around and we're going to place trees again because, I mean, we need trees, you know? We need to put more trees. So I think I'm going to start up here by the skelly wedding. Okay, I just had a little snack of some goldfish crackers and put a bunch of trees down. So we put a whole bunch over here, just filled this all up with trees. I thought that was the best way to go. And then I put a few more over here lining this path and I put just a few right here. I was trying to be careful because we do have this path. So I think I'll bring that down like right here. I put just a few things right here in front of the uh, nuclear plant. And then the bulk of the trees went over here to this side. I made this like little mini forest over here, although it's not even enough. I used up all the trees I had in my inventory and it wasn't even enough. I will definitely need more, but I was thinking in this big giant section, it's not going to take up all the space, but I was thinking we could do a little cemetery build. What do you think? Since we have this path over here, I'm thinking let's try to figure out where this is going to go before we do any sort of building, you know? I'm thinking this needs to make just like a big circle or something. I don't know because there's no incline like south of here. If you go all the way down, it's just, yeah, <laughs> it's just that. I will just try my best. I don't know what we're doing. We're gonna do something. Okay, this is what I've got so far. Now I'm stumped. <laughs> now I don't know what to do. Okay, well, first of all, I was thinking of using these gazebos. So these are pretty big. Let's figure out where these are gonna go first. I kind of want them to be on the sides. So let's figure that out. Something like this over here. I really want to put them sideways by side like this, but I don't think that's symmetrical. It doesn't look symmetrical with the house. I mean, does it matter? Do they have to be symmetrical? I don't think so. 
I could at least make it symmetrical with the trees that are right there. Yeah, we can just pull this one over by one and then that's good. Okay. So now let's try marking out kind of like the general perimeter of all of this. I'm going to use some spooky fencing for this. But of course, you know what we got to do first. We got to put some custom designs underneath as always. And then the gazebos can help us mark everything out. You know what I mean? And then we'll keep it going down the sides. Something like that this i think this is good this takes up a lot of space you know even though it's like kind of small but like we can put trees around it as well kind of fill it up stuff like that so okay i think this is good so now we can kind of start decorating the inside oh i had this idea to put this bell in the middle i've never really used this item before i thought it would be fun but is that gonna make it too difficult is it gonna be weird for like the gravestone placements i don't know we'll figure it out i guess oh wait no i can just put them on the sides like this yeah 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 yeah. okay i was thinking i was gonna put them like vertically like this and that was gonna be weird even though i think i still could i could fit like one there and then one right next to it and then do the same up here no no, no. i think there's options there's options so i guess let's imagine we're putting the very bottom ones kind of like in this little corner here and then we skip a space and then we do the next one right there same on the other side and then yeah same thing up here that's that's good i like it you know i think i would almost prefer to just shift everything up by one little half space just like that yep 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 i like that a lot better i think that's good and you can even still walk through these guys if you really wanted to all right all right i have some little garden lanterns that i want to use but i'm also like should i just use the spooky ones like not the spooky lanterns because the spooky lanterns are like just the pumpkins like the the hanging ones you know but i don't know do we have to do we have to halloweenify a, a cemetery or is that just good on its own you know uh, i think i might do the spooky ones just to keep it super extra on theme i guess <laughs> yeah they're just so cute <laughs> okay this was a good decision we're gonna go with these also i remember that you put an item in this bell thing so what do we put i did bring some wedding candles Ooh, yes yes i like it truly if i just want to leave like walking space there's not that much we can do i can maybe put some things in between the headstones actually i cannot it does not let me i was gonna do plants and like bushes and stuff but i guess i space them out weirdly can we at least drop stuff no we can't oh okay well then never mind <laughs> yeah there's not much else for me to do then because otherwise i make things unwalkable and stuff like that oh i can maybe hmm, i can maybe squeeze in one item next to the gazebos let's see what we can do we could do the garden lanterns up here we could do a bird bath <laughs> let me try the garden lanterns just so they can be symmetrical on both sides i guess uh, I, you know what? I don't like it. I don't know. I'm going to have to come back to that. But in this corner, we can shove some bushes. So we're going to do just that. And then you know what? I'm I'm feeling filling this whole area up with our little bricks. These bad boys. It's what's calling to me right now. So this is what I'm going to do. Something like this. Pretty decent. Pretty good. I would say so. Peachy's also on my lap right now. She's being so sweet today. But okay. I think we could also get away with doing some bushes right out front. Just like this. I also need to get rid of all the flowers that are here. But uh, flower cleanup is just so annoying. <laughs> But we gotta do it. We gotta do it, you know? I went ahead and got rid of all of that and I fixed this little fence piece that was over here. So that's all looking good. I'm gonna get rid of this bush as well. We definitely need more trees. That's definitely something that we need. But I think this is looking good so far. You know, I think I want to put some spooky trees right here on the either side of the bushes. So we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna run to my trusty storage real quick. But first, custom designs. Of course, of course. Okay, yes. Yes, that was definitely the move i'm loving that now i think i'm gonna work on the path because now we kind of have more of a defined little area here and i think i can just throw down a little path somewhere and i'm gonna get rid of this tree because this is bothering me i don't know why this tree is like really annoying me right now i went a little bit overboard uh i didn't just do paths i did more so i put these last two trees that i had in my inventory up here against the fence kind of want to sprinkle some weeds in here that'd be great i even put a diy bench hidden in these trees just in case i don't know so i think that's looking good i definitely would like some more trees just to fill in this last little sliver right here and then this is how i ended off the path 
Because <laughs> I don't know where to take it because this doesn't really lead anywhere. You know what I mean? But yeah, more trees definitely needed. To, I'll probably just fill up the rest of this space with trees as well. That'll be uh, that'll be some of the finishing touches that I'll do. I think I'm going to move on from this section just because I'm not really not really feeling it so if i'm not feeling it we're just gonna move on i also don't know what to do with like this big empty gap like here and here next up i want to work on this area this long area there is a lot of stuff i gotta clean up and stuff so that's gonna be really annoying to do but yeah we're gonna get started on this i think i'm gonna toss it over to voiceover raven so i hope you enjoy Voice over Raven here. Hello, hello. How are you all doing? I'm doing fantastic. I just had some Coke Zero from a gas station and it had that delicious pellet ice in it. Oof. If you are an ice cruncher out there like me, you know that that pellet ice, delicious, delectable. My idea for this area, we have a long horizontal strip that we need to do. And what else is long and horizontal? A train station. Wow. I thought that would fit perfectly here, even though we do have a little transportation stop literally right like above there, like you see it in the background. So I don't know, maybe that's like the mini version, you know, maybe there's a little separate area over there. We're just gonna not think about it. It just so happened to be right near my little mini one that I already built with those train tracks. So I started off with trees, of course. I planted all those saplings and then I time traveled so that they would all grow in. And then I was just going to get started on placing the paths and everything. I was really inspired by this picture that I found on Pinterest. And also embarrassingly so, it's like one of the first Google image results that comes up when you search Animal Crossing train. <laughs> I always feel embarrassed whenever that happens. Because like, I think that I find something really unique and cool on Pinterest and then I google it and it's like oh it's like one of the first results like i'm not that special you know like i didn't find anything super hidden and unique i thought i discovered something you know <laughs> but i didn't so i'm pretty much using the design concept that they have there they use these bunk beds and some stalls to make this train shape and of course the cutouts And you can't see the design too well on my game because uh, it's dark, but I do time travel in a bit because I was getting annoyed that I couldn't freaking see it. And that's going to be great too because I'm probably, you know, going to have this island be in nighttime all the time and I'm not going to be able to see the train, but it's okay. It's fine. I thought this could also add to some of our storytelling, like how this town is like becoming abandoned. Things are happening here because of the dolls and, you know, like the regular everyday life, like the transportation and the shops and all that kind of stuff is crumbling and not in use anymore because like there's barely anyone living here. And maybe the people who still do live here who are not under the dolls control, like don't even want to leave or can't leave. Maybe they are still kind of controlled by the dolls, you know, maybe they don't let them leave or maybe the dolls sabotaged the train station so that no one could leave. I think that's what we're gonna go with. That's what we're gonna go with. So yeah, I was just trying to figure out first where this train exactly was gonna go, how big I was gonna make it. I was just figuring it out as I went along. I wasn't sure because I didn't know if this was gonna take up this whole empty space and oh my goodness, zipper was there because I time traveled a lot. That was a jump scare. I don't know, maybe we should, should stay on this date so zipper is like in the woods randomly somewhere. <laughs> just add to the Halloween vibes, you know what I mean? But in the inspo picture, they did use the brick oven, the, the pizza one, as like the front of the train. And I thought that was cute, but I wanted to use something different and at least, you know, make this a little bit my own. So I decided to use the wood burning stove because I also thought it had a taller little steam spout thingy. And I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. So we went ahead and used that. And on the inspiration picture as well, I didn't see anything that they put on the stalls. Like they didn't put any stuff to be peeking out of the holes. So I was like, oh, we could put some passengers on this train. So I put some dogs and I put one of those like skeleton head radio thingies and I had a couple of things left over like one extra stall and one extra bunk bed so I put one in the front and one in the back to kind of be like I don't know like extra thickness to the train but I was too lazy to go get more things to do it across the whole thing so I was like okay maybe just the front and the back those can be the the extra thick parts of the train with three C's you know what I mean then I wanted to go ahead and start working on the little like onboarding station the waiting area whatever you want to call it so I put some of like that brick pattern that I have in these little steppies and then there was still one gap of the grass that you could see so I was like you know what why not we'll do another layer of train tracks just make it three tracks wide why not I'm really excited how this island is turning out I definitely don't do as much as I thought I would in today's video 
So tomorrow we're going to have to do a lot. I may end up doing a few things off camera and then showing you on the final, you know, tour and overview of the island tomorrow. That way there's still some surprises in store for you when you watch the final video. I think that'll be cute. And also, so I don't have like a three hour long video of me doing like random stuff. Like it's going to be a lot of tree placement and like maybe a couple areas that are just like a few decorations slapped down like that's literally it it would take me two seconds but yeah i don't know what the plan is uh these last few episodes i'm literally recording them like in real time i'm recording uh the, the final day the day before i post it so yeah that's fun that's fun Def i'm definitely not stressed at all definitely not <laughs> i really wish you could put things on the transportation stop like i wish i could have some dolls sitting in that little bench that would be so funny a lot of things would be funny wouldn't they wouldn't they? I don't know what I mean by that. I do wish you could place items on a lot of the benches. Like a lot of the benches you can't place items on and it just kind of sucks, you know? I wish I could just glitch some items into other items. You know how powerful I would be? You know how powerful I would be if Animal Crossing had like the same design concepts as like Sims, even though I've never played Sims? It would be pretty wild, let me just say. But yeah, I was like, okay, what am I going to put on the other side of these train tracks? I don't know. I started placing that like mossy broken brick and it just looked weird to me. So I was like, okay, maybe some more of the black bricks. And I feel like that looked pretty good. But then we had this weird little strip of grass here, like between that second layer of the, of the brick pattern and then between like the edge of the grass. So I was like, what am I putting here? I don't know, it's just gonna be random stuff. And also the train tracks just abruptly end and I was like, I don't know, I don't know what to put here. Maybe I'll change up what I did because I do put some stuff there in a bit, you'll see. But I was thinking maybe a cave would be cute or oh, maybe like the castle gate to be like a little archway into a tunnel. I was like running on fumes by the time I was finishing up this build. Like again, always running on fumes, so. I guess the brain cells weren't pumping as efficiently because right now I'm thinking of some other ideas to do for this, even though I already finished decorating it, but it's okay. I was just putting down random stuff here, as you can see. And isn't that just always what I do? Isn't that what we do best around here? Put down random stuff. No plan nothing just random stuff and faking it till we making it another thing that i'm just faking it until i'm making it is my style like i know what i like to wear for my froggy crossing videos and stuff like that i always feel so free to wear whatever i want in my froggy crossing videos i wear all my colors and my fun cardigans and just any fun pattern that i want to do i don't really care what i wear on camera like if anyone's gonna judge me i don't care so thank you guys so much for giving me that freedom first of all but IRL, sometimes I don't really want to wear like the rainbow striped sweater or the rainbow striped shirt out because I'm like, you know, what if strangers judge me? And what if, you know, like who even are you? I shouldn't even care, but like I still do care. Like, let's be real. I still do care about like strangers judging me sometimes, <laughs> even though I literally wouldn't even know if they were judging me. I don't know. We don't have to deep dive into whatever mental gymnastics that is going on in my brain, but I'm still trying to figure out like my style journey this year. I talked about it a little bit in the beginning of the year. I went thrifting and stuff like that. And I'm just trying to figure out like kind of a more chill like just going out to run errands kind of style that i want to do because i'm such a jeans and t-shirt person and i'm trying to get out of it because i like want to look a little more elevated sometimes like i don't have to wear a full like three-piece suit to the grocery store but you know sometimes i just want to feel a little more put together i don't want to just like throw on something like i want to throw on something but not like just throw on something you know like i want to look like i'm trying but not like that I'm like really trying. I don't know. Anyways, all of that to say, I tried to buy some new pants from Old Navy. I bought them online. I got them on like their 50% off sale that they had recently. And of course the pants don't fit me because I'm terrible at measuring myself and I don't know what size I am in clothes at any given time. So that's great. So now I'm gonna have to go and return them. And I'm like, Ugh. I finally decided on something that I was like, okay, yes, I molded over for a while. And it's like, okay, yes, I'm just gonna pull the trigger and buy it. And then it's like, okay, these don't fit me. <laughs> So it's like, oh my goodness, how does anyone clothes shop? How does anyone figure out like what they love to wear? And it's like, I'm always torn between, I wanna just go buy a whole new wardrobe, like who cares? versus like let's try to be a little more sustainable and let's not buy clothes unnecessarily you know Let, like let's just buy whenever we actually need something i don't know it's such a struggle how does anyone do anything how does anyone dress themselves i don't know anyways that's my current struggle but we're done with this build so i'll toss it back over 
to Real Time Raven. Alrighty, besties, I have finished up. I'm very excited. This came out so cute. Oh, look at this. A little transportation stop. So adorable. I love the bike. That's one of my favorite details. I fleshed out this side area, so that's all looking good. We've got all this down below. And then the star of the show, the train. It actually looks so good. Oh my goodness. And then with like the little dollies, that's so cute. So, well, not cute. It's creepy. It's supposed to be creepy. It's not cute. But yeah, I think this was so good. We filled up, I think, pretty much the whole thing, right? Because then over here, it's just more trees. Yeah. And then it's the, and then it's the campsite over here. So we filled up this whole bottom area. It filled it all in nicely. I'm very happy about that. I was scared that it wasn't going to fill it all in, but we did it. We did it. And let me just add these little weeds here. Okay. Yeah. And Pepper's here too. And he agrees. So I think I'm going to go ahead and be done with this episode. Tomorrow is our last day so we'll see what we can get done tomorrow we'll do our final tour and all that good stuff i'm most likely just gonna finish up this area i think this is the last area that we have and then any like finishing touches and all that kind of stuff so yeah it should be a pretty chill day tomorrow maybe i will get the amiibos we shall see and i will see you tomorrow hello and welcome back to day 14 of my halloween island today is our last and final day and i have a little surprise for you yeah yeah coco yeah so let me tell you the story of how we got here it's so long so i'll keep it short basically for this episode i wanted to get some more villagers of course hold on i'm putting on these dramatic borders for dramatic effect so i was like why not i'll start time traveling just so i can try to get a thought bubble and i'll start the episode with hey i found a thought bubble let's go villager hunting and in the process of this time traveling i got a campsite villager and lo and behold it's Coco. A lot of you have said that Coco would be really great for this island, and I agree. She's terrifying. So we are going to go ahead and grab Coco for Spoopy Brook, <laughs> as we are calling this island. And yeah, I'm excited. We finally got someone in the campsite who can actually fit on this island. I'm so excited. She's no Rattle, and she's no Muffy, but you know, she works. She works. Also, speaking of villagers and all that kind of good stuff, I actually did go and get some amiibos. I got three amiibo packs and i opened them up over on tiktok and youtube shorts so go check that out if you haven't seen it already but i didn't get anyone for this island i actually got cherry who we already have so i do have her amiibo now so if i'm still trying to get a thought bubble and she's gonna be adobe about it and have a thought bubble i can easily kick her out just for the sake of time and then we could always bring her back with an amiibo you know what i mean so we do have that option i'm sad we didn't really get anyone and i also found out that rattle doesn't have like a regular original amiibo i could only find this like camping van amiibo online i don't know if i just didn't google it well enough but i don't know anyways let's try to get coco in here oh yes these games i swear are always rigged i never win so i'm excited that we actually won who knows if she'll be difficult or if she'll just move right on in oh my goodness finally finally girl why was this taking so long are you kidding me <laughs> are you kidding me do i just do it and just bring cherry back with the amiibo should i just do that you know yeah just for the sake of time this is the last episode this is the last day i need time we need to get to decorating and building so i think we'll go ahead and kick out cherry do not worry i have her amiibo we'll bring her back okay i just got it in one of the packs all right well now that we have coco <laughs> we can get started on some decorating some building today the only thing is I do have villager houses and the beaches. I think I've decided just for the sake of my sanity, I'm not gonna decorate the beaches. They're all kind of a disaster, but I feel like maybe, hey, if we stretch, that is kind of in theme. Maybe everything's abandoned, everything's a mess over there, like no one's taking care of the beaches, so sorry, but I think the beaches are going to be neglected on this island, unfortunately. I don't even have any ideas for any spooky things I could do on the beach anyways. I can't put cedar trees there, which is a crime, so... I wouldn't even know what to do anyways. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm just gonna fill in some trees, just fill in any spots that I feel like need a little bit of extra love. I went ahead and grabbed a whole bunch of stuff from my inventory and we're just gonna run around. We're just gonna run around. If there's any gaps where I need to place things, then we're gonna do it. We're gonna fill those gaps. So first of all, in the train station, <laughs> I had, you know, some ideas yesterday as I was talking about. So I wanted to see if I could maybe make that work. You might have to get rid of some of these trees though. Ugh, is this 
worth doing? Is this worth doing? I'm gonna try. I'll try. And oh my goodness, I'm kicking off the designs instead of picking up the wheat field. I'm gonna scream. Just put these back. Don't cry. Don't cry, Raven. I really do like how this looks with the vines and everything. If we could just scooch this back a little bit, kind of into the trees. Okay, yes. Let's let's try it. Let's try it. I need to go get some fruit or something so I can move those trees. Oh, some mushrooms. I will take those. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then we pull it back. Yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, that's what we're doing. We'll put a tree right here. And that is beautiful. Magnificent. Ah. Oh gorgeous. What else? What else can we do? Okay, this little section on this other path by the plaza, definitely. We need some stuff here. We need to spice this up. I'm thinking a spooky lantern set, some candles on top of that, a fence back here to kind of match the one that's on the other side. We'll do a pirate barrel, a little lost item on top of it, and then I think we can finish it off with a wheat field. And there we go, just some random little decorations. I would like to include a path here as well. I'm trying to think what we can do. I did have the thought to bring this path down here that's right here by the train station and bring it up through these trees so maybe i'll bring it up we'll go north and then we'll go to the left and connect it back to this path yeah there we go finish that up and even put the custom designs on top of it look at me go look at me go so now we have this goes all the way here and then if i really want to i can bring this to the house i don't really know what the plan is for the house we definitely need to tackle the exterior today and definitely the interior also so i've got this little corner right here i'm thinking a little teensy tiny pond because we really don't have too too much water i just got rid of all the rivers that were on this island because they were just annoying me so we don't have any rivers we only have the ominous waterfall section and then the little skull lake so why not let's let's add a little bit of waterscaping into the mix there we go little bitty baby pond love it <laughs> i left this little corner right here so we could put down a custom design and maybe a spooky tower that sounds good I'm gonna do a little wheat field right in front let's do a little crusty pee pee puddle a little ducky just chilling here and i'm gonna do some black roses some ghosties and then kind of just fill in the rest of any gaps that there may be with some weeds i also have to remember to use the shrub with the spider web I'll throw one of those in here, why not? And then this area behind me is looking pretty empty. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up. Boom, there we go. All finished just like that with the magic of editing. Let's go ahead and make this sad, pathetic little pumpkin patch into a super cute, not pathetic pumpkin patch. Wow. Okay, that's looking good. <laughs> I kinda wanna tackle my house figure out what's going on there because I don't really know. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll toss it over to a voiceover Raven for you to enjoy. Voiceover Raven here to walk you through this incredible house that I am making. I decided to make the main room of my house kind of like the meeting room, the congregating room for these dolls. They need some sort of area to uh, chill and plan whatever heinous crimes they're going to commit. So we're going to do the candle wall. We're doing the little seance circle, putting them in a circle. And then we've got these frog creatures over on the side of the wall. There will be a little bit of lore about that in a bit in the final tour, but I decided to give them this really creepy aura because like, duh. And then a little bit of nervous sweat on the frog creatures, poor boys. But here's how that room turned out. Super simple, like I wasn't trying to do anything too fancy whatsoever. It's just supposed to be creepy, that's really it. And I love the animations on the wallpaper and the flooring. Just absolutely love it. Then we're gonna work on my basement. These are gonna be the only two rooms in my house that I actually decorate because of course we have to have a creepy basement on a Halloween island like it's non-negotiable but I didn't really have the time nor the creative juice to figure out stuff for the rest of the houses even though I probably could have but we're gonna have some poor prisoners held captive down here by the dolls we have one of the frog creatures we've even got a little bear we've got a skeleton we've got just some clothes that are supposed to represent a random person and it's just a creepy basement they're being held captive what the heck is going on here i don't know but added some blood splatters and other custom designs of course and these poor guys what did they ever do to deserve this so then i was time traveling to try to find a good time of day to walk through my island in and i found petrie in the campsite she's absolutely perfect to be our mad scientist character i did want rattle for that but i will take petrie at first she wanted to kick out doby of course but then thankfully she wanted to kick out goose so we got rid of goose and then i worked on bringing 
bringing Cherry back with her amiibo. And now we are going to go ahead and do our final tour of the island. Here is the map. We are starting in the very back right corner at Dobie's yard, but here are all the villagers. We ended up with Chops, Dobie, Coco, Petrie, Cherry, Bella, Rasher, Roscoe, Rodeo, and Nan. And they all do have their parts to play in this island. So we are starting off at good old Dobie's house. Dobie was the sheriff of this town, this thriving town, and everyone was living in harmony. Everything was at peace. Unfortunately, his daughter, a couple years back, went through an accident and he lost his daughter. So it's kind of a hopper from Stranger Things scenario where, you know, now he's broken. He's broken. And he's just been trying to survive on this island and figure out who did it, you know? He's got his whole yard set up as like a fortress. You know, he's trying to protect himself as we walk around. And we have this little cutout that goes to the secret beach that I forgot to decorate. So that's great. But yeah, that's kind of Dobie's role in all of this. He is like the jaded sheriff trying just to survive in this town. And as we walk up this cliff, this is ground zero for where everything started going wrong on this island. So Petrie lives here now and she is a traveling doctor who came here in this camper van. But here a couple of years ago, Dobie was trying to investigate and he was so frustrated by his lack of answers that he threw a doll that belonged to his daughter that he would keep as a memory onto the floor. The doll touched the ooze. Now the dolls are sentient. So the dolls started, you know, wanting to do their own bidding and feeding off of Dobie's grief and anger, they turned evil. So they recruited Petrie, well, more like forced her to start doing some evil deeds. And if we go inside of the factory, we can see the dolls are making these frog creatures, these frog monsters. They are building an army. But more on the army later. Now we're going to walk through our graveyard, our cemetery. This is just your typical cemetery. Every small town's got to have one, you know? Who's lying here? The past villagers who used to live on this island in this town before everything went wrong? What happened to them? And if you want to just take a break on a totally normal bench over here, you totally can. Totally nothing going on here. Nothing sinister whatsoever. <laughs> so you can take a little a little break there if you wanted. There are a few areas on this island you can see here in front of the graveyard where there's not really anything fully fleshed out. So there may be some blank spots, but we just ignore those. But as we walk up the path, we are here at one of my favorite builds, which is the skeleton wedding. What a beautiful wedding. Gorgeous. I love it. You know, this is also not a part of the lore. This is just something fun that I thought would be cute to build. And they've even got a reception on the other side. So you can come and have some nice snacks, you know, some squid ink spaghetti, some sea bass. If you want to have any refreshments, feel free. The buffet is unlimited. So go ahead and uh you know eat all you want i really love this area it's just so goofy so silly so this was one of my favorite ones to do but we're gonna go ahead and walk down the path again we're gonna walk up this aisle hey besties hope you don't mind me <laughs> disturbing your wedding but anyways we're gonna go up this incline and we are here at the museum so as you can see the museum has been overrun by these giant bugs all these creepy crawlies so my theory is that the dolls have been using that ooze that activated them to grow these bugs giants and they are making giant bugs and frog creatures they are building up some creepy army like i do not want to be attacked by giant bugs no thank you but we're gonna walk on past that pa nothing going on here whatsoever there's there's nothing bad in these woods we've got a nice little pathway and we stumble across the dolls doing their bidding. Here is what they are doing. They are sacrificing Kuropi snacks to make their frog creature army to take over the world. We've got to stop them. But first we have to fill in this little hole that we accidentally left in the final tour of this island. Wow, that is kind of embarrassing. But anyways, we move on from these things, you know? Now we have Rasher and Roscoe's house. They used to be on the force with Dobie, but unfortunately got brainwashed by the dolls. And they have started capturing innocent people. Why are there graveyards over here? Why are there headstones in their yards? I don't know about that. That's kind of creepy. But yeah, they started capturing 
murdering innocent people, but obviously you see a doll in there. Have they gone too far? Have they gone past their brainwashing? Can the dolls even control them anymore? Who knows? And as we walk around this pit, we can see fire burning. What are they doing down here? They are causing utter destruction. The dolls across this island wreaking havoc. But as we move on towards this path, we come across a tree house or what I attempted to make look like a tree house. And here we have Nan's yard, the resident witch. She's a good witch. She's great. She's trying to help Dobie figure out the mystery and stop the dolls. But Dobie is just too jaded to accept her help because, you know, he thinks that it's a little unorthodox, but she's just trying her best to help. She's just trying to use her potions and things to assist the remaining townspeople. So hopefully they will let her help them. But as we walk down this incline, we have a cute little pumpkin patch. I love this little area. Of course, we've got to have a pumpkin patch on the island. And now we are here at the plaza. The plaza just has a few decorations. You know, it's been abandoned and kind of ransacked by the dolls and whomever they are controlling. But as we go up this incline, we are just looping back around to that pit. So that's kind of how that layout works. We'll go back down the incline and now we are walking down this main path. So we're kind of getting into the main town area and we have a mini version of a little transportation stop. We've got a little mini train track. You know, if you need to wait here for a train that'll never come, feel free. We've got these dolls that we've walked past, but we'll come back to them later. Now we are at the seamstress tailors, which the dolls have clearly overrun. What are they doing? Are they doing any anything, you know, suspicious a la Coraline-esque, who knows? But if you need to take refuge in the woods and just sit on a little chair for a minute, you totally can. Feel free to, bestie. <laughs> but as we walk up this path, this leads right to the airport and you can walk up and uh, unfortunately you will have some visitors waiting for you at the end of the path. But moving on, we're gonna walk over here to the store, Nook's Cranny. And this has obviously also been run down. There's not a lot going on, but we do have a traveling merchant. They're set up with some gear that you might need to survive the island. And speaking of surviving the island, the dolls have also destroyed the train station. So there is no getting out of this island. The transportation stop seating area is still fine, but the train is definitely not in service anymore, unfortunately. And the dolls have even been taking refuge in there, using it as who knows what storage meeting place anything worse than that i don't know <laughs> but unfortunately the train doesn't work anymore so good luck getting out but as we move past the train station we're gonna go ahead and go to the right and we are here at what's left of the camp this is camp skull lake that's what i'm gonna call it and this is our little campsite camping grounds and we have some villagers here camping still. We've got Bella camping still. Cherry is the camp counselor. Chops is also here camping and I forget the last villager that's camping here but they are- I think it's Roscoe. <laughs> Roscoe is also camping here. There's definitely nothing going on here. No creepy people in the woods controlled by the dolls. Definitely not. <laughs> but as we move on we're gonna go up north and we are here at the creepy mansion. Now this has always been a creepy mansion even since before the dolls started taking over. Nobody really wanted to go here. It's that one house on the street that all the kids avoid when trick-or-treating. You know the one, that typical house. So if we go on inside, we just saw this, but inside you will find the dolls up to their no good deeds. They're planning something, doing something very sinister. They're making a frogger. I mean, that's what they're, that's what they're doing. <laughs> and in the basement, they've got some captives. Maybe you can help free them. That'd be great. They really want to get out. But as we exit that terrifying mansion, we're going to head to our left and we are at the most wholesome stop of our our tour today. If you want to do some trunk or treating, we've got a little trunk or treat station for you. This is Coco's house. She is a little bit of, you know, the neighborhood weirdo, but she just has great intentions and she just wants to give candy to everybody. So she set up this trunk or treat in her yard. So great, Coco. Thank you. And as we take this secret path, I think this is my favorite part of the island, the ominous waterfall with a doll obviously channeling the moon's energy. That is it for our Halloween Island. That is the final tour. I hope I did a good job in showing you everything. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I really had a lot of fun making this island, although I did not manage my time efficiently towards the end and I had to uh, rush a few things, but we managed to make everything work. So thank you so much for watching this video and this series once again, and I will see you in the next one.